you guys. Hello, starting a little bit early. Can you guys hear me? everybody doing? Had a bit of a, I don't know about a rough night, but I went to sleep at like 8 a.m. So that's why I'm going live so late. But I was like, I was like trying to like get myself together uh, off stream. And then I was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I, I'm not doing anything like really that positive off stream. So whatever, we're just gonna we're just gonna, we're just gonna, like, we're gonna get through this together. Are you still looking for ball washers? Yes. I, I am looking to figure out whether you guys are my ball washers or not. Or, I, I mean, I don't have balls. I guess it would be clit washers. I'm not doing very well, though, to be honest, so. Oh, by the way. By the way, uh, let me see here. I need to give amnesty to everybody. <sighs> One thing you guys can help me with is just keep me focused on small tasks because I'm not like personally doing very well, and uh, I just need to keep my I, I I need to keep my mind occupied a little bit. So just. Easy stuff like this. I gotta give everybody. I did a little bit of mass banding last night. So, where's my studio? You're still strangely attractive after a full night of crying. Is that for ball washing? Thank you. Thank you. That, uh, I prefer to call it ovary washing, clit washing. Here's a small task, clean up that table, please. Yeah, I should clean up. I, I haven't done anything. I told myself, like, okay, I, I told myself, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do stuff. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. You know, I really, f like, I fucked up. Things got bad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make things happen. They, it, it didn't, so. It's just. We're gonna, we gotta figure this out together. I don't have anyone I gotta put my makeup on too, but I don't have anyone to talk to IRL. Whether that's my fault or not, uh, it's the truth. So you guys are, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have to work this out together. We're gonna have to work this out. Okay, first of all, hang on. Settings, community. Okay, uh. Alright. There we go. All the bands are cleared. Those analytics! Not bad, baby. Not bad. 70% more views than usual in the last 30 days. Not bad, not bad. Good to see all the buttons going green again. That's really the only part of the analytics I look at. <sighs> let the Paris socialism begin. Yes, let it begin. Let it begin. Let it begin. <sighs> I need to calm down. I seriously need to calm down. You guys gotta help me calm down. You gotta help me calm down, okay? I'm, like, I get it, there's distance, but, like, you've gotta help me calm down. N.A., I don't think you're banned. Doc Holiday, thank you for being here. Total Jenny Death. Why dodge Shaggy? I'm not dodging Shaggy. I will talk to anybody. I'm, I'm open, I'm an, I'm an open book on the stream. Um, they have to be, you know... Actually, let me, let me ping... Sorry. Let me pin the link on the stream. Hi, controller. Anybody's welcome to talk to me. Shaggy wants to come up here and talk to me, that's fine. 
That's fine. That's fine. I I'd love to talk to somebody, honestly. I'm trying to be more open and less defensive because I think, okay, I just think like, um, I just think, did I pin it? Did I even pin it? Yeah, I did. Okay. I just think a lot of what I've been doing online is like being really defensive of myself. I don't want to do that anymore. So I want to be more open. And I just feel like I'm very defensive and close it off right now, so. Thank you, Kelvin. Thank you for saying that my hair is looking lush. The worst thing that could happen is Ben actually enjoying prison. <laughs> he always he always said he would prefer prison, so. I'm, sh I'm sure, like, I, I mean, I'm not sure. But I did try to make myself feel better by saying like, okay, He's probably in there and, you know, it's probably tough somewhat, but also like it has its benefits. And, um, you know, I, kn I know he knows that like he doesn't deserve to be in there. I don't want him in there. Nobody really wants him in here, in there. It's just this sort of police discretion thing that's kind of bullshit and, um, so, you know, I, 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 I hope that he knows that. I hope that he feels like it's, like, not, like, that he could just detach himself from it and just say, like, this is just something, that ha something that's happening. I don't want to think, I don't want to think about it too much, to be honest. All right, we got somebody backstage. Hello. How are you doing, Grace? Sorry for your loss. Uh, I, I'm not doing very well. Uh, I just, uh, it's not a loss. It's just, I, I just, I'm just. It's a just big trying. L. No, it's not a win. It's a, it's an L. It's oh, a you mean an L? L. Well, that's what, I, that's what loss is, right? So L. I thought you meant like. Sorry for your loss. That's I know, but that's my entertainment. I'm using I'm using double words. That's uh, sorry for your loss. That's you know, it's a double meaning, you know. We gotta get deep this how can you be like I mean seriously, you you're like a young kid, right? You're like twenty something. So you're born in what, like two thousand and I'm twenty one. I was born in two thousand two. So you're like a product of this whole bullshit that's been going on since nine eleven and, and this cybernization of the the thing and you're like you wanted to pursue this as some kind of career or what? Like this influencer thing? Is this something that you thought was like an alter yeah, like something I'm, you wanted? Yes, yes. I'm trying and to And you work don't have a thousand dollars to pay for Bell. It, it, it's not about that. My dad told me, you know, before all this stuff, he's like, if I ever mm -hmm. go to prison or jail again, like, I don't want that paid. I don't want to give them any money, uh -huh. uh, you know, uh -huh. so whatever. Well, so that's why you know, so you, you do have a thousand dollars. It's it's, um, it's not about money. I don't exactly have the money to do that, but it's not about money. It's well, more about like, like, well, that's my point. I mean, if you're doing this for a living and you don't have a thousand dollars to pay for anything at this point. What's the point of doing it? I actually have, like, I do struggle with that. Like, I understand what you're saying. I am not really making it happen as far as money goes and making this a career. I so, mean, there's people like, there's, like, I was talking, I have a mini interest on YouTube, and one of them is like, you know, it's, it's kind of like infantile, is wrestling. Like, this is a girl who's your age, or maybe a little older. All she does is talk about wrestling, and she has sponsorships on her show. She has a hundred plus thousand subscribers. So, and if she's going to be doing the game, she's playing at a different level than you, because she has like a blue chew and multiple sponsors, and she gets like ten times the views. And you're over here exposing yourself and your. I mean, your father's an idiot. I hope you believe that at this point, your father's a complete idiot that he's pushing you in this direction, and you could have gone in so many different directions as like even in this influencer space but he you pushed yourself into this quasi reality garbage trash 
I'm going to do all this bullshit. Okay, expose but I don't myself. Really have, I don't. I don't really understand your impetus to be cruel. I don't. I just don't get. I'm it. not trying. I'm not. Well, because I'm trying to like scare you straight. You can go to another direction at this point, right? You can. You could pivot, and you can find a real interest in something that people relate to. But, but because there's no, every- there's nothing. There's nothing down the road in this direction that you're you going. You don't know right that now. though. You're not God. No, you no. Don't know that give you. You don't have a thousand dollars. To do anything. You don't have a proverbial pot to piss in, yet you're going to continue to do this behavior, and it's for what? It's for some kind of idea of what you think success is in 2024 for your generation. You need to pivot. But why does everybody always move on? I mean, why, I don't know. Go get does, some no, life let experience. Me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Okay. Right. Why does everybody always have to tell me to do something different? I don't get it. You could say you disagree. I'm not telling with me, you. I'm giving you an alternative, and it's you're. I'm giving you a point. But you don't think I know? You're that? failing you don't at think this I know right that? now. You're failing at this. So pivot. Well, I don't know. I if have 211 in chat. It, How many do you get in your pivot. chat? I mean, I'm sorry. Many, I mean, you stop talking later. over me. How many Stay people do you have in way. your chat? How Stay many people? Are you a streamer? You fucking ran away. What a bitch move. It's so annoying. Do you think that's funny? I've heard the same thing a million times. I don't think this whole idea like, oh, your dad pushed you into this. He only ever wanted me to be a side, like a co-host. And like, he's happy for me to do more, but this idea like, oh, you're such a fucking victim of this. If I'm a (sighs) vic... If I was going to be a victim of anything, it would be this, this fucking, like, self, you know, I was talking to Xena, and I was telling her, like, you know, I don't, she was like, your community is toxic, and I was like, okay, well, I get what you're saying, and I think that they, you know, I'm not going to, like, whatever, show the DMs, but, like, I'm just saying it was helpful, because she was just telling me, like, you know, you don't have to be you don't have to like say that you're not defending your dad and she was like you have a toxic community that enjoys your suffering and I was like okay that's true but I also like don't really tell them what to do like you do and she was like yeah that's true you don't ask things from people you just sort of like you're sort of very passive with your chat and she was like that's not what I do and um you know sometimes Sometimes it's it's the right thing to do, but sometimes you got to take control. I forget where I was going. Get going with that. Okay. Um. All right. Your dad predicted this would happen. He's like Jesus, knowing he would be betrayed by Judas. Well, I would like to stop being the Judas. That guy didn't say anything about your dad pushing you into it. You're acting the victim of Ben without him even being around. But that's the ethos, right? It's like, okay, maybe that's true. I don't know. I I thought that's what he was getting at. How can you do your makeup at a time like this when your father is rotting away doing hard time? Well, I don't think he would want me to look ugly on stream. Just because he's in jail or prison or whatever it is. You know, right, I think he did say that. I, I think he did say that my dad pushed me into it. Should we, te- should we check the tape? Should we check the record? Because I think you're lying right now. Start by blocking some of these people, making you feel worse. (sighs) Okay. God almighty. (sighs) Okay. (sighs) I don't get why everybody is so hypercritical. I don't know if I deserve it or not. I don't know. I just feel like 
I just feel like I'm always, like, every, okay, every time I turn the stream on, I'm, like, terrified that somebody's going to be super hypercritical of me and make me feel like, like, I'm a piece of shit and I should stop streaming. And I, I don't really care if that's, like, oh, you should be stronger than that. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Because I do think that, I mean, like, literally in the position I'm in, me streaming is better than me, like, not streaming uh, what, what am I gonna do get a job today no so like okay I'm here this thing happened with my dad and now I'm here and it's probably better for me to stream than not to I don't like you people. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't want to do this right now because I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like what you say. I don't like you. I don't like you. And I want to like you. I want this to be, to take this less seriously, but I don't like what you do. I don't like what you do. I don't like what you do. It's always the same thing. It's honestly boring to me, and it just seems like I never engage with anything other than this. It's just, like, negativity for negativity's sake. And I just think that sucks. I don't like you? Well then why are you here, Tatiana? Go away. Bye. Fuck off. You're banned. Go away. Go find somebody else to talk to. Why are you here if you don't like me? Why are you here if you don't like me? Why? Stream much, much better without the groomer there. Thank you for the two dollars. He did groom me. He did a bad job because I'm not a very good streamer and I would like to be better. He tried to groom me to be a better streamer and I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. I can't get my personality together. I can't, I can't. Oh my God. They're miserable and looking to project that misery. I'm trying not to think about it. I'm trying. I'm trying not to think about it. I rewatched the stream last night and I was just embarrassed of the way I acted and I'm so sick of being embarrassed of it. I don't feel like everybody who streams is embarrassed of the way they act. I don't think they always are. I bet I forced myself to sit through and watch it and I was embarrassed of the way I acted. sorry. I'm sorry. I'll just keep saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I can't keep it going. I'm sorry that I don't have everything ready. I'm sorry that I'm just sitting here spiraling. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 I'm 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 sorry. That's what I say every time I pray. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I don't stand by what I do. I don't. I should. You know, if there's one thing I fucking respect about my dad, it's that he does not give a fuck what other people say. He doesn't. And I do. He genuinely doesn't give a fuck. 
he genuinely like has his principles and he genuinely doesn't give a fuck what other people say and I do and I feel like it makes me weak You all want to be my parents. I just, I just want to have, like, siblings again. But you all want to be my fucking parents. And maybe I play into that. I don't want parents! Why does everybody think they know how to do shit better than me? I've seen the, I've, okay, I don't want to get angry. See, I keep doing this. I get all defensive. I don't want, I don't want everybody to tell me that they know how to do things. I've, like, I'm not saying I'm better than anybody, but I've also seen other people. They don't have their shit together. The people who give me advice generally do not have their shit together. Okay. Let's just react to the Naptown put a video together. God almighty. Whew. I hate the way I present myself. I really do. I hate it. I I don't want to watch myself. Okay. I hate it. I hate the way I present myself. Whew. Everything will be fine. Go talk to the district attorney and be at court for dad. Okay. Thank you for the $5. What is this? Huh. You guys know who Mr. Deadman is? <laughs> Apparently he made it- okay, this is- this is this guy who's like been interacting with us since like day one. He has like- he doesn't get a lot of views, but he like knows us really well, I guess. He was like one of the first people we interacted with. I haven't seen this, but somebody just sent me this and they said, I don't know, it's about what happened, so. Let's just react to this. I'll finish my makeup. Grace, I'm gonna ask- He- he- he had that debate with my dad. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. He had this debate with my dad about... I don't know whether he was a PDF or something like that. I forget, it's on my dad's channel. The old heads remember, the old heads remember the lore. Uh... And then... Let me see... Was it a video? I think it was a video. Or was it a live stream? Hold on. Dead Man Thorpe. Uh. Somebody's backstage called Your Aunt. Okay. Hello? Grace! What is going on, sweetheart? Oh my I'm, god, you. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. Okay. I thought you were actually my aunt. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought it might have been actually so Well, my entire family knows that I stream, so I thought it might have actually been somebody well, like that. Well, you called me your aunt, like, two years ago, so I figured you'd appreciate that. So. I'm glad you put your makeup on, though. It looks fucking smoking. So. But now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Do you know the dead man lore? Maybe you can explain it. Do you remember it? Were you there for that? I mean, I've been there since pretty long, but I mean, dead man, I don't know. I haven't really watched him too much. Do you remember when he did that debate with my dad? Were you there for that? Mm -mm. I didn't watch those, no. Oh, okay, hang on. Katie says, read my donation I paid. All right, thanks, Katie. Hang on a sec. Kate, Lizzie for $5. Grace, was the kick really for a bit? If so, that really sucks for actual abuse victims. Please just stop acting and be honest. What is the bit? Okay, the kick is like, I don't know. It's like me and my dad have like a mutual agreement that like whatever happens on stream, like it's for the stream. So, you know, we, ha we have personas online. You guys don't know who I really am. You don't know who I am. You don't know who Grace Thorpe is. You just know who Grace Thorpe, a.k.a. Joan, is. And you'll never know, and I'm not saying you should know. But you'll never know who I am. I, this is a... This is a persona. And so, you know, we kind of thought it wasn't a big deal, but... 
I mean, it doesn't make any sense, honestly, because, like, I was trying to make this point to somebody in Discord. Thank you for the $5, by the way. According to Rhode Island law, uh, I can have anal sex with my own father at 16 years old, and that is completely legal. I can have anal sex, BDSM, film it. I don't know about porn, but I can film it. I can do all that stuff. Totally legal. Nobody is going to jail. At 16, with my own father. That's in the laws. Like, if I wanted to do that when I was 16, I could have done that. Totally legal. Okay. So that's completely legal. And I can also do porn, right? I could be a porn actress. I could have, I could have, like, a dick up my mouth, a dick up my ass, and a dick up my pussy on film being shown to millions of people, and that's completely legal. Right? Even, like, consensual non-consent. Role play. Okay. But I can't get a push by my dad in a live stream and tell the police, like, this is not a problem. I mean, I guess porn is technically illegal, but, like, not really. Then you should be an actress instead of doing YouTube because everyone is super triggered or worried for you and that sucks to be baited like that. I agree. I am not trying to bait anybody really into being worried for me. I, I get that I do that, but I want to stop doing that because this is a persona and, uh, sorry, YouTube is acting. It is acting. It, it's, it's everybody's, you know, offering a persona. All right, I, I have some I have some callers. Um, okay, you chat. Let me know. Do you want me to listen to some callers, or do you want to watch the dead man clip? One for callers, two for dead man. You tell me. One, 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 two, one. Okay. One, one. Okay, let's hear some retards rescue you. Okay. Alright. Miko, what's up? Thank you for calling in. Hi, Grace. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Amazing. Uh, so, uh, I think you're doing pretty well right now. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? What do you What yeah. do you mean by well? Like you mean like viewership? Yes, I, mean, I am doing well, but like I don't yeah. know. I, I feel uh, like I'm like coming at it really stunted. I wish that I could like just stop doing this. I wish I could just find a place to be that wasn't like this because it doesn't make any sense. Well, I know what's going on here. Yeah, the situation is what it is. Yeah, it's 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 something new. You have not experienced this before. Uh, this is the first day uh, without your father. <laughs> uh, for how long? How many years? Uh, five or so, I would say. How does it feel like? Um, I was just sitting there, like I was just sitting there, and I was like, okay, I, you know what? It's not that big of a deal. I should like, I should. Um, you know, clean or like try to do something that's productive. And then I just ended up crying and just feeling really, really guilty. So I just decided that I'm just going to stream and not put too much pressure on it. And just guilty? try to. Why, why Sorry? would you feel guilty? Why would you feel guilty? You have not done anything wrong. Well, I kind of feel like I have done something wrong because I know you feel like that, but it doesn't yeah. seem like that to the viewers, at least. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm, I just, I'm not. I have a, I have a hard, I have a, I, I just, I just have a hard time with it all. I have a hard time with it because I just feel like, man, I can't just keep having a personality crisis online. That is so fucking lame. But it just keeps happening, and I can't seem to break out of it. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Um, I I mean, I like I literally feel like I don't understand 
like, what's going on? I, I don't even feel like myself. I don't. I keep trying to, yeah. like, feel like myself, and I don't. I, I just, like, I can't get back to it. It's super crazy. It's super alienating. <laughs> it is what it is, the most useful advice ever given. <laughs> i um, out the closet tonight. So I put up some notes here. Um... Uh... So I would like to ask uh, about uh, the kick, if we can call that a kicking. Uh, was it? Did it hurt? No. Did you get? Any, I mean, you know, I felt did you, it. Did you get any damages? No. Not it. Nothing. No. I've been spanked harder than that. Oh. Okay, it just looked like it was like a... <laughs> he made notes. Do you have notes? Do you have like a notepad? <laughs> it's, yeah, which is fine. I always make notes. Um, so, uh, but yeah, this is the first day that you are free of your father's absence. Uh, your father's... Uh, 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 like your uh, abuse basically right you can say you are a victim it's okay if you say you are a victim think about like someone who is at your situation 21 years old woman someone else than you how would she feel how would she react i i think she would be extremely angry about her father being like a maniac i am not super angry about that i don't think he was a maniac if you watch look Mik, i'm gonna let you go for a second we're gonna go over the Naptown video with context and then maybe okay. i think people will understand a little bit more what happened because but one thing kind okay of, yeah. uh, one point one point sure uh so uh whole maxa uh said that you could for example, do a part-time job. Uh, yeah. It's not going to be difficult for you to get a job. Uh, part-time job and uh, then part-time streaming. That's one option. And uh, and that. And uh, also... I mean, do you want to watch the Naptown video with me? You can make the case that it's abuse to me if you want. We can go through it. Uh, well, I will just keep it uh, short. Uh, have you ever gone to therapy? No. Have you thought about it? Yes. And uh, what do you think about this startup possibility? I've seen videos, like I saw Blair White's video about how she went to a therapist to figure out why she's trans. I think it's a strange uh -huh. relationship because you're paying somebody to kind of be on your side. So I would have a lot of difficulty trusting a therapist because I feel like I'm paying them to kind of be my friend who's on my side. And so they won't really tell me what I need to hear. I would rather find a priest. I think that would give me a better chance of hearing, you know, if I need to hear a hard truth, to hear a hard truth. I don't see a therapist doing that a lot. Have you? You should try at least. Try one Maybe. time, two times, and then just quit it if you don't find it useful. I'll give it a shot, but just for this stream's purposes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over the laptop video now. So I appreciate you calling. Okay. You're you're welcome to react to it with me if you want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna react to the laptop video. But it's, all the best you're not for you. wrong. You're not wrong. I I could try it. You're not wrong. And I'm not a simp, by the way. I don't think you are. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for taking my call. No problem. And you can put me off now. All right. Thank you. All right. What about Coop? Coop, what about you? You want to go through this video with me? Hello? Liam? Liam? Hello? Okay, he's not here. Okay, never mind. Uh, hello, Potato. How are you? 
Hello? Hello? Oh, uh, how you doing? Not very well, but it's okay. I... Not really. I heard your call when you said everyone's a piece of shit and so on and so forth. I totally get that. So... It's a little immature. I don't know. It's a little immature. Can you help me no. react to this video? I already saw it today because I was like, what the hell is going on? So, I don't know. I can react to it again, but we could also just talk about it. Or Well, you know, I want to show it to the chat. So, I, I can show it to the chat. I can show it to everybody and then we can react to it later. But sure, I need. Sure. I want to I want to play it. So, you can. Oh, you yeah, can, yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah, you can I, say I just wanted whatever, to say but... I've already watched it. So, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to give any spoilers away. Let's okay. just put it like that. So this this is the stream with the full context. Um, let's just go through it, you know. Let's just go through yeah, it. Yeah. And uh, the people who are backstage, if okay, if you want to help, I'll pop you up. Okay, Apache, you're on. Yeah, you, Ryan, you can put some more people in. If yeah, you know. uh, Ryan, Tommy. If okay, but okay. So like, we'll go through it together, and you're welcome to say whatever you want and have me pause it. But I just. Let's just have an open mind. Let's try to come at this and try to, like, put together what happened, okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> Who said that? That was me, uh, uh, a little wheezy today. Yeah. Well, who? Sorry, sorry. What's your name? Who's, Who's on that? call? Me? Apache. Oh. Apache. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Jump on it. Jump on it. Kimo Sabi. Grace, pause. Can we yeah. get down to brass tacks here? Who, who, and I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm just trying to get down to your answer or solution. Who pressed charges on Ben? They said it was I, an anonymous tip, so I have no I, way to figure out. But I heard that it was Shamu. I heard that it was Shamu. I heard if that it was you're Shemu. the receiver of said kick and you're like, no harm, no foul, how is how can you not get him out? Like just uh, because some it, Karen it, well, the hurt. cop told me that it's I, you know how the police are. They they're like we want to investigate this and that, and we got a seventeen million fix hey, to look hey, into. Hey, yeah, hey, review the video. About... Silence the sausage fest. I agree, guys. Let's let's review the video. I'm let's sorry, we're from the rights and freedom side of you. Tommy, you gotta go if you're not gonna oh. listen to me. Sorry. All right, let's do this one first, and then we'll do the nap time. You a question? Sure. That you've heard many many times, and I guarantee you'll not be able to answer it. Not without a lot of cope, not with a lot of mental let, gymnastics. Let, let her watch. Not a lot of... I am watching. This is to me. Not without a lot of denial to justify. I guarantee it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Why are you still with your father? Honestly. Honestly. Can you even answer that honestly? Oh, you'd be like, oh, I need him. I depend on him. I can't live without him. Look at you. Those are words of someone who's defeated. Those are words of someone who's psychologically broken. Like, you depend on your dad like that? That you can't live without him? Man, you are like mentally damaged. You really are. Just I think that's true. I am mentally damaged. I don't have a problem with him saying that. That's true. It's I am okay. mentally damaged. I, yeah. I think most people are. So it's okay to be. Yes, I but, agree. But it becomes a problem when you put it on the internet because you heard about the sector, right? And that's that's where people they judge a lot. And a lot of those people are gay and they judge extra hard. And so it kinda amplifies whatever whatever there is in your life. Whether it's true or not. Sometimes it's just fake shit even. You know how it is to be an easy lip. Hi, Brittany, by the way. Hi. That shit was the first time I've seen the Thorpe, so I thought something was staged. Kind of funny he ended up getting arrested as a result. Lol. Like all child celebrities are damaged. I'm not really a child celebrity. I started streaming when I was 19. Well... Internet okay, so, 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 okay, so to answer Deadman's question, uh, 
Yeah, I rely heavily on my father, and I think that is partially because I am damaged. I admit that I am damaged. Maybe Brittany could help me work it out. I don't know. I hear, like, I'm not saying I don't want to hear, like, men's yeah, voices, yeah. but, like, you know, the call and link is pinned, Brittany, if you want to, like, I, I don't really have any, like, women to talk to about this, and it's, you know, I think maybe you could understand as a daughter, like, that it is important to have your father in your life, and it's, it's not, like, people kind of treat it like it's just a friendship, or something, or just like look at look an average friend, and it's not really. Like it, it makes a big deal whether your dad is proud of you or whether he's like disappointed in you more than I think maybe men understand. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. Am I wrong? No, I, I think I think Brittany can help. Yeah, I think you. Yeah, yep. Well, I think I think you're right to an extent. She's nice. But I, I mean, I feel the same way about my dad, but and I know my sisters do as well. But I don't let my dad, you know, abuse me. Not necessarily abuse. I'm not saying he abused you. But my dad doesn't treat me the way your dad treats you. I don't know if that's your relationship or, you know. All right. Let's watch some of the Naptown video. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm not really responding. I just think it's different for women, and some people, like, don't understand that, that it is different. It's, I understand what you're saying, too, but, like, and I, I don't think it's, like, not important for sons, but I do think it's different for women. I think it's different... I think it's different for us, because, like, it really, 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 really matters what our dads think of us. And we can, like, we really depend on them, and I know a lot of women don't, but... I mean, it's different for men and women because they're different, you know. No, you're well, like, right. like, okay, so like, there, like, there's like, like, there's father, uh, father daughter relationships. I'm sorry, mother daughter relationships and son father relationships. So like, I, I I think sometimes for sons it's more important what their mother thinks of them than their dad. Like they they value that more. Because she's I think, like the opposite I think that's sex, true. so you kind of understand where your dad is coming from. Get Lalo on for a POV. Whereas, like, your mom is the opposite sex, and so you kind of, like, you, you, I don't know, it's different to you, so it's kind of, like, more, like, you know what, like, I don't know, the, the male code is, and you understand it the way he understands it, but there's sort of, like, if your mom is disappointed in you or thinks you're, like, a bad husband to your wife or something, like, that would some kind of hurt more than your dad. I don't know yeah. if that's true. No, I think you're right. You're right. Yeah. All right, let, let's watch a little bit of this. Let's watch a little bit of this. Sure. Thank you. Yep. Here come the tears. I keep doing Here it. Here come the tears from to... baby. I, I stopped myself from crying. I stopped. Oh, but that's perfect, isn't it? That's even better. It's garbage, though. No, I that's don't... even better performance. You look like you're going to cry, and then you hold back because you're so afraid of your daddy doing something to you. Right? No, that's literally not why. All bullshit all the time. All right. So, as for the, the copery or whatever, I'm just going to admit, I'm just going to admit, this looks bad. I admit that this looks bad. I own it. That looks bad. It looks okay. bad. It looks. Um, the optics are high. No. When I when I look at that, I honestly I just see a a push with the foot. I mean, sure, it's like a bump, right? But I thought if that's what somebody is going to jail for, I thought, are you kidding me? Are you serious? It's ridiculous. That's what I, that's my genuine thought first, but I was shocked, you know, like, I was like, oh, really? Cause he did that. So my reaction was shocked, but then I was like, but like the damage, like if that's maybe that's a mental damage, but physically like, you know, but that's my physically, thought. I don't know what physically, else, what you it thought. didn't hurt me, but I guess this, okay. So I want to examine the context, but I also just want to say that, like, I think personally, if I hit him really hard, 
or if he hit me really hard and it, neither of us wanted the other to like press charges or anything i personally don't think that the government should be involved in that i just oh, yeah. think with two adults i don't I just, you know, there can be reasons that people get physical with each other, and I just don't think it's fair to me or him if neither of us would want this to happen, yeah. that it's just taken out of your hands, because I don't have a problem with it. It didn't hurt me, it didn't damage me, it was just a shock. But that's what the government does sometimes. They'll, they'll do that, and it fucks everybody up, and it, it really sometimes... In a lot of cases, it, it complicates things a lot more. So, and in this case, because sec the sector get involved, the internet gets involved, it complicates things a thousand times more, sadly. Yeah. For better or for worse, you've got a million eyes. Well, you got a thousand eyes on it. <laughs> Yo. I added hey. some people to the call. <clears throat> Sorry. Hi, what Grace. Up? I, um... I've never been in chat before. I did sub to you at like when you were at a hundred subscribers through BSOGs and some other people in the community. <clears throat> Thank you. And um, uh, I just don't watch a whole lot of stuff anymore because I don't know, it's just my community, like a bunch of drama and whatnot. But I, I was, I couldn't sleep last night and I'm in mountain time zone. So I think I'm about two hours behind you. Um, but I did play like a, I hope you don't mind. I did like, I saw you were live and I saw the title and I was like, Oh no. Cause I was watching you guys just travel, you know, the RV travels. And yeah. I was quite, I was quite entertained. Um, but I hope you don't mind. I did like show a little bit in like, uh, a couple clips, just a few seconds. And I, no, I, I, don't, it. I don't care. That's, yeah, it's good for me. I don't care. You can show whatever you want. Yeah. I, I was it. like, Okay, I just wanted to make sure I, I that, but uh, you feel like that's no, the future is like me. just show anything you want. I think it's probably what the. Future I mean, is. I unprivated the video. You, you're welcome. To, like, I want yeah. like I want it to be open. I, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. You're so I awesome think... for that, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, but that's the first time I actually saw the actual event that you just played. No. Yes. And, People uh, did clip the whole stream and stuff, so I privated it because at the end of it, there were, like, a lot of slurs said, and I didn't want that to get me a strike, but I don't think I need to worry about that, really, so. No. You're okay. No, but yeah. Bro. Slurs are cool as fuck. For yeah. Real. But anyways, I just wanted to come up and just say, hey, I'm sorry for what happened. I don't know everything, obviously. I'm just watching. I just wanted to come up and let you know that, you know, I wanted to get your permission. You know, I, I, I put it... I was like, well, maybe I should just delete the stream. It was like, a, just a, I was just kind of babbling on, but I put it on members for now, but I, I hope you're okay with that. No, that's fine. That. I, I, I don't care. That's totally fine. Like, I appreciate the, you know, Wait. exposure. I don't, I don't mind at all. I have a question. But I'll be keeping oh. you all my prayers, just so you know. I'm going to drop down. I just wanted to say that and, and say hi. I've never you know, said you. hi before. So, thank um, you. I appreciate it. Appreciate thank, it. You. thank you. Right. Thank, I, I am thank a you. Thank you. God bless. Sorry. I have a question. Can I ask over? Yeah, sure. What's your question? Yeah, so when do you think you're going to get him out of jail? Um, I, I don't, I, I'm not sure. I think, I don't know, it's Sunday, so I don't think there's, an, I don't think there's much I can do. Okay. I don't know. I don't think he wants me to waste money bailing him out. It's not about, like, the... Yes. I, I don't think, I'm not trying to do a cash grab. I'm not, like, I don't, I don't think that's worth it, so... I'd say save the money. Didn't he? He actually said he wanted to stay in jail, right? So I'd say that's what he wants you to do, right? Real shit. Uh, yeah. I want to, I, okay, I want to, I want to make the case to you guys that the context behind what happened here is really important to how you understand what happened. That, like, I, I understand it looks bad, but the context is important. But really quick, let me read my super chats. Miko for five euros says, hashtag grace is free. Enjoy the freedom and you have more viewers without Ben. Take Lalo <laughs> in if he is for it. Oh, I'm gonna adopt Lalo. I'm gonna adopt a gay <laughs> Mexican child on top of my dad going to jail? I don't think so. I think gay Mexican child. With Ben would be fucking amazing. Just 
Yo, put great. Me there's two. Dentor's my goat, by the way. There's two main Please. narratives right now. Well, there's one main narrative that I would every... literally kill people for Ben Thorpe. Everyone's on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold that thought just really quickly. I just want to read the other super chat. Ethan Sofanowski says five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. Kick everyone except Fed Up Southern Girl, and let's get this show on the road. Okay, I'm gonna let them ask their questions, and then we're gonna get into it. Okay. Great. Thank I you think for five dollars. How do you I think, think I'm you're full fine. of shit? Because Lying about what? at the very beginning of that clip, Ben actually said something and alluded to something that is basically the smoking gun. And what he said was that you, you're different off stream than on stream. And that yes. you are a danger to him when you're off stream. Yes. Yes. And this whole act that you're doing, you're manipulating the audience into siding with you that you're like some weak victim that's afraid of ben and even what you're doing right now is playing into that and i think you know what you're doing and off stream you are torturing ben okay i wouldn't say torturing i think you're like you're okay I agree with you that I do present myself like that. I would not say torturing. I, I understand he puts it like that, but I do think the context is important, right? So, like, that kick happened. I was in his space. He said he doesn't feel safe around me. I don't think... I don't think this... I think the safety thing is more like... Let's say I've gotten him very, very upset before, and he's been like, okay, you need to give me my space now, and instead of doing that, I will, like, actively... I don't mean to do it, really, but I... Like, I'm saying this is, like, off stream. I will, like antagonize him further no but what what he was saying it almost felt like when the stream turns off you become a demon you become like a straight up demon that you're not okay with people seeing on stream and he was alluding to that it was yeah. like a cry for help yes. and That's if you what, read between yeah. the lines yes yes if you read between the lines this is exactly what you would be doing right now you'd be streaming and you would be kind of running cover for him in this like half-assed way to play into this narrative that you that that Ben is actually the abuser. And guess who's in jail ben. right now? Who's in jail right now? It's not you. It's Ben. He's the one yeah, that's suffering, him. and you're getting off on it. You're using it for content. So I think you're yes. full of shit. And I think that you are Whoa. like something goes on when off stream, something happens that we don't know about as the viewers. And Ben was alluding to it. Possibly, man. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, what happens? Well, first of all, I don't think me. I don't think me using this. F you're right, though. You're right. There is something that goes on off stream that you guys are not aware of. And I actually would say that torture is correct. It's it's sort of like a mental torture that I put him through. You're right to call that out. That is what happens. I learned this from my mom. I hate that I'm doing it. It's hard to stop doing it because it comes so naturally that it's hard to like. To clarify where exactly what the is pattern it? is because if i try really hard to be supportive of him i end up making him look like he brainwashed me and if i try to be nonchalant about it it looks like i'm kind of like reveling in him being sent oh, to so jail i'm trying to find a way to like make it, it sounds make like sense. you're a victim but like but like, like no 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 I, let's no, no, no. okay real, real shit real shit real shit real shit real shit real question I, I okay. saw, what I, does that actually look like what does that actually look like like she's not gonna say she's not gonna be honest you can't trust what she's gonna say because she's full of shit and even even when ben i mean but, but like but like why not like try and hear what she has to say like why not try to like, you're right i am full of shit you're right it. but it's but kind like, of why like not just hear it anyways like yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm, you're, you're, I'm not inquire say, about it bro. i saw the text with grace's mom where Grace was messaging her all of this crazy shit, and no one in the chat even realized it because you're all fucking brainwashed by Grace. Grace is manipulating all of you in the audience sitting there, and she was literally messaging her mom. Like, the demon was coming out. The demon that I'm talking about that happens Lucky off stream, the demon was there, and, and none of you guys saw it. She was telling her mom that she actually hates Ben. Demon. I don't think she's a yeah, she is. Yeah. A she no, is no, a what, oh, so. I, I, that's right. I this said, like, I said, I said, I, I said, I hate him because for me to treat him the way I treat him, I must hate him on some level. I did no. say, like, she was worse than Courtney. She said, oh, yeah. it, she's like a, like a hell spawn. And Courtney yes. started, and, and Grace is finishing what Courtney couldn't finish. <laughs> and she's yes. actually worse than Courtney. 
and she's torturing yes, Ben and getting off, of, getting off on it, and then reporting back to her mom, being like, "I'm way better at this than you are, bitch." And Grace, do you and, get off on it, Grace? Ben's, do you get Ben's, off on it? I, it's, okay, it's do. not, it's not quite that because it's, it, okay, it's not quite that because I don't, I don't get off on telling my mom I'm doing it better than her. I'm like deeply ashamed of that because I obviously don't want to be just like my mom. But thank you, you are correct. That is true. I meant it when I said I'm worse than her. She at least leave him, leaves him alone. I do this mental torture where I turn him into like either God or the devil. And I say like everything he does is like the epitome of everything perfect. And I have to worship him. And then I get angry at that. And I turn him into like, he's trying to abuse me, manipulate me. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. And it is mental torture. And it's worse than what my mom did. And I meant that when I sent it to her. And I think deep down you are ashamed. You're ashamed of what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, bro. I'm not going to lie. This shit sounds fucking schizo as shit. <laughs> This shit sounds so fucking schizo. No, 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 no. This guy is speaking facts. This guy is spitting. This guy is telling the truth. So schizo, bro. Look, all you have to do is map is good. Map is good. Thing between the lines, and deep down, Grace is ashamed of what she does when the demon comes out, but she can't. Baki Hamna, bro. Grace, where did the demon come from? Where did the demon come from? From Courtney. Uh, is that where it all came from? It's only from. Courtney? I think yeah. it's like the, I think it's like the Jesse Lee Peterson thing. I think it's like the hell from my mother. I haven't gotten out, and I do no. unleash it on my Actually. dad. All right. So, so your father is everything perfect, right? Is that what you're saying? He's not perfect. He's just. No, I'm saying I turn him not, into that. that like no, no, no. That's part of the torture. I don't treat him like a person. I treat him like God, which is not Dude. fair. And then I get then because he has flaws like every normal person. I get angry at him for having flaws and not being God, and then I lash out at him. So it's brutal. And yesterday when you were crying, when he was getting arrested and put in a jail, you were crying because you knew that it was your fault for driving him to that state, and you were ashamed of yourself, and you knew that it was all gonna go back, and, and when the stream turned off, you were gonna go straight back to that demon form. Yes. You're right. Yes, that is correct. That is correct, sir. Yes. Like fucking, hey, snap out of it, Grace. And everyone on, and now. everyone in the chat that's brainwashing and thinking that, like, oh, she's <laughs> some abuse victim. She's, you know, she has Stockholm Stockholm syndrome. She is the oh no, dude, she, she could beat the shit head. out of fucking Ben, bro. Like, she could probably. It's box all, him. It's all like, bullshit. but like, but like on, but on some real shit, on some real shit though. Like, I mean, look, what the fuck. I say we pay does the abuse a... look like unironically I, I need to know like from grace's perspective right even though like okay oh she might be a liar whatever look i want to hear grace's side I, I do i really do just and, and then and then maybe ben can go ahead and like talk about his side whenever right i'm not saying this is like a definitive thing but like what does the mental torture look like grace what does it look like what do you put ben through day in day out real shit yeah what do you do? I would say what I would say what it looks like is I I do the the main thing that I do is I would say that I um act afraid of him and like he's like super hyper judging everything I'm doing and then that ticks him off that I am doing that and then because he's ticked off then I act like a victim of him being upset and he, we can see it on the stream. Let's go through the stream. Let's go through the context. Yes. I mean, okay. And is it okay? Wait, 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 wait. But like, are you acting, or do you, or do you actively feel? No, she right? she acts the, on the, stream to manipulate people into believing. This is it world. is it an act, or do you genuinely feel scared at that instant? No. Okay. Shut well, it's tricky. Answer. It's it's Shut tricky. Up. It's tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky to figure out, right? Because it is a pattern. Okay, but like, okay, like if you put a gun to my head and said, are you afraid of your dad? Do you think he's like, do, do these voices in your head, do you think they're real? I would say no. Like if somebody said like, if you tell, if you lie, you're going to die. I would say no. But that doesn't mean that the feelings and emotions aren't there. That and I don't like okay. actually like freeze up and, and go to and, get and into all these patterns. I guess I gotta kind of gotta ask, do you, do you show this behavior towards anybody other than your dad? another question I gotta no ask. no i don't and i don't have fake do you... reverence for anybody else so then why specifically your father like real shit I, I, okay like you have because to... i i think i learned this, i think i do know mechanism. why 
I think I learned from my mom that instead of like having a relationship with God and treating other people like just normal people that I think I have this pattern from her that you latch on to one person and you sort of turn them into your everything and also like everything that you hate. And so like it's a way of like taking all the frustration and anger and questions that you have for God or whatever, like whatever in your life, like the world, why are you here? Why do you feel anxious? You know, endless support, the, 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 the things you should get from God, it's like turning one person into that and saying like, I've been wronged in my life, so I deserve for somebody to give me all the attempt, like to make up for that abuse and to be lashed out on. Who else does that? It's like an obsession. Aiden. All right, yeah, Aiden but like real that. shit, like what if I said as from a spectator's perspective, that it kind of seems like you both kind of hate each other and treat each other like that like it's not just like a one-sided thing where you're the only one look yeah it. yeah this the, it gets exacerbated by the way that ben is right because he talks for a really long time and you can imagine if you have to listen it to has nothing to do with how long he talks bro it has everything to do with like 100%. the way that he talks too but right it's it's yeah. a combination of things right but you can imagine if you were in that situation you had to listen to it all the time then maybe at some point you would also give rise to other thoughts and be like, what if it was like this? What if right. it was like that? Ben is too kind. Wait, the thing about crazy. him talking, the thing about him talking a lot. Grace, do you hear that's, me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Bro, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, wants, bro. I'm just saying, he bro. He wants me to stop. He wants me to stop. He's trying to con like he. No, he's look, just not. When he's, he's when he's not, talking, sweetheart. when he's talking, he's being real. Like he always keeps it real. He does. He's like just saying what he thinks. He's not trying to like. I mean, I guess in a way, when you talk to somebody, you're trying to convince them of something, but he's just, he's just, he would be fine to let me go. He would be fine. You said it And he times. doesn't, I know personally, he doesn't just mean it like as a way to say like, oh, go away. Like, I don't like you anymore. He's like, no, seriously, I don't want to keep living my life like this. I, I, I know that he doesn't have any other plan outside of it, but he means it like, <laughs> he let my mother go. He let my brother go. If I'm just going to do this thing to him, he would rather that we be separate. He Grace. would rather that he let me Grace. go. They left him. He didn't let them go. They left him. Do you understand that? No. Ben said multiple times that he's okay with Grace doing her own thing. The problem with Ben is he has too much patience. He lets he lets his family walk all over him because he just he's a generous guy. He just wants to give, give, give. See, until I know what this man means. I know what he means. Continue. You're Continue. right. You're right, Matt. You're right. <laughs> You're right, yeah. that is the problem. And if you watch the beginning of that Naptown after the highlight section where he does like a quick edit, when it starts, when you go downstairs and you're sitting there, he says that that's the smoking gun. He he says he alludes to it what you do off stream. Yeah, and I let's want, watch it right I now. Let's, to pay yeah. attention to it closely. I am interested in that is is you know, like you said, like there's off stream, there's on stream, and there's different you know I mean, personalities so look yeah. all i'm saying is like you're saying that hang on hang on hang on hang on hold happens. that thought hold that thought hold that thought let's just watch this and then i'll come back to you uh i think it's gonna it's gonna echo oh, okay. yeah i can't turn it off okay why don't you put it there all right all right Why don't you stop saying all right? Okay, I'll stop saying that. Oh, also, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. Ah! This is the wrong well, well, you said you would debate me. Debate me now. Yeah, this is true. The okay, so let me explain to everybody what happened. So the context for what's going on right now is I was extremely anxious about coming home from the road trip. We went on a big, like, three or four week road trip, and I was extremely anxious about coming home. He was not. I was extremely anxious. We got back. The first day we were back, I was extremely disrespectful to him in a way that, like, I can't say because it would be humiliating to him and i no how are like, you disrespectful no wait how are you disrespectful how 
just take it for do? granted. I was incredibly, incredibly disrespectful and broke his trust. Uh, okay? okay. And I did that because I was anxious about being home. I was angry about all of my patterns coming back. No, you need to tell me. What did you do? What did you do? No, I so don't need to tell you what I did. I don't need to tell you what happened. I don't need to. Okay. Some things are personal. You can okay. either believe me or not, but I'm telling you everything I did. So you're going you're gonna to have to believe what I'm okay. saying because you have no other way to get to what right. the story is. Okay. All right. Fine. That's fine. Okay. So I told, like, I, it was, I don't know. It was like, it was like. It was like, I thought he might, like, I, I, I was kind of suicidal. Like, I had mm. a little bit of suicidal ideation. Damn, Shadi, you don't kill yourself. Oh, uh, no. Okay, no. not really, but, like, it, it was, it was that out. bad. I was like, okay, I really, really, really fucked up. Was I going to do anything? Right, no, no, but I'm saying, like, it was, no. it was equivalent to, like, risking my life. Like, like, I don't know, doing something uh, really stupid. And she was don't doing do it to torture shit. men. Yeah, don't do that. Don't fucking do that shit, dude. Don't, don't ever do I, that. I didn't. I mean, okay, look, I, look. I know. I mean, I understand. It like, was like I wanted to get. It was like I wanted to get killed. I wanted to get killed. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because I was really, really angry. I was really, really angry at the patterns coming back. Because now I'm back home, and I felt like I wasn't in control. You're and frustrated. I was really, really, really angry mm. about not being in control. So I totally, yeah. like, I acted in a way where I just, I felt <laughs> like I, like, kind of wanted to get killed. And so also, did you feel, did you feel in control when you were on the road? Is that what it is? You feel like you're, you're in control when you guys are in the RV? Is that what you're saying? Or am I misunderstanding you? Uh, I felt much more in control when we were on the RV trip. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Sorry, continue. I wish I wish Naptown included Se the part self before you went downstairs. Before you went Sorry, downstairs, what? Ben said that he was I, I don't I forget the exact words he used, but he said that he was like cold and like lonely mm -hmm. downstairs and he was asking you to come downstairs. And this is yes. the state that this man this man is in. He's he's exhausted, he's lonely, he's cold. Exhausted. He's exhausted. Yes. Yeah, and it's he because, was. And it's I hadn't, we hadn't eaten all day. This There's demon no that lives in the house with him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And he was, he was actually begging me, not the demon, but he was, I don't know, I don't want to, like, externalize it too much, but he was begging me, Grace, to come down and just, like, be a friend and not do this sort of, like, alienation shit. So he was looking for for you to be his partner, like he can't be alone. In other words, no, he don't make me. it like that. Don't make it like that. He he just wanted his daughter back, and he was trying to be real for a second. Yeah, yes, that's true. That oh is what God. he wanted. Oh Jesus Christ! All right. So big baby, basically, it's being a big baby. He. he he yeah, that's what, that's what Grace wants you to believe with all this act that she's doing, with all this bullshit, that that Ben is a big narcissistic baby, that she has Stockholm Syndrome, that he's an abuser. It's all bullshit. He's the Can one I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question, Matt? Buddy, buddy. Can I ask you a question? What would, it, what would it look like if I wasn't doing this? What would, like, just lay out for me what you would see me doing at any point that would, like, not be the bullshit? Can do you know what it would be? I'm genuinely asking you. Like I, anything, I I'm just asking that, what it would look like. Anything that doesn't play into this narrative that chat is like they're manipulated in thinking already. Anything that doesn't lead people to believe that Ben is some abuser and a big narcissistic baby and that you have Stockholm syndrome. Good luck with that. <laughs> but how do I dif how do I differentiate like okay so like I'm acting like I'm upset right now. Okay, I I am genuinely upset. Damn. But and that's understandable. Saying, but you're saying like that plays into this. But how do I differentiate the two? Like I am genuinely upset. Which is understandable. I would be I mean, upset too. Shit. I mean real shit, real shit, real shit. I mean you kind of like, I feel like you kind of see this dynamic, right? Uh, with Courtney and Ben. 
and the fact that you're kind of like seeing it with yourself and Ben, I think it's just like, it might be more like, you know, maybe you guys are experiencing a similar situation and you guys are reacting in a similar way to the situation. And as a, as a spectator, real shit, that's just what it seems like to me. And I'm not trying to like, hey, I'm not trying to like, once again, like I, I've, I'm, I'm very like newly put onto this. Uh, well, not new, newly put on. I mean, I've, I've known about this for months, but uh, like the whole situation that went down recently. And uh, I'm really sorry to hear it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go. But thank you for having me on. And uh, real shit. Yeah, thanks for coming Hope on. You, you guys are a good group. I appreciate it. I really All do right, appreciate great. it. You guys are like really helping me. I don't think I could do this like on my own. Uh, can Please. I say something? Uh, sure. Where did I I'm just wondering. Doctor, real just... shit. <laughs> Wait. So, why is your like your whole family life just seems weird? Do you know why that is? Like, is there any starting point or what happened there? I'm just curious. I'm not insulting. Just, it kind of seems weird. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, my parents got married. They thought they got married because my mom got like pregnant with me and then she was a super immature person but she kind of like wanted to have this like rad trad big catholic family and it kind of all went to shit but she was trying to cope for it and my dad was kind of bipolar because she was doing the same thing to him that i'm doing now i mean it's like it's like generational trauma like my grandmother on my mother's side she had this crazy immigrant family they came from hung uh hungary i think and um her mother like didn't care about her at all she like dropped her in a pot of boiling water when she was a baby right and then my grandmother grows up is like super narcissistic because she's worried about like she's worried that nobody loves her because her parents did this crazy thing to her she marries my grandfather who's like a rich orthodontist she abuses the shit out of him because she feels like she was abandoned by her parents she wasn't taken care of by them he divorces her she gets an abortion um <clears throat> she spends the rest of her life obsessing over him and then uh actively abuses my mom by telling my mom how bad her dad is every single day because he divorced her because she was crazy then my mom feels like she's not respected she's not taken care of by her parents she's angry at her dad and she resents her mom. She goes off and does a lot of drugs and, you know, casual sex in New Orleans. She's very angry. She finds my dad. She latches on to him. She wants him to be, like, the god that she could never talk to. She wants him to kind of fill what her parents couldn't. And she knows what she's doing is wrong, but she kind of can't help herself. And she ropes him in. And then things get worse and worse, and she kind of tries to keep coping for it. And, like, she may have good intentions, but she just takes her anger at her legitimate trauma and her questions about whether she's worth, like, whether why her parents didn't love her enough to take care of her and why her mother abused her and her father left her, which she didn't actually, but her mother convinced her to not go and see her dad when they got divorced, so, you know, she blamed him for that. She takes that out on my dad. My dad eventually does a similar thing to what her dad did, which was to say, like, you're crazy, you're obsessed with me, this isn't a marriage, you're turning me into some, but something that I can't do for you. And then my mother gets very angry, turns the kids against him, feels bad about it, I think, knows she's doing wrong, and now I'm doing the same thing of, like, testing endlessly. I'm just skipping the middleman process of getting a husband and doing this. I'm just literally doing it to him, saying, like, I have questions about whether I'm worthwhile. I have questions about my, I'll wrap up soon, but I have questions about whether God loves me, what, what, you know, because I felt like mom and you didn't take care of me enough when I was a kid. And so it's just endless testing of him. And so I think that's the pattern. It's like generational trauma. I don't know. Map, you're the one calling me out on my bullshit. Does that sound right to you? Map? Or anybody can join in but i just wanted to hear what he had to say i i i think you might be right but also um i mean it's I think, like what i'm trying to say is like i'm not defending my behavior i'm just saying like it's kind of a tragic it's all like it's kind of a, just a 
It's generational. I, like I know this has been happening for at least three generations. I, I think you're stuck in, in some cycles where it's a little bit of one part and a little bit of another part. <laughs> and then you got a little bit of both parts. And that makes it come back. And maybe the best thing that could happen to you is a distance from that. So you can, you know, heal from that or you can see a different life. So even though this is, is actually a tragic situation because you get separated from your dad and it's not in a very nice way, it's also a chance for you to, to you know, heal. But it's very hard. I think... When you have the, when think, it's with the internet, yeah. you know? So it's a, it's a complicated situation for apparently no hi, Brittany, reason. Hi, Brittany. Hi, David. I agree, so. well, whenever you're dealing with like this kind of generational malaise, like this spiritual sickness. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just I say something really quick? Can I just say something really quick? I think the reason that everybody like thinks this is super weird is because I have just skipped kind of like taking this out on a like an unrelated person. And I'm actually just doing it with my dad. And I don't think a lot of people do that. I'm not saying it like makes sense or whatever, but like I'm playing out the generational trauma just on him and usually it's just like okay well i would get married and then i would do this whole thing so i think if you can yeah. take that out well. of the equation as far as like oh my god this is so crazy it's pretty similar it's just like this thing of women like okay it's like a female generational trauma of like the women on my mom's side of the family which i think you know okay. obviously i get more it comes from them this sort of like being abused as children and then taking that abuse and resenting it and then latching on to a male figure and overdoing it. And it's sort of tragic because it comes from a, like a good place, which is like you, I think all grace, the women on my grace, side of the family. Grace, so grace, grace, grace. Is the problem. You, no, no, let me talk. Do you know why Grace is abused? Look at the background. There's a freaking bottle of ragu. That's all I have to say, man. That was it. That is a, an unopened bottle of ragu. Bridge. That doesn't have to go in the fridge until you open it. True. By the way, thank you, pa Pat Paulson, for the two dollars. I appreciate it. Drink the ragu. I'm gonna need a little bit more than. Well, at $2 least you got like. That. Who cares, dude? You got like 400 uh, viewers, dude. Yeah, so. I know. Can we get to 400, please? Can we get to 400 viewers? That would be my first time. We Look, 374. Let's go. We need we need 26. We need. Right? Yeah, 26. Yeah. Great. You get to 400, and don't you all You're leave the stream now, now just to say... <laughs> I can't believe you got the biggest number with the potato, Grace. Maybe. Amazing. How did we do this? It's always the Whoa! Potato. It's thank potato. you for the $50, Evelyn. I oh, appreciate it. Yeah. Ben sacrificed his rap sheet. Thank you for the $50. Hang on, hang on. Let me read this super chat. Is it okay for your dad to even pretend to kick you? Be honest, Grace, you deserve more. It's never okay even to pretend. I think it's absolutely fine even for him to pretend to kick me. Darius slapped me. Mm. I've been rough, like, I've roughhoused with people on stream. I think it's absolutely fine. I do not think... And here's the thing that I was trying to say is if I could stop, okay? I know it's tricky, but if I could stop doing this thing where I am, like, idolizing my dad and also being angry at him because he's not God, which is not fair to him. If I was, I think this was what would calm everybody down. If I just treated him like a normal person and I had my own issues and stuff that I dealt with with God. I think that's, I think that's what I need to do. I need to separate him from God because I don't pray. Yeah. I, I don't have a relationship with God, really. I, I kind of do, but like. You don't pray, bitch. Or you could just pretend he is God. I think. You but thank you for the fifty dollars, no, Evelyn. It's thank okay. you for the fifty dollars. I, no, Evelyn, you like I think. I no, Evelyn. Wait. Let me just like, respond to this really quick. Hang on, like, hang on. 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 Just wait a second, <laughs> Evelyn. Let me just respond to this really quick. I do yeah. think I deserve more. I deserve. I want to do better. I want to do better. I want people to respect me more. Move out. Move out, bitch. I Move don't reach, want reach. to keep doing this. It's like white trash nonsense, and I want to get it out of my life. Reach. It is. Let's go. 
Okay, but I have another question, all right? I'll ask you guys this, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say I have daddy issues. I don't pray to God. I'm afraid that I, I have issues with God because I was abused as a child and I felt like I got left alone. I got the short end of the stick, okay? I think a lot of people have that. Let's just say that's the baseline. So I have this unresolved sort of question about whether I'm worthy of love and I also have this unresolved anger. Okay, but I'm contingent as a female. I don't know, okay, I know that it's very risky to, like, work out these issues on another man, but it's also extremely risky to work out these issues literally on your own father. But what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to deal? Because if I just say, like, okay, I'm going to read prayer books and I'm going to try to deal with it intellectually right. and rationalize it, it's not going to work. I know, I know that's not going to work, because I don't Grace. think women work like that. We're relational. So who am I supposed to have this relationship with? Grace, Grace, get your GED. Get your fucking GED and get I'm out going to kick you that's not that's not a response to what i asked yeah, I don't think a to what I asked. Is this, really this problem is unique either. this problem is unique to solve the issue this, this is this is like you're not gonna like let's say you get a husband or something you're this is not at least mm -hmm. my understanding is this is not gonna happen with another person ben is unique and he's I like oh no 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 i just want to clear i just want to clarify that <laughs> i would do this to another person i would absolutely do this to another person yeah yeah you're gonna cycle it like it's gonna it's gonna you know you're gonna bring your trauma forward and shit but i mean but it as long as you don't have your own shit going on you're always gonna expect that other person to be you know the carrier of your of whatever your self-esteem is so that's why i was saying that is you gotta you gotta uh fucking you gotta branch dick, out girl. bitch you Do gotta branch dick. out bitch okay but I, out. okay but let me okay but i want to respond to this okay my brother just did keep that growing, my, bro so my, my brother did that whoa holy shit thank you evelyn thank you for the hundred dollars holy just shit just keep growing grace 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 thank just you keep growing just grow <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Hang on, hang on. I just want to say thank you for the hundred dollars. Holy shit! Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you need to fall I'm on it brainwash, dude. Somebody else. Hang on. I'm, let me. I'm gonna read I'm it. Amazing. You're falling for it. There's always more where that came from, but I can't support young women who allow themselves to be used and abused. Grace, you are strong and intelligent. Don't tolerate abuse and mistreatment. Mm -hmm. well, she's she's the one who's abusing Ben. What to do now. Evelyn, she's the one that's abusing Ben. She's torturing Ben. <laughs> off I am jail. strong. I am, okay. I I am strong and intelligent. I will not tolerate myself abusing and mistreating him anymore. I've done this oh, for God. a long, long time, and I also yes. won't. I also no. Shut up. I also won't tolerate anybody else abusing or mistreating me. I will try my best, okay? I will try my best, and if he does it, I will also call him out on it. But yeah, honestly, he has never nice. abused me. He's, 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 you know, he's gotten angry in ways that don't make sense, but he's never abused me, okay? <laughs> I have used my relationship with him to figure out something that I should have, I don't know, but like, I should have figured, I. Mm. Okay, this is what's hard for- thank you for the hundred dollars, though. I appreciate it. No, listen, but this is what's hard for me to understand. Okay, this is what's genuinely hard for me to understand. In order to say that I did wrong, I have to be able to say that I could have done something else and I did this, right? Wouldn't you admit Grace. that that's true? No, no, Grace. just say yes or no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, like, you would have to say that you'd have to have an, another option that you could have done, because otherwise you could only have done what you did and therefore you can't possibly have done wrong. Okay, yeah, how about so, not torture Ben? You're an MK Ultra. Okay, victim. but what? What? What should? Okay, but what should I have done? What? No. I need to you're stop right. it. But what can I do to not do this? Because I I completely understand why I went there. Because I don't think, I don't think it's fair. Like you could Just, say it's wait wait you could say it's safe to do this like to take out your daddy issues literally on your dad instead of trying to like figure it out with another guy. But you could also say that it's very understandable because it's not really fair to do it to an innocent guy who like isn't really involved to just like take out these issues you have about parenting and stuff on them. You could also say I should have moved out. I should have cut off the relationship with my dad or kept it very very like distant because I needed to work this out on my own, but we all know I wasn't gonna work this out on my own. I would be sucking dick left and right, drinking, probably like a decent human being, but like not doing well. Okay, obviously I have some deep issues. So what should I have done? What, what, what's like, what's the better path to go for? You... Right, do, you think, do you think the fact that there is no answer that will ever satisfy your father might be a problem? 
You're seeking his approval, right? I'm asking for a question that no, answers listen. my... I'm yeah. seeking for a solution that answers my question. Okay, so, so Grace, the best thing that you can do, and that's just a general thing, so, sort of like a blueprint, is the best recipe to grow, if you want to grow, is to start with yourself. Start with the most internal part of yourself, where your heart is and where your deepest thought is, all the deep stuff. That's what you want to... That's the root of everything. That's where you want to work. Then you want to work on your, you know, lesser deep thoughts. Then your, you know, your body. And then your room, and etc. And then you want to work out from the center of yourself. And so you want to identify things in yourself, which you may not know all the all right, look, answers this, this to. Dude's, this dude's fucking boring. No, Whatever. No, 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 I like, no, 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 I like what Potato has to say. Okay. So, so, so it's just something you can apply, Relax. like, over over your life, right? And then... Very stark ass. And, and then... Um, I get, sorry, I got... I got out of it. But you can apply this... Check your notes. In, Check your in notes. everything. And right now, you may not have the answer to everything. So, but every time you come up with an answer, you find the root of this issue and you say, is there any way I can treat it differently? Is there any way I can look at it in a new way? And you may also be able to figure these problems out with other people, with people you have relationship with, with or friends or something like this. But take the problem at the root and figure out instead of like talk a whole lot, just try to like, you know, be Look, calm dude, about dude, it dude, and, dude, and realize that you're going to grow no, alive. So this you don't is need not, a solution to no, every problem right this away. This is not the real grace. Remember, this is no, grace I, acting, I, right? I, this I is grace acting. Okay, hang on, hang on, right? hang on a sec. Hang, hang on one sec. I have a mm -hmm. super chat. Ryan Pearson for $10. Thank you for the $10. The problem is no one listens, even your dad. He just decides to call you out and question every thought you have. You don't need that from anyone. He question he calls me out and questions what I like the thoughts I have because I am kind of full of shit a lot of the time. He's trying to help me. Yeah, all Ben. I wants need that. To help you, Ben. Ben is genuinely just trying to help, and you return it by just being like straight up demonic towards him. And do you have any sympathy for me? You're asking how do you solve this problem? How do yes. you fix this? Yes. I think you need to get Ben. To take you to a priest and get a straight up exorcism. <laughs> okay. Like, unironically. Okay, I need an exorcism. Yeah. Okay, but that's not gonna magically fix everything. <laughs> I think that's me. I think that's the only hope because otherwise, like you're you're not gonna have any accountability. I, mean, I think I think you're prayer. But that's not really exorcism. having accountability. You're saying I'm, I you can't just get an exorcism. You have to like demon possession is a real thing. It's not just like oh if you're acting poorly you get yeah. an exorcism. It worked for me. <laughs> like, I'm seeing a person that's possessed by a demon right now. And that's what Ben was alluding to. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean... Look, Grace, I, I think th the main thing is, you know, what what's real and what's not. And what you're portraying right now, is that real? Like, are you being what real? What I'm right portraying now? right now? Yes. Uh, it's a persona, but it's based off reality. Yes. Okay. How much? How much is a persona, and how much is actual? You know, you because it seems like half and half. But. Well, I don't know. I I can't parse it out for you. I play into certain things. I lean into certain things, but it's based on the truth. Obviously, I'm not making things up. Well, obviously, we don't see what goes on off stream. Grace, listen. There's a demon, in you, and the demon is laughing every time it gets you to make a fool of yourself. This demon hates you, and it wants to destroy you. It's getting off right now. And ultimately, the demon wants you to die. You know what I'm saying? No, so I don't think, could, like, I don't think to, Yeah, it does want her to die. No, I think, I think what the demon wants is for her to torture Ben. And, oh, and, and, anyone else. Want, and anyone else. The demon else. doesn't even want Ben to die. The demon wants Ben to stay alive so he can spend the rest of his life every minute. What in the fuck are you guys life. talking about? Holy fuck. Wait, 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 w
Then he said that I need to forgive my siblings or figure out what the deal is with them. And then he said I need to figure out what my, you know, sort of relationship with YouTube and being a public persona and with the chat and everything is. Do you agree with him that those that's what I should do? I think you should forgive your mother. I think you should forgive him as well. I think you should forgive your siblings. Did you do any of those things? I, I think I have forgiven my mother. What do you mean you I don't. I, I believe that I've forgiven my mother. I think I actually did do that. I don't think I'm mad at her anymore. When did oh, that happen? Really did good. You, did you when forgive, did that happen? Did you let her off the hook for everything? Um, what do you mean let off the hook? Like, I, I said I think you've done certain things, but I don't, I don't, I don't know why you did them, and I'm not going to be angry about it anymore. Did you tell her that you forgive her? Yes. Like over text? Yeah. So, so this is, this is what you have to do, Grace. This is, this pattern of looking over things and learning and growing. And you don't have to worry too much about it because you can see in your life over time, you continuously grow. Well, so Grace, if there's things you don't know right now, you'll you know it reading, soon. You were reading out your text like on a stream like before this <clears throat> with your mom yeah. and it did yeah. not sound like someone that's forgiven their mother. So where's Why? the difference? Why not? What, what, I can go through them. What, what do you think? It, it what, didn't what seem part like it? you had forgiven her. It, s- it still seemed like that you held resentment towards her in those texts. Well, because I, I was saying, like, her response to me wasn't, like, good. It wasn't... It doesn't good. matter what her response is. Forgiveness is you forgiving her and letting her off the hook in your own mind. It doesn't matter what her response is to that. Yeah, okay, but so then if I tell her... So, if wrong, I tell, if, so then if I tell her something that happened and she has a callous, nasty response, I'm supposed to just say, like, well, it doesn't matter? Yep, you gotta oh, say, well, I was wrong. You're right. You gotta say exactly. that shit. Exactly. It doesn't can for, matter. Can you forgive her for that? Can I forgive her for that? Yes, I mean, it doesn't really affect me, but I actually was trying to help her when I was communicating with her because I was saying, like, can you tell me if you think you and my father are still married or not? Because I've kind of been assuming you're not, and so I've taken all of his attention, and... Sorry, somebody's... Uh, hang Grace. on, I just gotta... Grace. But or I, you that's, just that's say, what you're I was... right, and she's wrong. You just but... double down and just say, you're right. Just like double down love okay, it's and not even about who's I mean her her responses to me know, used to drive me her responses to me used to drive me crazy. I like I still get sort of like irritated by it, but I I let it go pretty easily. Like it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't drive me crazy. It doesn't make me feel like I can't believe that she said that. It's like it's like uh, and then it's like okay, yeah, okay. She's probably dr- Do drunk you and she's your mom? Maybe she's yes. not drunk. Maybe she just doesn't want to deal with your fucking bullshit at the moment. I still think I can say that even if I forgive somebody <laughs> that they're being nasty. Sure. But but you 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 forgive Courtney. Yes, I forgive her. What is what does forgiveness mean to you? I'm I'm genuinely curious. What does that mean to you? Like do you change your behavior? No, you just keep you for- on doing the same thing forever. Yeah. No. For- well I would say I would say if you're off the hook in your head. Sure yeah, I, I do don't, I don't, I, okay, I do not, letting, if you say letting her off the hook, I do not believe that she, like, that she owes me anything. I was angry at her because I felt like she owed me something. I no longer think that. And you, you don't have, you don't hold any resentment towards her? No, I just wish that she could help me. But I don't expect her to, but it would be nice if she could. How do you want her to help you? Exactly. Like, how, how is she supposed to help you? I mean, if she, if she could admit that this thing about, like, if, if she's saying that my parent, like, that she and my dad are married right now, and, like, so they're actively both breaking this bond and destroying our family... That would be helpful for her to clarify because no, Grace, if that's true, Grace, listen. No, don't yell at me. Don't fucking like? yell at me, you fucking whore. Shut the like? fuck up. I'm Shut up. Asking. Don't yell at me like that. Don't. Oh snap. <laughs> don't. I'm asking you what it looks like. No, but Grace. don't. No, don't tell me oh, no, Grace. So don't. Curious. Don't do that okay. again, or you're gone. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, sweet, sweet princess. Go ahead. 
Sweet you baby. can be nasty all you want. Just don't yell Why? at me. I don't like no. that. No, serious. What did you want to say? All I was asking is what it looks like as far as forgiveness when you when you're like, okay, well, I forgive my mother, but all right, well, what does forgiveness look like? What does it look like to you as far as the future goes? And her helping you. What does her helping you look like? What are the actions you want her to take to help you? And what are you going to do? You know what? You know what? I was actually wrong to say that. I was wrong to say that because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't actually want her to do anything. I personally don't want her to do anything. I don't think I don't have anything that I could tell you that I want her to do. Maybe for my sibling's sake, if she could resolve this thing about her and my dad so that they don't feel like he's cheating on her or she's cheating on him or they should be back together, if she could resolve that so that it's not so confusing, I would like that for them. But for me personally, I don't think she has anything to offer. I actually don't need her to do anything. I don't, I'm not asking her to do anything. I don't have anything that I would like. Who, who do you need to, to do something for you then? Who's gonna, who do you need to do I something I don't think for I need you? any, I don't think, well, I think I need to ask God for help, but I don't think anybody needs to do anything for me. All right. Well, you're a boss bitch. There you go. All right. So you, you do forgive Courtney and you forgive your siblings as well. That's probably easier. I don't think there's much to forgive them for because, I mean, they're, like, largely innocent. Um, I would I would rather that she let my siblings have, like, free interactions with me and my dad. That That's yeah, what I would that, prefer. That's up to her. Like, I mean, she, you know, she's in control of that. You're not. So the, the only thing you can do is just let it go on your on your side. Yeah, it is out Fuck of my that, Grace. Yeah, it is. And do Fuck you, letting shit go, Grace. You, you, you gotta figure out some hey. way to get revenge. Do you forgive Ben? There's a lot of people on panel. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think that the, the, uh, Yeah, wait, yeah. hang on a second, hang on a second. Okay. Hell says, Grace, I believe you need to bond with females. Yes, I would ask any woman, okay, I'm not discrediting the men on panel, but, like, any women who want to come up... Right now, all I have is this fucking cunt, fed up Southern girl. I'd like <laughs> somebody, oh, some other females to come up Look, and maybe Grace. offer their advice Amelia? from a female perspective. See? Grace, yeah. you can just be a voice. Your first ah, hey, 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 shush. You can just be a voice if you want. You don't have to be on on camera. You can use your voice. I was your first aunt. It, you, it's it's Grace's first. panel, Amelia, you fat pig. Uh, Let her talk. I was Let the great no fat, no fat shit. Um, yeah, this bitch aunt. sucks. This okay. fed up bitch sucks. Amelia is like, yeah, yeah, she sounds you know so what? fed up like she has an ego two hours. You can go fuck yourself. Well, well you, you don't even know what, what fed up Southern <laughs> Girl did. She's like a master troll. You guys don't know. Nah, she's not. She's, not well, she's also 300 pounds. Yes, that she's is true. I have 300 pounds. Okay, okay. She sounds fat. Go get your own thread. <laughs> Do you know why the Southern, let me talk. Do you know why the Southern girl called in? Because she saw the ragu can in the background, okay? That's true. That is true. <laughs> I wanted the ragu. I wanted the ragu. I mean, I, I, mean, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Grace Amelia is like right here. Insane she's... Asylum panel? Yeah, just imagine like, imagine just all of us in a padded cell talking to the wall. If if, if that mm -hmm. works, then it is an insane asylum. Panel. Well, the, the Southern girl's as big as a fucking wall. Can we talk about Ben's situation currently? Like, Ragu yeah. bottle, not can. Thank you for clarifying, <laughs> Beacon. Yes. That is true. That is true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, so I disavow the 300 pound comment, by the way. Ben is actually whoever... in jail. Jail sucks. Yeah. It's really bad there. Well, he I thought wanted it was a $50 it. bond, Grace. He fucking wanted it, dude. Can't you go bond him out? Well, isn't that what they do? That's what they told me, and then I went there and they said, yeah. no, it's going to be higher. I, I'm not a female, papers, Grace, but, like, but yeah. I apologize oh, that really? the one female on this panel you have to deal with is some Michelin man-looking motherfucker, so I am um, so sorry for you. Uh, is You think it's thing to do with... There's theories floating around that the 10,000 has anything to do with the restraining order, that maybe if, if you have a restraining order and you do something violent, that's why? I don't know. It's just a theory people are I, saying. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't know. It's... Mm-hmm. I mean, Buddy, a ten thousand dollar bond the, is the, pretty the, common. Okay. I bet you people the, are calling that police station right the, now the, from YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. They're I like don't know. telling the police shit. Yeah. It's a they grand, think. dude. You don't have a fucking grand. 
Well, I let's propose that we, till... we let, let's break I Ben out of jail. Want, I don't think... So we'll send this no, southern no, no, lady. No. She'll break through the wall, and then we'll yes. get Ben out. Yep. I'm I'm like the cool aid man. I'm gonna break, break through that Kool-Aid. fucking wall and just pull mm. him out. Absolutely. That's what I'm about. In Minecraft, I don't actually think about uh, jailbreaks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Grace is a 2 out of 10. Does it feel weird that, like, you've had the highest amount of people, but, like, the a shitty thing that happened? I mean, people seem to be in high spirits, but... Whoever feel... said Grace is a 2, that's a lie. I'm about a simp, but she's at least a 4. Do you feel crazy right now, Grace? How, are oh, you alright? No, I think Grace is a, at least a 7, dude. Look at that beautiful face. No, it's a 6. No. Okay, well, well, okay, okay. I, I would ask... say a, a drunk 7. 6.9. Did I ask for you to Solid. rate me? Did I, did I ask? Did I? Did I? No. Did I ask? Okay, so then don't. The fat lady the started chat. it. The incel talk needs to stay off stream. Okay. You, map. Okay. What if I resolve the streaming issue? What if it's not okay. like, am I a demon? Okay, what if I, what if I break it down to like, okay... I need to have something that I do that I don't rely on him 100% for. So what if I break it down to the streaming thing and I say, I'm going to become a confident streamer on my own, or at least I'm going to, like, not necessarily on my own because I think I would be a team with him, but, like, I'm going to Mm. own it. I'm going to own what I do online, and I'm going to stop acting like a victim of that. And then maybe it can repair the thing with him. What do you think about Uh, that? I think it um... Yeah, go, anything. It's not a bad idea. It's not bad. You're saying you're going to go solo stream and that this is going to resolve you turning Wish into a demon a off stream and torturing Ben. Can, yeah, can I, I, can I, I interject? I, think, okay, I just want to interject <clears throat> real quick. Just let me interject real quick. I'm sorry, Grace, but you are doing pretty well, and I believe that your father burnt many bridges. So I, I'm not a simp for you, but I think that's kind of what happened in the content game. A lot of people didn't want. No, no, I'm still talking, motherfucker. Now that um, out of the picture, you're gonna blow up. Watch. I, I think that it, I think the issue has been that he said that I act like a victim of streaming, and I think I need to cut that out or stop streaming and just just do one or the other. What does that mean, though? What does that mean? What does the victim of streaming even mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Break it down. That I act like I'm a victim of being online and being publicly exposed, and I don't enjoy watching my own content, and I'm embarrassed of myself. That's what it means. Like, if you want to do something artistically or creative, then you put it out there, and then you stand by it, and you try to get better. If you if you're just doing it to please somebody else, and you're acting like you don't, you've been dragged into it, then you're going to be embarrassed of yourself. You're not going to work on doing better. You're going to just kind of self-immolate and then blame it on the other person. Like, do I want to succeed or do I want to please him? I think that's what he wants to, me to get out of my system, this idea that I'm going to please him. I, well, I, I agree with that. that and I would say... You well, this guy, always, he loves to hear his own voice. No, Grace asked me the question. I'm trying to Yeah, I did ask out. him the question. Let him answer yeah. first Sorry. and then you guys can answer. Then you guys can answer. Grace, how, is this, uh, how is this going to help you from getting off on psychologically torturing Ben. Because if I'm not, if I own what I do online, then I can't torture him about it. And then there's not much else to torture him about. What else could I torture him about? So it's like eliminating she, the possibilities. She's doing the smart thing, map. She's growing away from the, she's growing in a different direction, which is a very I, clever thing up. to do. Shut up, German. All right. Um, did you not just explain everything Excuse about me? yourself when you talk, when you just said that? When you explain that, is that not what you are? Or this who lady you are? just ate everybody on the panel. <laughs> like you just said, you just it like described exactly who you are, and there's nothing wrong with that. Who just who, I described exactly who I am? Is that what yes. you're saying? Yes, yes. That's what. Yeah, you just I, I'm saying the energy that I that yeah that is a description. I'm saying the energy that I use to uh like that I direct at him to sort of like see if he approves of me i can just direct that towards online and see if they approve of me like not as a person but like as far as success goes 
Just redirect it entirely and don't ever look back at him and say like, do you approve of me, daddy? That's what I'm obsessed with is whether you think I'm great in every way or every little criticism is like cutting me deeply and winding you up about that and saying like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I, I need your help all the time, but I also don't want your help because you're controlling me. Taking I, all I that have, energy. I have yeah. a question, Grace. Um, no, man, I haven't gotten to ask Grace a question. I'm right. saying... If this is already what you're trying to do, as far as your father's approval and about embarrassment and whatnot, like, what's stopping you from doing porn? And don't kick me off the panel. I'm being serious. What do you mean? How, I don't see how they fo they follow. What do you mean? Because if My you're already embarrassed, if no, porn. but if you're embarrassed with your content currently, and if you're putting yourself in embarrassed positions, porn is embarrassing. I'm not saying oh. you have to do porn. I'm just saying if you're already embarrassed, what is stopping your content from escalating? That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be rude. Yeah. No, no. I, I don't think you're trying to be I rude. Say she I get wants what you're to... saying. I get what you're I, saying. Are you, tr are you not trying to say that you want to do more, like, more respectable content? More something that's... Well, I, I think what like, he's saying is if I'm not... If, if I don't own what I put out on the internet and I'm always embarrassed about it, why not just... Why not just do like? Exactly. Who cares then, what I put out there? Why not do porn what you're or whatever saying, else? Though, because it's like saying like if saying somebody, you go if, the, if, if so, yeah, go ahead. Aren't you saying you want to go in the opposite direction? That you want to grow and you want to be more, you know, more responsible and learn from your mistakes and you is know, it make it a journey. Or is it shame? Are you ashamed or are like you? What if you grew out from that and become whole? And I am embarrassed. Journey? I am embarrassed because what I present is sort of a lie, and then I have to keep covering up the lie, and then every once in a while my dad will be like, you're lying, and then I'll get super, super embarrassed. But isn't that acting in general, though, Grace? Like, actors in general, they're portraying a character. They're portraying an alias. Like, there are some people that are the biggest heels on movies, and they're the nicest people in real life, and vice versa. So oh, I don't no, think you're doing something wrong. I think you're right. I think to me, what it seems like is that you're not actually embarrassed. You're ashamed of yourself deep down. Of your own action. Acting is well, not bad. Yes, 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 yes. I am ashamed of what I do to him off stream. So then I present a false persona on stream because right. I am ashamed of what I do. And then I have to constantly lie and cope and like cover it up so that I don't actually want to stream. That I think is that what you're saying? That is so, what. Yeah. So your real question is, how do I stop feeling ashamed when doing this kind, of, like when streaming, when when doing content? Because when I look if, back, I'm ashamed of myself. Uh, what no, if you put, actually, what do you actually, think actually, 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 I, I I think it's a little bit different. I think it's I think I'm just I'm just changing it a little bit. I think it's less about the content itself. I think it's more about my private behavior. I'm ashamed of. I don't have confidence in, in myself as a human being. And so then I lie and manipulate chat to to get validation right. because I right. don't I actually right. believe in myself. I'm not presenting myself as a persona that people can either accept or reject. I'm actually more, presenting. I actually feel vulnerable like my. The, the moral case. Yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off, Grace. But the moral case is all these people trying to psychoanalyze a person that's on a stream. They have mm -hmm. no idea yeah. what she is behind the scenes. Yeah, we that's my that's point. That's true, but I'm None trying to explain who she what is happens off behind stream. the scenes. And behind the scenes, she turns into this fucking demonic thing that psych like psychologically tortures. How them. do you know? Are you there? Because Ben. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I I I appreciate it. I, I'm not trying to cut you off. I'm just we, saying. We uh, all have some good inputs each different angles i asked for a female voice so Honestly. amelia did join the stream you got a very bad hey, female Grace. voice but i will mute myself hey what's hi. up hi amelia how you doing uh it's kind of all over the place i wouldn't say great but i wouldn't i mean it's like better than usual i guess yeah it seems chaotic there's a lot of voices and Nightmare blunt rotation right now. <laughs> yeah, you can really only just kind of not freak out at yourself, you know? It doesn't really do anything. Um, I don't think this is your fault at all. Well, it's a little bit. And I know oh, you kind of there it is. 
There it is. It's not your fault, Grace. You're innocent. Ben is abusing you. Shut up, bitch. You shut the fuck up. Let her talk. Shut up. Shut up, shut up you little bitch. Let her talk, man. Let her talk. Uh, she sounds very winded okay, after wait, every okay, sentence, okay, but let Amelia, her talk. Okay, Thank Amelia. Okay, Amelia. Amelia can say what she wants to say, but Map can also like call her out. I don't think she takes that personally. Amelia, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Why not? What would it? What would you? What would it? What would it be like for you if like your RD was in jail or like wasn't around you? How how do you think you would feel? Well, I guess like let's say he we did like a performance and he kicked me on stage and. He went to jail for that. I think I'd feel really freaked out and like that was not what we intended, you know? But I really think that if he did that out of context and he was really actually angry at me at the moment that he lashed out with like physically, I think that it would take me some time to process that and be like, you know, maybe he should be there just to think about what he did. You know? When did in fat? Huh? Hey, Grace, mm -hmm. can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, so what is your understanding of your own image uh, in the world? What do you think people think of you? Uh, I would say people see me as, uh, somebody who is kind of crazy, uh, doesn't have her life together, is a victim of something crazy, and that's why she acts so crazy. Like, I, I act so crazy. Um, okay. Somebody well, that's to... a lot of people in their early 20s, and that's like really nothing to be ashamed of. Like, you're, right. you're growing up, you're coming into who you are, um, and you're making a lot of mistakes. Sure, that's not a problem. But you also have that's to understand you are a girl that. in your early 20s yeah. with a Kiwi home thread, you know? Yeah. Um, and people have this understanding of you that's very skewed and very flawed, and you're trying to play into that. You're trying to like tell them what to think of you i think really the best thing you can do for your image because you know you know the stream you're doing right now is going to get clipped by colonel J, and we're all going to watch parts of it it's probably going to be on the kino casino all these people are going to be making tons of money off of what you're doing right now and you're not going to see any of it so i think the best thing that you can do for your image because i think you have an interesting voice um and i think that you have an interesting situation but your situation seems to the world as an oddity, and it seems very depressing. So while your father is away from you, what I think the best thing you can do is go over there, drink that jar of ragu, put on a show for everybody, <laughs> decide what you're going to do with the rest Just of your life. The decide Dude, what daddy wants I, to I fucking sat man. here listening to all that. Just, you, wow. dude, wait, Look, Grace, stop wasting my time. You can make money on this and you can make enough money to get him a good lawyer if you drink that ragu. Yes, I, I believe that is Grace. that is true. Do you really Honestly, feel that the kick was consensual? Did you consent to that? Yes. Yes. How so? And when? Oh, it was a playing up of stuff. I've harm. said that like us roughing each other up or like being aggressive with each other on stream is fine. It's just like you and is that Amelia who said that? Yeah. Can we can we get to like the Well, you you and you and RD, right? You and RD, your your husband. You like have a you've said BDSM relationship, right? So that doesn't mean like every little thing you consent to, he asks you whether you want to do it. It's just like a broad But that's in the context of that's in the context of like an intimate exchange. It's not like a fight. So it's not like yeah, but he does sometimes over. like but but he has to like he, sometimes he won't let you uh, call into shows right something like that he'll say like you can't come on camera you can't be on and that's something you do and that's something you two have worked out and I'm not saying that's wrong but I'm just saying like it's not every time he says like are you okay with me telling you not 
you know what to do he just tells you what to do so to somebody else that could look controlling or like you didn't consent but it's you largely consent like broadly consented to doing this with him so when he does little things you know what, you get what i'm saying you've already covered this to death though like this this is all like yeah. the same shit over and over yeah I, I feel like i feel like grace is just like trying to you run up happy. a hill that's no, I, no, I haven't spoken in a while. You don't so seem happy. I'm stuff. happy with whatever, you know, happens between me and Rusty or whatever he says that he doesn't feel comfortable with me doing and stuff. Like, I'm happy with those things because it's really not, like, a loss or anything that, like, I care about. But, like, for you, you don't really seem happy. And, yeah, like, in that moment, like, you screamed and scratched reason. your face. That seemed just, she's like, unhappy you know. unhappy because she's ashamed of herself. Then you're totally missing That her. is true. That is She's true. ashamed of herself. herself. But you've She's been told not to be happy. embarrassed of Ben, and that it's like it's the worst thing ever to be embarrassed by him, even though it is embarrassing to be no, in this type of relationship he, with your dad. Ashamed, and it's not your fault. That's action. just what your dad has made. It is. It is. Creates. It is. It's embarrassing to do this to your father and then have him correct you for it on stream. It is embarrassing. It's embarrassing it's what your dad does to you. It's embarrassing for him to call me out on my bullshit. It is embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me, and what I'm your dad says to you and does to you all the time. Well, I find it embarrassing because I feel like he's calling me out, and I don't like being he exposed feel the as shame. a liar. Well, again, that's not what I feel. Grace was asking earlier, "How do I stop being ashamed of what I'm doing? How do I? How do I end this like pain that comes from this being ashamed?" I go back and watch my stream. I see myself manipulating my audience, knowing the context of what I do off stream, and I feel ashamed. How do I fix this? Yeah, and I was saying, like, maybe, maybe the way I can do it is by um, focusing on the streaming and either figuring out whether I'm a victim of it or whether I'm going to own what I do. Hang on, Amelia, well, I, I just have to say... That I just have to say, Amelia, you said you said it's embarrassing what he says to me. It's is it embarrassing? Is is it, it embarrassing, embarrassing for you that your husband told everybody on a Discord call that you that anal is your thing? Like you prefer anal with him? Do you find that embarrassing? No, because we're adults, and I consent to him saying that. Okay, it's so not embarrassing. So he didn't why can't you understand? Me. Why can't you understand in front of that? all of you? Well, we don't why fight. can't you? Well, I'm just asking. Why can't you understand? A lot of people would say that that would be embarrassing for them if their husband said that. But you're saying that's fine for you. So what I'm saying is, all... it's not embarrassing that he says these things to me. It's what's embarrassing to me is that he's right, and I don't like that. Can you understand okay, that? Okay, fine. Yep. Uh, I just don't feel like overall you're happy in this relationship with your dad. Holy yes. Shit. No. Shit. <laughs> no shit. Yes, but I yes, you're right. You're right. I am unhappy. I am unhappy, but it's because I'm always feeling like he's going to call me out on my bullshit because I know that I'm full of shit, but I kind of like can't get underneath it and just I just want to I think that I just want to like do good and li li lead a healthy life and I don't I would hope to say, like, I don't care what that would be. I just don't want to cope for it anymore. Yeah. But it I gets mean, tricky when you start saying, like, am I being, am I defending myself? Am I being too self-critical? It, it gets hard to figure out what the truth is and whether you're going overboard one way or the other. That's what I get stuck it, on. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's weird because when we compare me and Rusty's relationship with, uh, you and your dad, it's like a husband and a wife compared to a father and daughter. So, yeah, it's, it's just a close the situation. Between two adults. It's a close relationship between two adults that are related by father daughter relationship. Yeah. Whoa, groundbreaking. Thank you. Thank you for the insight. But can a daughter consent to these types of things if this is what your dad wants for you and you're just not really like doing it? You know, I don't if think, I you think I need, do if these I things. think I need, if I think I need a firm hand, then yeah, I could totally consent to that. How is you saying? How is you? How is you saying? I just don't understand the logic. How is you saying publicly? I prefer to have anal sex with my husband. Fine, but my dad handling me roughly sometimes is not fine. That's embarrassing. 
No, I think I, I said what what's embarrassing is it should be embarrassing for Ben. Not for you. But should it be embarrassing for Rusty then? For your for your husband that he says that you prefer anal sex? No, why? I don't should understand. Should it be embarrassing, embarrassing for you? Here. What if, I'm saying is that is obviously if your husband is having anal sex with you, that is extr that's rough and a lot of people don't do that. It's weird. Okay, it's something you guys have worked okay. out. But how come you okay. get to say that's fine for you? But if I say like I think I need a firm hand from my dad, you say he should be embarrassed of himself. Why? What's the difference really? I mean, isn't well, mine like you, much we're more just comparing normal? To unconventional things, I guess, in your head. But that's all you're appealing to too. You're just saying it's unconventional and therefore he should be no, embarrassed. No, I'm not saying that what you have with your dad is un unconventional. I don't think that it's right. I don't think that I think it's beyond unconventional. Okay, but you're you're just but that's not really saying anything. You're just saying it is unconventional. Well, Ben did something wrong to you. But that's your opinion. My husband but I could do say wrong. I could say that your husband is doing something wrong to you by being in a BDSM relationship with you, that he coerced you into it, that he forces you to take his punishments and beatings or whatever the hell you two do. I could say that, but you would say, no, I like it. But I could say, well, you've been brainwashed. You can't say one thing for yourself and not the same for me. Don't you get it? What I'm saying is that I think overall you remain to be unhappy in this relationship. It doesn't matter if... Do you... Okay, Amelia, do you think it's okay that black people, like, black culture generally, like, has a lot of corporal punishment? Like, black mothers often and fathers often hit their kids a lot harder than white and Asian families do? I just think overall you will remain just unhappy if... Do you think that's change. okay? Or do you think those parents should be embarrassed of themselves? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Black families generally hit their kids much harder and much more often than white and Asian families. Do you think black people, black people in, like, in that culture, should be embarrassed of themselves? No, but I don't think it should be acceptable. I don't think victims should be embarrassed of uh, abuse. So do you think that a family that has heavy corporal punishment is, at, like, instantly abusive? Say that again? Do you think that... A situation between parents and children that has heavy corporal punishment is inherently abusive. You don't think any kids need a firm hand. You're just saying Dude, it is abusive. I, all I'm saying is if you remain in this relationship with Ben, you will remain unhappy. And that's where we disagree. So, you know, doesn't really but matter. But I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you that it is dysfunctional. I'm not. I'm but saying you I want am to unhappy. Stay in this relationship with you. I want to want make things. it better. How come do, every time you have a problem with RD, do you consider getting a divorce? Or do you Dude. sometimes, well, how would you feel if you said like, I'm having a problem in my marriage, which is a close relationship between two adults. I'm not saying I'm married to my dad, but you it's similar in some You have nothing but problems ways. with your dad. There's nothing really like good that I can see that comes out of it or is like the product you, of you guys' you relationship. Your, well, you yourself, you make edits of me dancing. You make edit videos of me dancing. You like because my dances. I, and that I only you that only person, gets to you. Like that content dance. only gets to you because he's pushed me to be a public personality and to show off my talents publicly. So I how could you, you even say that? that? Anyway, I think there's no, there's no way for you to know that you wouldn't be doing this without Ben. You've never tried that. That's not true. I went to school. I went to high school I'm in eighth grade. I was in school for four you years. So I did my own stuff. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, I, like, it, none of it really picked up because I was super, super lonely and depressed. What's wrong with me? You have a man. Maybe that and has to do with your relationship with your dad in some way or another. Oh, this your woman's attachment. retarded. Like, she, she's just, like, not getting the point at all. Grace could leave right now, fly halfway across the country, and she'll have the same exact issues without Ben even being near her. But what about if this relationship never was like this? No, what, not, what's the alternate? What, what if, what if, it doesn't fucking matter. What matters is the source of- She had friends where, in high school and where this is coming life. from. And it's coming from Grace's shame. She's ashamed of her actions 
and that's not going to stop if she just like withdraws. You don't from the think situation. Ben prevented anything to, in her life? He needs to resolve the source of the shame first and foremost. I, I, my, I think my issue is that I'm ashamed that I don't respect my dad, and that's true. I don't respect my dad the way he that he doesn't normal... respect you. Just hang on. I... Yes, he does. He gives me tons of space. He does respect me. He does not. He does not turn me into an this idol. This woman isn't even listening. I don't respect. I don't have. I don't respect my father the way a normal daughter would respect your father. I don't give him his own space. I don't treat him like a normal person. I act like he has to be perfect all the time, and I get angry at him if he's not. So how do you how do you resolve the source of that shame? How do you? Because after you cut that off, after you stop doing that, you won't have something to be ashamed of. And I mean, obviously going, you know, confessing, yes, all yes. that stuff will help, but you need to cut that off. That's the first thing that you need to do. And you said well, something about, well, yeah. what if I focus on streaming? You said that, oh, well, most of it is manifested in my like complaints about streaming or something. And that's where it got very weird to me. Like, that didn't seem like a very coherent. Well, I, like, you know, like the story of St. Paul, like he got knocked off his horse, like he was going after the Jews, I think, or after the Christians. And then he like, he got knocked off his horse and then he, he, he was doing like bad stuff, but then he took all of that energy and he actually was like spreading the gospel. Right. So like, he didn't really change as a person. He just said like, I was doing one crazy thing and now I'm going to do something that makes sense. I guess what I'm saying is like, obviously I'm intelligent. If I can psychologically torture somebody, I have talents. You'd have to say I'm very manipulative yeah. and I can work somebody. So I guess what I'm saying is take that energy, direct it towards streaming and just some way or another, I don't know what the discipline would be, but like, don't ever redirect that energy towards him and treat him like, 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 like he's any more than just a friend and somebody to turn to if I need something, but like somebody to help somebody to live with but like he is not it, it's not the appropriate direction for this energy if i have questions about whether people like me as a performer i should either succeed or fail streaming or whatever it is youtube whatever it is get a job just don't turn that to him because it's inappropriate that's the abuse so the only it's not respecting that... it's not respecting his relationship to me which is as a father but more so now that i'm an adult just as a as a as a friend and somebody who's just a person. That's the problem. Yeah, That's so, where the shame so, comes from. So this is like based under the assumption that, well, like I, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's like, this is all like, you're saying that your abuse towards Ben all comes through the lens of the streaming thing. There's nothing well, outside of the streaming thing that ways that you abuse Ben. Ben won't let you do those plans though. No, yeah, he will. That, that's just bullshit. I think he will. Why is it bullshit? <laughs> because Ben has said m many times, like, he's totally cool with Grace doing whatever. Ben just wants to help. So I think he always goes back and forth from building her up and then building her down. Yeah, well, you've, Tearing you've, her down. Clearly, you've clearly been, like, manipulated by Grace into thinking that she's some kind of, like, victim. So... So this is all just fake. Yeah. Yeah, you're understanding of grace is just superficial and what she puts on on stream this is like the problem that grace watches it back sees all the people like you and she's like oh fuck i'm ashamed is that right grace yes i am ashamed because i i feel like okay well i i like i secretly like adore my dad and do this thing with him i i don't know if adore but you know what i'm saying like there's like there's two sides there's like a genuine love but then there's also like, uh, like this sort of idolization that is wrong. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I see myself acting like that, and it it is it's it's embarrassing. It's shameful. I I can see that I'm not acting like a normal person who's giving him like his respect and space as a so, person that he's owed. You yeah, you said something like he's either God or the devil to you, and yes. you either worship him or you fear him. Yes. So whenever you feel like he's God, do you feel like in any way he contributes to that and like likes feeling that way to you, like that you treat him that way? 
Uh, and he kind of like he. Kind I of do not think so. He. I don't think so. Like he. That. I don't think so because oh. he's told me many, many times. Like he's like, I would prefer if you call me a fat old fuck than do this thing to me. I would prefer that you are just openly nasty, disrespectful. It would be way cleaner, and it would just give me that space to say like, okay, you're a person. I'm a person. I do not think he enjoys it at all. My mother did it to him for years. It's really, if you think about it, if somebody idolizes you and is kind of like this this stalker kind of person in your life, like it's really, but he, really like, hard. he like needs a lot of of support and like, like he likes to have people cook for him and stuff like that. So in that way, he, I think he kind of sees it like he's owed that or he he likes to be in that position because he he kind of gives other things like his philosophical insights to you and his wisdoms and so there's kind of a reciprocal thing like god and and like his devotees you know but emilia like your family like, kind you're, of you're, all but you're... did that they tended to him in that way but your criticism of me could also be obviously turned against you with your relationship with RD a thousand times more. Don't you see that? We're married. There's like Yes, but you you married difference. when he was quite young and now you have a BDSM relationship and he won't let you come on stream sometimes. I mean, I don't care personally, but don't you see how your criticisms, which is that like it's weird. Your relationship with your husband is weird. It's weird by norms, by mo like societal norms. It's weird. So this concept that my thing is weird and therefore it's a legitimate criticism, you have a weird relationship. You have a BDSM relationship with your own husband. Some people do that, but it's generally considered weird. You it's say a healthy you and happy sex with him And you have no kids. You have no kids it's with him after 11 years. It's actually besides whatever. No, BDSM is not conventional. It's considered weird and skeezy. No, I don't our, personally care. Of our it's not conventional. You're not going to tell me that. No, it's not conventional. It is not, no, B a BDSM Whatever. relationship, it's not normal, it's not a problem, but you have, you're not religious, you have anal sex constantly and talk about it online, you don't have any kids after 11 years of being married, it's weird! I mean, you keep talking about, you know, you keep comparing these kinds of sexual things, like anal sex and stuff, with how it got brought up, which is the physical aspect of your dad kicking you you know and that all of it kind of comes under one umbrella for you my dad kicked me. relationship your between husband... two consenting adults that's unconventional you know but i'm i don't like I, i'm gonna keep saying this but whatever you have with your dad is beyond unconventional it's just not this woman isn't even trying to help she's just trying to like get one over on you she's brain she's either stupid or like deliberately trying to like look avoid dude you Grace, you could have close friends and make amazing streams and you could be happy but if you stay with ben nothing will change and i hope you can find happiness but you don't know you that deserve it. you don't know that you don't know yeah, that. that's just the most fake shit that i've you're ever you're not heard. god you don't know that you don't know that yeah i don't she genuinely wants you to be happy with she's happy. amelia what percent that's amelia what happy perc and amelia she what used percentage to have the same relationship what percentage of women would be okay with their husband publicly online telling the world that they prefer anal? What percentage of women do you think? Married women. I make art about my relationship. I mean, I'm I'm happy to That's okay, talk fine, about but that's not it. what it's I asked. The way that I express, you know, who I am and what our relationship is. But that's not is. what I asked. I didn't say how many how what percentage of married women make art about the relationship. That's fine. I'm saying what percentage of married women would be okay with their husband going online and publicly telling everybody that she prefers anal? What percentage of married women do you think would be okay with that and say like, that's fine? I'm, I mean, I'm happy, so. But then you're not answering my question. Just give me a percentage. 50%? Half of married women? I guess I'm an extreme person, so. Okay, so you are an extreme person. Okay, so you're coming at me. You have an extreme relationship with a man. I have a relationship that's fairly normal where my dad handles me a little roughly sometimes because I need a firm hand. And you're saying to me that my relationship is beyond unconventional. How can you say that from the position you're coming from? Because it's a chaotic and volatile relationship. 
I don't believe it's consensual. Yeah, because that never happens in conventional relationships. It's not a part of mine. Well, obviously, there's some kind of trauma for you to prefer BDSM and anal. I'm sorry. No, obviously. Dude. <laughs> yes, yes. No, yes. that's ridiculous. You like be you like pain. You like sexual pain. That obviously is an indication of something. Maybe Lots not the worst do. thing. Okay, so, but it's related. Maybe the physicality, maybe the physicality between my father and me is not the issue. Maybe that's not the issue. Maybe him having a firm hand with me is one of the few things that I I told you. I told look I told you, I've said this before, I have asked him to punch me because I feel like my brain, I can't get underneath it. I just keep spiraling. I've asked him to punch me to reset me. He hasn't, but I did that. So maybe the physicality part of it is not the issue. I will literally walk around here banging my head on things to try to reset myself, okay? Maybe that's not the problem. I don't have a problem with the physicality. Maybe the problem is whatever's causing me that spiraling to force me whatever, to make me feel like that that would help. Why is it that John and Courtney are happier without Ben in their life? Um, well, I think it's good for my brother John to be out in the world and not living at home. Uh, but I, I don't know if they're happier necessarily. How do you know they're happier? Because they told you? I they don't know. Seem to be living their life. I think my. I, I mean, I don't know if they're happier. When I talk to my brother John, it seems like he's, you know, it's not normal. Also, my mother they have hobbies is like and relationships with other yes. people and friends. I don't know. I, okay, so I, I don't know. I don't really think my mother has a lot of hobbies and relationships. I mean, Ben but compares you apart to from drinking all the time. and Discord. Yes, I, she, I think she, she was in a very. Ben to be I think happier. she was in a, I th okay. I think she was in a very similar position to the position I am in, and instead of for whatever reason, maybe she couldn't help it, but I think that she instead of facing this issue of shame, I think it was the same issue. I think she just got out of it and escaped from her problems, and I think she feels extreme guilt for that. But you she think she lived like, with tons of shame. Possibly. No, I think she feels guilty. I think she feels guilty because I think she knows that she lied on that police report. And um, I think she knows that she kind of got into something that she couldn't handle. And then she just kind of bolted from it. And I don't, I don't think she feels like it was clean. But I think she copes for it by saying, oh, I'm perfectly happy. I'm just getting drunk on Discord and, you know, working multiple jobs and just keeping myself busy. I'm happy. I, I okay. She takes care of the kids. Yes, my, my siblings are not starving. That's correct. Does she emotionally care for them? No. I do not believe so. Maybe a little bit, but not really. I mean, if you want to say this thing about, like, control, okay, your husband has said to me that he would spiral, like, he feels like he would spiral into addiction and possibly kill himself if you died or left him. My dad has never said anything close to that about me. I've said shit like that to him, like I can't live without you. Possibly mm -hmm. like that's unhealthy, but he's never said anything like that to me. He's never said like, it Grace, if you left, mm -hmm. I would spiral into addiction and then probably end up like on a newspaper headline. That's what your husband said to me. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, so we're both in codependent relationships, you know, that's interesting. Well, so Hello? you think you're in a you're in a dysfunctional relationship? Hello. No, I said codependent. Hi. Well, codependent Doesn't have is to be. codependent is dysfunctional. That's like it's 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 a pejorative. Thank you for letting me in, Grace. Uh, I mean, we're codependent and happy, so it just depends. But when depending someone, on when each other in a marriage, when someone goes out of their way to say that they're happy, they're not happy. She's not happy, Grace. That's not necessarily true. But I don't understand her, if she is so happy in her relationship, <laughs> I don't understand why she feels the need to judge my relationship with my dad. The entire chat has been Just say that she about... knows that it's not good for me. How could she possibly know? 
Right, but the whole chat for 20 minutes has been saying get this this slam pig off. So um, I appreciate you uh, trying to cut I, that conversation. I just short. judge your father because I think he's hurting you. You know. Holy shit! Not this again. She's just yeah, like just saying the same entire take over and over. Oh, you're an abuse victim. Kick her. There are better females out there. Kick I'll, her. Yeah, kick me. I don't care. She sucks, dude. Like we've all heard all of this before. I want you to be happy, Grace. Yeah, that's I agree with the sim cool. kicker. Well, if you, I'm not even simming, left. I think Grace is a she straight left. up demon, and I think Grace is torturing Ben. But that woman is just unbearable. Yeah. Right, let, so pl let's play some more please, of the Naptown. Let's yeah. play some more of the Naptown video. Let's get some more context. I okay, will literally I'll be right up. back. I'm gonna go get a cigarette. I'll be right back. Stuff will get worse before it gets better. That's all right. Okay, I'm willing to do that, James. Willing to go through that. Good luck, Grace. Stay off the cigarettes. Thank. Wait, hang on a second. I just saw this. Bully said he didn't change as a person. Saint Paul, what are you on about? He says he's now more Paul. Yeah, that's kind of that's my point. Is that like, that's my point. Is that I don't need to become a different person because that's like unrealistic that's not gonna help all i'm saying is that i have been doing this one thing and i can just take that and turn it the other way not that i'm gonna change as a person just do different things and i i think maybe part of that would be some kind of discipline about like you know i i you know once my dad gets out or whatever and like that that whole court thing is taken care of okay like let's say we're still living together um Maybe, like, serious discipline about, like, not telling him my problems, not treating him like this. I don't know. Something like that. But I'll go back to the Nowtown video. I'll be right back. It doesn't gel with what you're saying? Well, explain how, please. Thank you. You know, I can pop the chats up if you want. Because it's going to echo because that, you know, that stupid thing. You can't turn the audio all the way off. All right. Stay tuned, actually. Stay tuned because I, uh, when I come back, I am going to uh, let you guys know about a fun little uh, story related to my dad being in jail. A surprise, if you will. So stay tuned. Be right back. All right. You said you were cold. <laughs> Grace. Yeah. We're on stream right now? Yes, we are. Okay. I want you to ask this. I want to ask you this question. Okay. Do I feel safer with a camera on me around you? Yes, you do. Than with a camera not on me? Yes, you do. Is that for good reason? Yes, I'm crazy. You're legitimate incredibly dangerous yes to me. yep right there is that a joke it's not a joke it's funny but it's not a joke it's serious just x out of the tab close out of the tab no this right here is the truth folks oh you must be on it on safari i understand I, 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 wait that's what Okay, this is a larger point, Grace. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's be honest and say this. Do you feel safer on or off stream? You? Off stream. Okay. What does that tell you, that little bit of math? That I am, like, abusive? Or I like to have You're control. protected from public view. Yeah. And you prefer that. Yeah. To being held accountable, like to the standards of basic human decency, which are on the internet are minimal. Yeah. I feel like those standards protect me. Yeah. Okay. Are you saying that because you're being obedient? No, I'm. I'm just saying I would rather the stream why don't, is off because I, I feel like, humiliated. Why don't we do this? I'll talk to you through the screen. That way, you're not like being. All right. <laughs> Grace is a content cooker. She doesn't prefer on stream. Yeah, that's true. All right, Grace. If you <clears throat> and me and chat are a team. Yeah. Okay. 
then maybe you having a weird interaction and laughing strangely about a chat that I can't see. Then maybe we need to like have social skills, like we're all in the same room. All right. You, I just asked you if you could look at me through the screen. You decided to look straight at me and turn the back of your head to chat. I'm just used to looking at you. I'll, I'll look at you this way. I'm sorry. It's okay. stupid. So are we, are we kind of a threesome here? Yeah, we are. Why do you say yeah? That's rude. It's not rude. It's what normal people say. Yes. When I say yes, it's like You're it's too yes. forced. You're saying, saying to me, yes, it's too formal for you. It's not too formal for me. It's just, I, I've turned it into this thing. So I just, I you say, yeah, just to say like, okay, I'm just being okay, real. I'm just being who I am. Question, and you say, yeah, what's the judge going to say? They're going to say you're being disrespectful. Okay. I'm your father. You yeah. You say you respect me. Yeah. Right. That's what you're going to say. Yeah. I don't respect you. I don't treat you with respect. Okay, but do you respect me now? Yes. Okay, so then why do you refuse to treat me with respect superficially? I don't know, but I should okay. stop doing that. Okay, so you want to stop doing it? Yes. So how are you a victim of me saying, please don't say yeah to me? I'm not a victim of that. You're right. Okay, guess what I want to do right now? Uh, punch me? Nope, I want to smoke a cigarette. Okay. All right. Because that's how this works. Yeah. Okay. So right here, Ben is saying that he smokes cigarettes to cope with Sorry. Grace mentally torturing Sorry. him off now, screen. Let's be honest with Chad, because a lot of them are saying, Ben's a abuser, blah, 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 right? Yes. Is it time for us to correct? the lies that you have spread on the internet about our relationship through Amelia's fat. You want to keep it going. Yeah, it's time to kill that, to stop that. But when you say that, you want to say it in a voice that can barely be heard, right? It's time. But if you want to, if you, but if you're, if you want to oppose me, you'll say it in a nice big voice, right? You'll put behind me, right? Yes. But yeah. if I say to you like, hey, do you want to stop telling lies? You go, yeah. So it's yes. inaudible. Yes. This is all part of Grace's manipulation. Yep. You're right. Okay. I'll and stop it. I'm, her, I, okay. Uh, yes. Not, yep. Yes. Okay. So here's the story. I'm either, here's the question. I'm either a big fat baby. Amelia is obese. Who's narcissistic and selfish. Or I'm someone utterly exhausted from being brutalized for 52 years by a combination of my mother your mother and you with almost no and in it sometimes both you and your mother at the same time yeah if you you want everyone to go well i don't know what it is and, ha, 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 right mm -hmm. and everyone in chat is manipulated yeah. by grace yes into i do that her. Okay. Instead of listening Do to that. Do you know what the truth of that is? Yeah, I know that you've been abused and I've like, you've been really generous to me and I've acted like a victim of it and portrayed myself as a victim. And I've gotten attention from people from acting like a victim instead of just and, being and you're positive with you. Like a speech that you've been brainwashed into saying. I actually thought it was just, I, I don't think it came across like that because okay, I was just saying that. I spend a lot of time doing this because this is what you do instead of this is what the routine is, right? But I meant that. I just said, like, I meant that. Like, you have, you've been really generous to me, and I've portrayed so myself on. as so a victim. Why do you say it like it's a speech that we rehearsed in private? Ben Thorpe did nothing wrong. Why don't wrong. you say it like it's normal, and like someone would say two plus two equals four? All right, you've been like a really nice guy, and I have been sort of like having problems that I've, you know, had with mom and stuff that I've taken out on you, and also yeah. like. You know, acting like my okay, life is, is too difficult. Or blah, blah, blah. Is that true or is that like I wanted to make it look like I've been programmed? That's yeah, true. Calling Grace out that for doing true. that thing she does to manipulate the audience. Man. Yes. Okay, so you're a victim of that. You don't like people pointing that out. 
it embarrasses me. I prefer to be seen as a victim. Like it embarrasses me. Yeah. So it causes you shame to have abuse. Yes, it does. Shouldn't it? No. You don't get. Are you kidding me? You get to abuse someone and then feel like I don't like people saying that about me. I say are things for a response. Me? I don't endorse it. I'm. I'm not really. What shame? Shame is saying like I did something wrong. And... You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. I know. I am ashamed. I am ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. Well, actually, no, though, right? <laughs> what? Objectively, it's shameful the way you treat. I would say, yeah. Unbelievable. Shameful. But I did, yeah. But it wasn't your fault. Well, I would say I participated whoa, 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 in it, wait, but wait, there wait, were a lot wait, of patterns. I, I, I understand what you're saying. It seems inconsistent. I agree with it. <clears throat> and, and I'm tired. This is part of the problem. Yes. Your mother said, I don't want you to know the ways in which <clears throat> I have abused you. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had a smoke outside. I just needed a little break. Sorry about that. Also got a snack, but. All right. Can I just um, offer a little, just a little bit of advice, and then I'll, I'll, I'll fuck off. Um, essentially, you don't understand how much money is just sitting right there. Like I'm sure the chat would pay about two or three thousand if you drink that bottle of ragu. And I'm sure there's another ten to fifteen thousand that would pay for feet picks. So you essentially have half a year of an American's wage right there, sitting in front of you. But just channel it. So um, I'm gonna meet myself. I believe I offer good takes. Um, I'm gonna let other people talk. If you want to kick me, that's well, wait, great. Well, wait before you but... leave. Before you leave. Okay, ragu. Yes. How much per shot? I don't know. I I don't set the market. The chat's been saying it the whole fucking time. I I don't offer the market. Ten a shot? Should we do? T put your feet in the ragu, then drink it. I exactly like the chat's going crazy about the ragu, so you might as well play it up. Like that's the first marketing tool. So yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to be like a concerned troll or a troll, but yeah, like I said, uh, it smells good. I would do yeah. shots of this. What do you think? Two dollars a like? shot? I mean, do you uh, have shot no, Hang on, five. No, I no, I would five go five. A shot? Five. I would go five. Who's the dude on the um, so I can ban him from the chat? Yeah. Well, okay, I have a mini jar. I think that that works. That's okay. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, let the chat roll. Um, I'm just going to mute myself, and I'm just going to listen to the entertainment. But um, okay. thank you. in your best interest, don't remove me from the chat. Please and thanks. Okay, thank you. Ricky sends Very... $5. Don't drink the ragu. Yes, map. Very convenient how you walked out during the part where Ben talks about this exact thing. And calls you I out. know, I understand. I was just playing it so that, like, okay, we can go back over. I was just playing it so that I could play something. I get it, I get it. I am, I'm avoidant of it, though. Dude, I really appreciate you being here. Like, you can leave or whatever, but, like, I really want you to stay because, like, I, I just was really losing it on my own, and it's just really, really grounding to have somebody who's just, like, not gonna take my shit, and I do really, really appreciate it, even if I'm, like, haven't seen Are you talking like, about me really or the other guy? It. The map guy. Oh, okay. Well, I can still stay, right? Yeah, you can stay if you want, yeah. Thanks. Um, just because you sent $5, Ricky, I am gonna do the shot. Because I did say $5 a shot, so. Not scamming donos today. Nappy was <laughs> right on steroids. Okay. First shot, $5. Is this even gonna... I wonder if I could mix it with vodka. Okay. It there would be a dollar store happy? Bloody Mary, but yeah, you can. That's not a full shot scam. <laughs> this is degrading. 
You guys are retarded. Drinking- That's literally tasted good. I'm starving. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin says, please let me speak. Okay. Hello? All right, Grace. I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you right now. Um, I have come into, uh, I've come into this chat, I've come into this video, you know, only knowing terrible things about you. And it's not because of who you are. From now on, you're not going to be known for all these terrible things. You're going to be known as the girl who's doing shots of ragu. Take back control of your character. This is, <laughs> this is beautiful. Keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sheppy God for $2. You may as well be taking shots of sugar water. I don't know what that means. You mean because it's sugary? The sauce? Alright, so brief break. Brief mental break. Uh, I wanted to... Breaking news. Breaking news. Um, uh, what do you guys think... Let's see. Somebody offered to bail my dad out. Whole cloth. Who do you think that might be? Who? Who do, who do we think that might be? Ethan Ralph? Good, good guess. Was it Big Tech? Martin Shkreli? Big Tech? Andrew, Courtney, <laughs> no, it wasn't Courtney, Elon Musk, Keemstar, Mr. Palu, Darius, OPC Don, obviously, Darius, Kanye West, Destiny, The Hawaiian Guy, Mr. Beast, Ben Chevatoni, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, well, it was none other. Okay, I don't think he would mind. It's none other than our dear friend, Andrew. <laughs> Which was so nice of him, honestly. Very, very nice of him. It, like, kind of came out of nowhere. Um, but, you know, all hate aside. It was very, very nice of him. <laughs> it was very, very sweet. And, uh, <laughs> I guess internet feuds really are <laughs> not that big of a deal because it was very, very nice. <laughs> Rare Andrew W. <laughs> He's trolling. <laughs> Andrew's in on the grift. I, I promise you, um... Uh, I promise you that like, there's not some kind of kayfabe going on. It's, this is like, this is legit, but it was, I would just like to say that it was very, very, very kind of him because I believe that he really meant it. So the feud has gone full circle <laughs> friends again, bank account. <laughs> and you're just taking care of the, sh the third show. Andrew knows Grace doesn't want him out. Andrew giving Ben freedom! He just wants to touch your vag. Andrew got baited. <sighs> Andrew is playing 4D chess and gonna plant cocaine. He's trying to get info, yo! He can also revoke that bail at any time. Interesting power dynamic. <laughs> Andrew owns Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew wants to own Ben. Take the retard's money and get Ben back. Ben, ben would seethe. Andrew wants Ben. <laughs> we love and support you, Andrew. He has to protect his third channel. He has to protect Crucible TV. I wouldn't mind if Ben became Andrew's slave, TBH. Bussy one, Benjamin zero. 
<laughs> Andrew's bussy wants to pay. So, anyways, that's a little little sneak peek reveal, but I just want to say honestly, sincerely, that was very, very kind. He, I didn't even ask. He just offered to bail him out, which was very nice. <laughs> Andrew bought the Thorps off to leave him the fuck alone. Dude, he's playing 4G chess right now. He's playing 4G chess right now. If I bail him out, then he can't say that I'm afraid of him because I'm actually his daddy. <clears throat> It was nice of him, yes. It was nice. <laughs> I won't lie, I do wonder how Ben would react to being bailed out by Andrew. <laughs> Andrew wants his boyfriend back. <laughs> Andrew would have charged 3330% interest. <laughs> Andrew wants Ben's bussy in return. Andrew does enjoy the bickering with the Thorps. Andrew brought by Andrew bought Ben with the Snickers classic prison dynamic. Okay, anyways, silly. Well, it was very nice, but like just just silly stuff. I Holy knew shit! Andrew congratulations. Was that way. For what? For the everything, you know, it just seems to work out. That's good. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. People are sometimes, like, you know, I, I mean, I don't think, he, I really honestly, like, I, I don't think he was just trolling. I don't think at all. He, I think he was, like, actually just sincerely offering, which was very, very, oh, yeah, very it's, nice of him. From, from what I've heard from people, they've been very uh, supportive of you, from what I've heard all around. Yeah. And of the situation as well, people are shocked. Like, not that something like that would happen, but they were shocked about the whole situation. So, it really brings people together, I guess. Which is good. Something bad happens and something good happens. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just okay. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's it's not. It's just. It's just. I just get. I just kind of got a wave of anxiety. Okay. I think everything is gonna, you know, be fine. The internet has a magic ability to just. If they want to, they can make everything happen. Which is pretty good. When they want to. And I think they want to for you. If you look at it. Every problem you've had. They were able to. You know. Support you. But also. You know. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of realizing how alone I am. I'm just kind of realizing like how alone I am and it's kind of it's kind of like hitting me different right now because it's like 7:30 and like it's been like it's been a long time for me to be on my own. So, it's like even though I'm talking to people, it's it's okay. You know, I I understand. It's not you know, I'm not even the usual people you talk with, so the internet is a bunch of strangers, but it's not everyone out there that's a bad person. And it's not everyone out there that, you know, just want to gain something for their themselves. There's a lot of people like there, but it's not everyone. There are people out of like a hundred, there will be a lot of, there will be some people that genuinely care. So you're not, you're, I don't, I wouldn't say you're alone, but it's a, you know, being away from your family, like you are, it's, it's tough. It's the first time in your life, like, really, really, so. But you're gonna be okay. I mean, what does, just read your chat. Ethan, Ethan says, for $5, chat. 
Please, Grace, I'm begging you to kick this guy, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kick you for the $5. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I, I got to kick you for the dono, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Nothing personal. Thank you for the $5. <clears throat> I should have done the exit music. <laughs> Oh man, I just feel okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think I, I think I need to do something a little more. That's another shot. Oh yeah, that's true. That is another shot. But he paid for to kick. He paid to kick. I, you know, I had a problem with uh, Amelia when she came on because um. She's a woman who has been, like, on the surface nice to me, and so, like, I find it difficult to, like, she's obviously insulting my dad, and, uh, you know, I, I, okay, I, oh my god, I just feel full shit, but I find it hard to confront her, and, like, I'll go hard at men because they are nice to me, generally, but with women, I sort of cower, and I think that that is, like, cowardly and I do think I need to work on that because the idea that a person who is <clears throat> uh, publicly not having kids is non-religious says they do rituals has like talks about how they love having anal sex with their husband and does BDSM telling me that my dad is abusive for having a firm hand with me when I've admitted that I am like damaged, like traumatized, and I need a firm hand is ridiculous. I think it's just I let it I let it go, but it is it's just it's 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 something that's happened for a long time. It's just that people will try to convince me of something that I know is not true, but I give them the space to do it because it's it, because I'm a coward. That's why because I'm a coward. Easy is sniping right now, technically over 400. <laughs> Yo, how's your baby mamas doing, Easy? How's them three baby mamas you got doing? You paying that child support, nigga? You paying that child support? How's the OnlyFans girls you manage? You still, you still, you still see yourself as a man of principles? Hmm. How's the OnlyFans girls accounts doing? What's up, Science Monk? Your uh, your view count has been insane since your dad went to, <laughs> since your dad went to jail. So, you know, there's something from it. I don't understand why you guys couldn't wait like two, three months to have your domestic violence incident. I could have in a couple of months. I would have been in a good position to bail him out. <clears throat> I thought you were going to kill him. I thought you were going to kill uh, him. Yeah, now you yeah, want to no. bail him out? No, no. I don't want him to go to jail. I just want him. I just want to. I just want to punch him. But I don't want to. I don't want to simp to. I don't want to simp. Simp for you. You are insane, Grace. You are actually crazy. You're unhinged. You don't come from crazy. Me. Give it to you, me. You, Give it to me rough. Give it to me rough. Crazy. I, Give it to me rough. You come from crazy. You are crazy. And you're going crazy. But there's one. There's one thing. Um, in this whole crazy loop between you, your dad, and your mom that kind of leaves you in an advantageous position. And that's that you're the youngest person in this loop. Yes. Of all the people, you have the most time to fix the problems that you have. Uh, that's true. Your, that's true. Your, and I should be grateful for that don't. instead of feeling bad for myself. By the way, hang on one second. Um... Heavy Bit says for fifty dollars. Hi, Gracewell. You and Ben have a few beers on Uncle Chris when he gets out. Thank you for the fifty dollars so much. Thank you so much. That is really, really nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. I can't even say how much. Like, I, I just have to say, like, I just have to say, like, men have been so nice to me, and like, I'm saying that to you, Map, and you, Science Monk. It's like men have been so good to me, and I have kind of like taken that for granted, but. I just, like, I tr I don't know. I just, I trust you guys. I don't trust women. I, I don't, like, and I don't, I don't know. It's just, like, men have always, like, seemed to care about me. 
And I really appreciate that. And I'm sorry that I am just like so self-obsessed because it's just so nice. You guys are so generous. You're so generous and you're, you're like, I just I, like, I, it's hard for me to get out of this mental state where I keep like doing this thing where I'm like obsessed with myself, but like, I trust you. Like, just take me, help me, help me, help me. I trust you. You can use me. I don't care. I just don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be on my own. I don't want to be. And I'm sorry that it's all about me all the time. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, not to be Captain Obvious or anything, but it, it seems like the the obvious reason why you feel like that is because your mom. Uh, if you have a problem with one of your parents, you're gonna have you're probably gonna have problem with uh, people of that gender going forward. And I think it's I think it's kind of you know they they tell men to like get male friends whenever they're in these uh, these circles when they have problems with women. I think you need female friends. You need to like, you need to find female friends. And the thing is, if you like, that's not something that should be hard for you to come by. If you just go to a church, there's going to be females there who are going to be nice and, uh, you know, kind and will be able to teach you some or give you an example of like good female behavior. Like that exists typically in like religious type circles, but. Yeah, but what is what is every woman gonna say when when Grace says these problems? Which, by the way, like this whole like oh like I'm so grateful like yeah just like like very manipulative shit. But a uh, but a woman is just you know, gonna say that? a woman's just gonna tell her like oh yeah you're an abuse victim oh like your dad's like insane and that'll be that yeah, well that that's going to depend on like the the typical mainstream type circles like if she goes to college she'll get a lot of that but i was talking about church and i know a lot of these uh now granted i don't really come from a a group of people who share the same like religion as grace uh, the people i know are more baptist leaning but i don't think those people are necessarily going to lean in that direction and i know a lot of people who are not going to lean in that direction yeah, I'm just saying most women Grace will come to, maybe in a church context, I don't know. I don't even know about that. Most women are just going to play into her bullshit, and they're going to say that Ben is like some abuse victim. Or sorry, that Grace is some abuse victim, and she's being abused by Ben. Well, hold on. I, I just want to put this out there. There is, uh, there is some abusive stuff going on. First of all, there's like a trifecta of abuse. What the fuck are you doing? I renounce female rage. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't God. like being a woman who is angry. I love men and I'm sorry if that offends women. I fucked up in my own ways, but I love men and I hate female rage. I hate what it's done to me. I hate the devil. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Get out of me. I hate it. I don't think women are bad, but Jesus Christ, I've had enough of being a woman and being uh, just lied to because I am one. I suck. I'm evil. I have a lot of evil. I have a lot of bad habits. And I appreciate the men that have tried to help me, including my father. And if anybody tries to take that away from me, I just think it's bullshit. I'm sorry for being an angry woman to God and to my father. I'm sorry for using it to make myself look like a victim. I'm sorry. I think this is a little overdramatic, Grace. I am overdramatic. Yeah, I mean, well, you could just, just calm down you for be just privately you don't have to... in a prayer with God, but you're doing it like performatively for stream. I am. This is what we need to do. The this is what we're talking that, about. Grace, the like, sharp. This, like that, that's a little over the top but i am a performer so i'm gonna be yeah, honest I, mean, I love penis. i love men i am a performer content, i'm but... showing it off performatively i do love penises i love men i'm so sick of everybody telling me i'm a bad person for doing so i am a simp for men they help me and no like they're just they're good and they're generous and I'm sorry that I've taken it for granted. And I'm sorry that I've turned against them. 
I'm sorry for participating and what the devil has convinced me to do. I'm sorry. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm a bad woman. I want to be a good woman. <laughs> Somebody said simp baiting in overdrive. I guess this would be simp baiting in overdrive, yes, but... <laughs> yeah. True. I'm yeah. not trying to. I'm not trying to. Instead of doing this whole bullshit, just doing it naturally. It's just coming to you naturally. Be, you could be good. I'm just to trying your to body. express it. You're just, you're turning into a simp magnet. I should be good to my father. I I think he would think this is funny. I don't yeah, think he, he would. would be he upset. would say that. Hey, Grace, this is good content. Like, yeah, keep it up. Like, this is funny. Like, sure, it's controversial. Like all that. But you need to fix the source of the shame. And this is, I mean, this is, I mean, this is not directly solving that. So. But maybe it is to just do it on stream a little bit. I, to just say, like, 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 I am I'm... this person. I am this person. And, uh, like, obviously I know I'm performing, but, like, I, I am this person. I am a simp for men. I never will stop doing it. And I just want to say that I'm sorry to the men who have tried to help me for listening to the devil. Well, wait, but hold on. What did, wait, I'm, I'm actually confused. What was, the, what was the last thing you did that falls into the category of listening to the devil? <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Thank you, DGG, my guy, for the ten dollars. Good girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. The last thing I did was I got my dad sent to jail because I acted like a fucking retard, because I wanted validation for being an abuse victim. And how did you express that? When he was upset, I acted like I was afraid of him instead of understanding why he was upset. And saying like, you know what? I want to make a change. I just acted like a fucking victim, loser, and then I got him sent to jail, and then I felt bad for myself about that. And you that don't guy think saying, that uh, maybe the fact that he kicked you might validate the fact that you were afraid of him? Because it, it may not have been. It may not have been. Wait, what? Afraid of him. I've never been afraid of him in my entire life. He's been super, super easy on me. I've okay, so really you're saying you were acting him. like you were afraid of him? Yes, I was. I was. I was, yep. and it was, okay, I think people can be somewhat sympathetic because it was the devil who convinced me to do that. And I did fall for it, but I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry for it. He didn't deserve it. <sighs> yeah, this, this should be between you and God, though. Like, I hope... <laughs> hope you're genuine with, with all this. Well, what do you mean? Like, yeah, I should pray privately. That's true. I can turn it into a cross. Maybe that would be more appropriate. You're turning yeah. a dick into a cross. That's pretty, that's pretty wild, Grace. Oh, fuck. It doesn't look right at all. Hang on. But yeah, the reason she feels ashamed for him going to jail is because on camera she does this whole bit where she she looks like kind of weak and ben was saying all of this and i think people should listen to ben when he is saying all of this instead of just falling for grace's manipulative like manipulative bullshit and thinking that she's some kind of abuse victim and they should actually listen to ben and he, he called it out. He's like, yeah, off, off stream, you don't act like this. And on stream, you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly the way that you're manipulating your audience. And the intended effect is for them to believe you and not believe me. And he was alluding to all of this. And your response to that was to do... is just play into this whole like audience thing and then when he kicked you or whatever yeah. that was they ended up calling the cops because they were under your spell or whatever 
And that's why you felt ashamed because ultimately it was that kind of manipulation that got him sent there. Well, hold on a second. This is this is all th this none of this makes any sense based on what I, what I, what I've seen. Hold on. First of all, watching the interactions between Ben and Grace don't look like that at all. Objectively, they don't look like that. Objectively, it always looks like it's a surprise attack. Like it looks like they're being normal, and then Ben starts like saying stuff out of left field. Uh, and then she starts acting like, like she's trying to act stoic about it, but she's not really. And the whole thing with, like, when the cops came, well, what, everything I've seen between you and the cops seems like you were trying to get him out of jail. It doesn't seem like you were, like, playing up an act. Like, I don't, I don't know, maybe you could, like, spin the narrative in that direction. I don't believe that based on what I've seen. Based on the, the video evidence of what I've seen, I don't think that's what's going on. Yeah, because I you're actively that, being manipulated no, by Grace. No, you no. That the the problem is that I know what that I know what that looks like. I've seen people do that. That's not what this looks like. This doesn't look like that. It looks like, it looks like you're. <laughs> it looks like you actually are like. It, no, it actually does kind of look like the Stockholm syndrome thing. I don't want to go. I don't want to go too far in that direction, but it it does kind of look like that. Yeah, that's what everyone and in the grandma chat Here's says. the thing. Here, whoa, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that that's the whole story, and that Grace is just a poor innocent victim, and that she's never done anything wrong. But I am gonna say that. I'm gonna say that part because I do think that that part is probably true. Now, what goes on off stream? I have no idea. There may very well be something that I just don't know about. Grace has kind of been. I don't know, sometimes a little bit vague about, or both of you, I feel like you're kind of being vague about what stuff you're doing, Grace. Here's, um, what, go well, here's what happens. Here's what goes on off stream. I will, like, sort of, like, like, kind of say that he has to fix all my problems. I won't give him any space. Eventually I'll say, like, okay, I, I completely, like, I, okay, so I'm this damaged person right we'll go through this whole cycle and then he'll, he'll say like okay if you're that damaged then you can listen to me but you got to be on my side and then we can work together and eventually you'll get out of this and you can be more on your own but for now if you're actually this damaged you got to trust me you got to kind of like let me run the show let me tell you what to do let me guide you don't turn on me okay just trust me and then we'll go from there if you're actually that damaged then when we turn the camera on because i'm embarrassed of how damaged i am and how much i rely on him i push him away to other people so that it looks like i'm separate like i don't i'm not actually this person i'm not actually this damaged i don't actually rely on him that much he feels hurt by that he plays along with it until it's like grace what the fuck are you doing then when he does that i push him away even more because i'm embarrassed of what i've done because i know that it's wrong i'm ashamed of myself I'll make it look like, oh my god, you're attacking me, when I know exactly what's going on. The reason I act like that is not because I don't know what's going on, it's because I'm embarrassed to admit that I told him before that I was going to be totally on his side and that I'm super damaged and I need his help, and then when we get on stream, I'm pushing him away. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually being a teammate, I'm saying like, I suspect you, to let other people know that I'm not actually depending on him. And then so then that and then he gets more and more frustrated because I'm doing this thing publicly that's humiliating him that he doesn't understand and he's saying like you said something totally different than this before we went on stream and now you're making me look like the bad guy and I don't care if I'm the bad guy I just want you to be honest and I won't be honest and eventually it'll blow up to a certain point and I'll just keep keep lying knowing full well that when the cameras are turned off I intend to apologize to him and redo the entire cycle by saying like I'm really really sorry I did that wrong but I don't want to say it on camera because then I'll be embarrassed. It's base that's basically it. And map does that sound right to you? Yeah, I mean it, it seems like it's it's just a little I think you're putting it putting it softly to say the I least. I think this is not I think hold on this is Far from the simplest explanation. Uh, well, how am I putting for it what's softly? On. How am I putting it softly? Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what I got wrong about it. Like it's it's mostly correct. It's just you're you're like sweeping for yourself, and it's not even about telling the stream all of this stuff. It's about 
stopping the actual behavior off stream with Ben that is causing him all of this like torment. But I think You're the behavior off. Yes, thank you. I think the behavior off stream. I think the behavior out off stream will stop if I can tell my audience what I'm actually doing, because then I can't play this game anymore. Yeah, but but, thank you. but thank like you. we said with Ben, like Ben said it himself, is when you tell them they say like oh like this is what a stockholm syndrome person would say this is just and it's a tough i don't think this can be solved necessarily by like doing this on stream or like telling your stream because at this point because of how much you've manipulated everyone in your stream they're not going to believe you and they're just gonna, it's just going to play into the opposite narrative if you're genuinely trying to do that right i understand what you're saying yes i appreciate like you being brave and telling me this because everybody's gonna shit on you i don't think you really care but i appreciate it i care about ben i i want ben to stop being tormented by you well i respect that that you're just telling the truth i respect it i understand what you're saying that there's only so much i can change on stream I'm saying what you need to change off stream. I think, I think, I don't know. I think I'm doing the right thing by starting it on stream so that I can't play these games off stream anymore. Because I know that if I go back on stream, I, I've, well, okay. I guess, I guess what you're saying is if I don't convince everybody, then I can keep playing the games. And I agree. I will, I, I need to stop it off stream too. I need to stop treating him like he's God. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. Right? Yeah. If you stop doing that, the rest, like, what you do on stream won't matter as much because you won't have this whole, like, shame thing going. Okay. Thank you. I will stop doing that. What should I do while he's gone? Stream. Stream? Yes. What should I, I don't know stream? what else do you what else do you have what else do you have to do? What is your uh I could clean I could oh, organize yeah. things? Well, I, I don't know what you can do like like when he's gone, it's like if you have this like shame that's deep down and the only way you can fix it is by like treating Ben better just off stream and not doing this crazy shit where you're like possessed by a demon and like tormenting him. Outside of that, you can do whatever you want. Like you can you can stream, you can make money. As long as the shame is gone, you'll be like a free person. You'll be free from the shame. Thank you so much. I thank you. I do think I have this problem with shame. I think that is what it is. That just I think that is what it is. How do you think I can make him proud while he's gone? Because obviously I won't be able to fix the behavior with him while he's gone. I, I can't fix that. Right. I, mean, I can stop my thinking patterns, but I can't literally fix it. I can't make it like, you know, I can't interact with him. So. Well, I think, I think Ben just wants to see you be successful. He wants to see you succeed and be happy. So, whatever contributes to that, like, do that. I think <laughs> so he wants you to stay with him. I think that's I think that's his main. I think that's his main goal no. with everything. Yeah, no, I do. I do no. think that. I do think that because I don't think there's a lot of things he can do at this point unless you stay there with him and take care of him and be his, I don't know, wife, mom, whatever it is you're doing. It, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I do not think that you need to take all 100% of the blame for all the things that are happening. I don't even think you need to take, I don't think you need to take most of the blame for the things that, le that literally recently just happened. If you have blame for things, it's not for, th it's not for the things that happened within the past 24 hours, okay? 
he came on to stream unhinged and emotionally dysregulated the whole time. That is, that's, that is what I saw watching that stream. Okay. And yeah, I'm not going to, to, I'm not going to deny what my eyes are seeing when I'm seeing it right in front of me. Okay. He, I saw the kick. He was losing it. He was, this was like, this was like an outburst. This was not like a planned thing. Like you guys were trying to make a show. Like this was like, I, he got angry and hit you. And I don't think that that's, I don't think that's acceptable behavior. I think that that's dumb. This is not, th th there's no, there's no thought process behind what he did. And that's the problem. It's not necessarily like, it's not even necessarily kicking in and of itself. It's the, it seems like there was no thought process behind this. It seems like he just lost it. Like he just exploded. Yeah, you, this was a man that I don't think that that's, I he's understand. An he's an exhausted man that's been tormented his whole life. I understand and he's had a, a shit, I understand he's had a shit life, but like at the end of the day, how much, like, like what are you going to do? Sit there and, and be pulled down with him? Like what the fuck? This is, this is actually over the, this is actually over the top behavior. And I don't think he necessarily needs to go to jail for this. I don't think he necessarily needs to do any of that stuff, but he's got to calm down. He's got to like actually control himself or someone's got to control him. Because he's because no, this is like out of control stop. behavior. I need to stop abusing him. I need to. I don't. I need I to start don't. respect him. Respecting. Him. Okay. Okay. You know what? I gotta leave. I got stuff I gotta take care of. Um, I got a busy day well, tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Busy for week this on. next week, so I'll go ahead and take care of those things. I appreciate take care of yourself. Those nights, I always appreciate seeing you. Yeah, I appreciate being on here. I'll. Uh, Bye. Maybe try to come here later. See you later. Sure. All right, yeah, I'm going to hop off here, too, I think. Wait, well, first, wait. First, I think, what? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. First, I think you should unban me from your chat because I, I unbanned banned. everybody, so you should be fine. No, I was banned, like, after that. Oh, which something. one are you? Oh, I'm not. Map, Mon. Okay, hang on. I'll do that right now. It's two seconds. Okay. I don't know, maybe I was timed out or something. I think you were timed out because it's not in the bands, but whatever. Go ahead. Right. Yes, if it's done. And then in terms of what you should do until he comes back, I think you should confess. I mean, like, just go to church, confess, because that's your thing. You're Catholic. Go confess. Tell a priest about all this shit. And I would straight up get an exorcism. Like, not even kidding. But outside of that, just... Do whatever would make Ben proud until he comes back. Okay. I know what that would be. I think I know what that would be. And I'm going to make you the only mod in my chat. Thank you for helping me. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I'm going to hop off, but good luck. Good luck Thank with you. the whole shame thing. All right. Peace. What is the formula of exorcism? What actually happens? Map, if you're still listening, can you please help me until, can you please help me until my dad comes home? You can add, if you can add me on Discord or something. I'll even pay you, I don't care. Please. I'm just asking, you don't have to, but I'm asking, can you please help me? Because I, you're the only person whose voice I trust. And I really feel alone. And I, I will be respectful. I'm just asking for help. Because I don't have anybody I can really talk to that I actually trust. And I... <laughs> is this the whole thing? <laughs> I don't care if it's cringe. Please add me. Please add me. Any anywhere. I just sent my Discord. This is it. This is my Discord. Please add me as a friend. Or if you're I don't know if you're in my Discord. Please just help me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sony, Sony showed this in my Disney art. <laughs> Proud of myself for that one. That was a good idea. <clears throat> what is this? What is this link to? Our exorcism formula. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I was gonna write. Maybe this is what I will hopefully be. God damn that running up space. Hey, EBT, maybe you could come on. Maybe you could help me to... That doesn't say, oh, well, you'll get what I'm saying. Maybe you could help me to do this. We'll, we'll try it. Isn't there something... Isn't there something that... I remember doing something, like there's a Catholic thing, where you can, uh... Like, I renounce this, the devil and all of his lies. No, not to do the exorcism. He can't do the exorcism. What's up, Lalo? Oh, okay. Damn, I was about to give up. Okay, so I'm seeing you in the state. This is fucking terrible, by the way. Uh, but No, it's not. I mean, it's good. It's not terrible. Not at all. What part so of this is terrible? I'm a it's liar. Just I want to be a good girl, and I love the cross, and I love penises. What's wrong with this? It's gross. Straight up, it's pathetic. You're gross. I'm disappointed in you. You're gross. Okay. You're gross and pathetic. I'm just saying. Nothing here is a lie. Great comeback. You're a liar. I'm not trying to oh, come back. Okay. You're gross and pathetic. The fuck happened to you? Uh, okay. I'm not lying. I, I, to you. I, That's what's happened. No, I just think there's no salvaging this. You're gonna come no on here and call me this. gross and pathetic for saying this. I don't need you to salvage me. You're not a real That's man. That's fine. I don't good need luck. a fake man good to luck. salvage me. What? No, good luck with everything. This is weird. I'm grossed out. Bye. You're a child. Go, go grow up, Lalo. Thousands of girls need this. Go grow up. Go run back to your mommy and have her buy you another fucking purse. You're a weak, fake man. I don't need you to salvage me. I don't want your lies. Should write fatty on your stomach. Yeah, I do need to lose weight. Well, you can't really see it, but there you go. Uh, it doesn't. Make it jiggle. <laughs> Let's star on girl fight. I don't see a star. Star? Hello? You said you star glow? Hello. Hello. What's up? What are you doing? Um, I am trying to become a good girl. Have you done this before? Did it work? Um, no, I haven't really been honest with my chat before like this. Not really. A little bit sometimes, but not really. And I still have a ways to go, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, but something like this shame ritual thing, have you done it before? 
Like maybe not on chat, but somewhere else. Um, to be honest, I avoid doing this because I feel like I have an issue with guilt. And so I feel like if I feel very ashamed, I like I'm not going to be able to get out of it. But I do think that actually it's actually very liberating to say that I'm ashamed of what I've done because I don't think it was really me. I think it was the devil and I'm sorry for it, but it wasn't really me. So it's actually liberating. It's I'm not really shaming myself. I'm just shaming the evil that convinced me to do this. And I was wrong for listening to it, but it's not really. I'm not, like, condemning myself. Huh. Oh, where do you think that evil came from? I think that evil came from uh, generations of evil through my mother and my father's side of the family, but primarily through my mother's demonstration of how she treated my father which it can't, goes back to the devil. So I don't think it was particularly her fault. I think it's it's the Satan. Oh. You know, maybe Xena or something would be able to exorcise you. Doesn't she do, like, witchcraft? Exorcism is not witchcraft. I don't oh. think it's, it's not the same thing. It would have to be done by a priest who is actually trained in exorcisms, I think. Wait, didn't your dad say that he was trained in exorcism? No. Is this Lauren de Laguna? Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay, you just sound a lot like her, I'm sorry. I don't know, I wanted to get on earlier when you wanted a bunch of girls on, but... I do want to hear I female wasn't able opinions. to. I do want to hear okay. female opinions. Do you, do you, do you think it's wrong for me to write I heart penises or draw a penis on my chest? Do, do, I'm just asking well, how do you have an you, issue with that. I don't have an issue with it, but how do you know? Aren't you a virgin? I mean, I don't really talk about that stuff, but I know that I love men and men have penises, so. Man, okay. Do you love men and pe their penises? Yeah. Okay, so it's good, right? I mean, I I don't say it because I feel like it's embarrassing to say, but there's well, yeah, but I don't there. I don't feel like I have to write it on me. Like I feel like that means that you have something to prove. I do have something to prove. I do have something to prove. Yeah, I do. Because you feel like you're so much like your mother. Um, I feel like I have the same I, my mother gave me the evil that is causing my life to be painful and i hate it and i want to get rid of it dang okay i'm not sure maybe you should let a couple more people on sure sure uh let's see i don't want to make you mad <laughs> no no i i i want to, i'll have other people on but you can say whatever you want you can say whatever you want i want to talk to more women so I know that okay. I come at women a little bit, but I will try to be open, but also like stay true to myself. So we can talk, it's fine. I wanna hear what women have to say. Cause I have trouble in that area. Okay, but let me put up a couple more people. Um, okay. Oops. Okay. Grace, you should do black face. Hey Grace, how are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, fine. You can <laughs> No, I'm I'm I come in peace. I come in peace, Grace. All right. Okay. Oh. For real. I've been watching you all day doing my chores. Are you doing all right? Like for real. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Um how do you, how do can, you feel about penises? Uh, I will say whoever wait, is wait, making wait, wait, who's wait, wait, driving. Wait, wait. Hey, hang on, hang on. Wait. Sorry. Who is making all that noise? The background It's noise. someone's driving or doing something stupid that needs to mute themselves, I think. Uh, I don't I, think they I understand okay, how they, to mute. Okay, they, they stopped. Um, okay, whatever. That's I fine. just... Go ahead. One thing I... So I was watching today, right? And I saw, like, what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a bunch of guys, like, coming on here saying that 
you are the abuser. You should feel sorry that you're the one who's done all these horrible things to your father. And I'm sitting there like watching you, right? And I do feel bad a little bit. I'm sorry, I've gone at you before in the past, but part of me is just sitting here like you're in like this military stance, like you're in a boot camp, right? And you have to answer to your father. And I just, you didn't do anything wrong to your father at all. Like he literally, Grace, he kicked you yesterday. He kicked you. That's true. He kicked me. He did. years of psychological torture. See, but the thing is, is that you're... Yeah, but you're the you're me. you're the child. He's he's the father, right? He's my father, should... but I'm not a child. I'm an adult. You, I know, but you are his child, right? That's what I mean. I don't see child, you as yes. like a little kid. No, mm-hmm. um, but I'm sitting here. What's more concerning to me is that all this happens. He's in jail, right? And you go live, and then you're sitting there listening to all these guys. Actually, tell only you one guy, what only one a, guy, really. Only one guy. Two. Like, there were two of them. There were two of them. Um, but you're sitting there in this military stance. Like, you feel like you're in, like, boot I don't think camp. this is... Uh, this isn't a military stance. This it, is a, uh, yeah, it's... It's submissive. It, you don't, why it's are you... Be, but why? Why are you being submissive? What did you do? Because I want to be submissive. Why? To who? To Ben? It's a, it's. I would say it's like I'm trying to show respect in a feminine way. If to who? Military, Why? Okay, but to, show respect to who? These guys who don't know you that just watched your dad to, kick to, you last to, night. To men and to God and to the reputation. To God, of father sure, but. But the thing is, your father Wait, is no, not it's God. It's to her father. You, hey, it's to you, her father you, for hey, new, hey, back. new fag troon, shut the fuck up. I'm not talking to you. All right. Wait, 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 hang on. Hey, wait, hey, hey, chill, Whoa. chill, chill. Wait. All hang right, on, I'm second. just saying. Wait, I've hang been. On, hang on, okay. hang on, hang on. All right. Just, just hang on. First of all, all right. turn your mic down. Fatty right came in going hot. You okay? Hello. First of all, you can't say that on YouTube. All right, sorry. Sorry, I apologize. But it's okay. You guys can go at each other. I don't want to go at this person. What I'm saying is I'm watching you, Grace, and it's I'm concerned because you didn't do anything to him. And yes, you're sitting here. No, you didn't. I but did. you didn't, And Grace. you know what the difference is? I did. I have psychological. What? Depression. Okay. I How? Was confu- I was How? confused by the devil. I, How I, did you psychologically torture him? I will go through it. I will go through it. For years, I have told him off stream. I've dumped everything on him. I've gotten angry at him when he isn't perfect. And then I apologize for that and I say, okay, I will be like, he. I'm like, I'm really, really damaged. I eventually come to this place. I'll fucking sit there and hammer him, hammer him. I'll say like, you need to prove yourself to me. Eventually I'll come to a place where- He like, should, he's your father. Hey, no, he should, he, he, well, he, should he have to prove himself to me? He has should to you have to prove yourself to him, which is what he expects day in and day out every five seconds, Grace? I should he be tells somebody, you, hold I on. should be somebody Grace. who respects him. Can, Grace, can you, can he, you no, this, hold on. Can you no, you, shut, you, you shut, shut up for a second. Grace. No, 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 you've been talking I don't know you. I don't know you. I just came in. Shut the fuck up. I have one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, It's my panel, it's my panel. It's my panel. Let me talk. Let me Snail, talk. You can keep you can keep going, okay. but I'm gonna let I somebody just, else jump in. No, and then you can yeah, that's fine. No, listen. What no, I wanted I want, to say, I Grace, want to come up against this. I want to come up against this. Okay, so go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You don't. I'm sorry. Also, you. Up. I don't know you. You shut up. Whatever. Okay, Grace. Don't, don't tell be, me to shut up. The thing up, is, Bill. the thing is, I'm not being nasty. He's being rude to me. I was not rude to him. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Thirty seconds. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Go ahead. Grace. You didn't do anything to them. Who's in the car? He's the one fucking torturing your ass. Like, seriously. You're sitting here getting a bunch of shit from people. You didn't do anything. He kicked you. I've seen him abuse you for years, psychologically. And you still can't explain what you've done to him. Right? And Snail. the thing is, oh, hold on. I just... Can I ask you a question? Okay. Yeah, Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you think that people giving advice to other people should be coming from a place where they have their shit together? Where they like they have good advice to give? Because let's say if somebody's giving advice to me, the implication mm. is that I want to be somewhat like that person, correct? Not necessarily. No, I think people give each other advice all the time. Um, 
comes from different places, but I'm literally watching you well, for example, try to be perfect to, for your listen, dad. But I wouldn't listen to the advice of a, a drug addict, right? Because I don't want to be like them. So whatever advice they give me... Well, it depends on what advice serious. a drug addict is giving you, right? So um, what I'm saying is, Grace, is that you have tried to be perfect for your father. And I've seen this time and time out, right? Is you do exactly what he tells you to do. And then not, all of a I sudden, do not, I do not listen you will, not you'll try to, to listen to no, him and then he will say no, that I, you're doing it wrong and then shit all no, over you. Yes. Great. I don't listen to him. You I've don't seen you go happens. after him. You I've seen know, you go after him. You sure. You don't know what happens. You don't know what happens. And it's not your fault because I've presented myself this way, but I do not listen to him. I'm incredibly rebellious. He'll tell me to do I do see that you're rebellious. For sure. For sure. I have seen that and it's gotten more and more over the years, right? But... It's the fact much. that you're so diminished by this person is concerning. Like, you shouldn't be sitting here, like, listening to these guys telling you what to do, telling you that you're a, the abuser. Like, you're not. They are like, correct. You're si I am abusive. You're not the the abusive is, the to is, your dad. The difference is, I am abusive. I am abusive. You are abusive, yes. I, I've seen I, can, I, can, I can say... That, that was the devil convincing me to do that. Do you think and you were I, abusive I to, to your mom and the kids? Do you think you were abusive to your mom and the kids or just to Ben? Because I've seen you be abusive I, towards I, I them. Think, I think I have been abusive towards them, but not. I, I don't think it's near. Why are you not them. as Why are you not as apologetic for the abuse that you've put on your mother and your siblings but you're, def and you're your deflecting dad. you're deflecting what i've done to them has nothing to do with what my relationship with my dad is it doesn't okay have to do with it. but you it's said you're an abusive person I'm, I'm just saying like let's talk you're an abusive person you said right so do you still want to face this slam my father i have abused my father i'm not talking okay. about anybody else right now i've abused him i don't think you've abused your father i don't think so I, at all uh, can you I, I have can I have you? one sentence. Can I please just say one sentence? I'm sorry to interject. You guys can yeah. go back and forth. I feel like that your father is projecting his anger that he has towards his mother towards you. So I will let the landwell keep speaking. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Hi. Um... So I've been uh, watching like this whole drama thing go down for a little bit, and the first question that I have is: uh, Do you do you do you realize that your your father is a grown man? Obviously, I do. Yes. Okay, so you've been talking about how you've abused him or whatever the case. Like, how bad can your behavior be to basically justify his physical violence towards you? I mean, seriously, how bad is it? Like, are you basically, like, telling him to die? I mean, like, how, how bad can it possibly, possibly be for a grown man who raised a daughter and now to strike or physically abuse a grown daughter? I mean, the, how does that make any sense? It doesn't make him any sense. Him getting frustrated, him getting frustrated and kicking me after years of psychological mm -mm. torment by not respecting no. him, him the respect no. he deserves as a human being wow. is perfectly understandable. And Grace, it's not, it, it's not, why, it's why not this, understandable. Why, why a father does, does not kick their kid. Why does she think she's a moderator? I'm not, not a fat whale, You're a number grown one. woman. Yes, you are fat. I can tell by your voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally fat. Grace knows what I look like. Um, Grace, you didn't do any of this. Like, look at what's going on with you. You're drawing stuff on your chest. You're doing all this crazy shit because your dad literally abused you. Like, last night. Like, what the heck? You didn't... I no. This is what happened. You're I, a listen, grown listen, man does listen, not kick a ki a girl. We have four hundred. We hit four hundred. That's the highest I ever gotten. Woo! There we go. We hit four hundred. Way to yeah. go, Well, You struck gold. Ah! You struck gold, fatty. Yeah, I'm such a fatty. Why don't you keep your fucking mouth shut? Don't tell me what to do, cunt. You don't. Oh don't damn it! It's down to three ninety five. Come on, get us back up there. Oh, uh, everyone, drop off. <laughs> Just kidding.
But, Grace, you didn't do anything, dude. Like, this guy's a psychopath, whoever this dude is. Like, don't listen to I'm not to these psycho. People. I'm rational. You're the one that's You're trying not. to psychoanalyze. You're the one that's you, trying to psychoanalyze. Who are you? Girl that who you are don't you? Know. No, I do you're, know her. You're trying, yeah. you know, you're trying to psychoanalyze yeah. a woman Snail? that you don't know. That's not Grace. Last I time literally I checked, do come you're here not, you're not with Snail. Grace 24 Wait, 7. Snail. Shut Snail. the Snail. fuck up. Yeah, Snail. What's that? What's that? Can you explain your marital situation to us? My so marital you know, situation? Yeah. The She's not married. Fat. I'm not married. Were you ever married? Uh, I was not. with She's someone fat. for over 16 years, so... Were you married to them? No. Did you have children with them? I did. So you are not divorced? Because you no. told me you were divorced. No, I never said that. Your dad said that. I was, I'm not divorced, ever. So, so you lived with a man for 16 years and he never put a ring on it? Uh, no, because he didn't believe in marriage. So I left him. No, he, he didn't believe in marriage with you. That's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So you lived with a man for 16 years. Yes. And you let him give you kids. You let him. You bore his children. Just for, for that, he did never put a ring on it. He never committed to you. We had and a child. And you're going to tell me how I should yeah. deal with men. What when are you your talking experience about? Experience with men is a oh, total you're fuck deflecting. Up. Oh, really? You've never been in a relationship. You've never had a child. You've never. Have you had a relationship matter. with uh, Dave? Dave from Wendy. You had a you relationship. Had the, the you had, you double, had a relationship. Bro. You had a relationship with a man for 16 years. Yeah. He told you he didn't believe in marriage. He didn't yeah. want to commit to you. You gave him kids. And then it didn't bear any fruit. He never committed to you. And you're going to tell me. To her, how to I'm really mentally. happy about that me. because I don't oh, like you're that very, person. You're really happy about that? You're very yeah, happy I am. about that? Yeah, absolutely. The Lord provides and the Lord had a different plan for us. So yeah, really the Lord said that? that you're fucking fat and ugly. If you want to think of fat and ugly, that's totally fine. That doesn't hurt my feelings. Well, <laughs> so. it, it's true. Chat okay. will agree. Chat, right. one if she's fat and ugly, two if she's <laughs> Most not. Most of the chat knows what I look like, so. Yeah. Thank you for the five pounds, JF, by the way. nice. Also, don't Thank deflect. You. I'm literally coming here because you were kicked by your father last night. You've been spit on by your father, kicked, slapped. I've seen him do it to your mom, too. That's true, um, spit on me, yes. Yes, You would yeah. love someone to spit nacho cheese on your fat ass. Fat ass. Oh my lord! I mean, come up with something original. Like you don't know me, dude. You could have so much more. I don't know about. you, but well, apparently so hurt you, your feelings because so you, so you're you, fat and ugly. So you want me to listen to you when what you did? No, I just think I just think you, that you didn't yes, do anything you do want, wrong. Wait, you do want me to listen to you though. What you did I do with my to. life, Grace? Tell me. I got out of a bad relationship. Base caller. Yeah. You were with a man. Who didn't yes. care about you enough to commit to you for 16 years? Yeah, he was a he was you a narcissistic know. piece of shit. Yeah. Well, then why were you with why were you with him for 16 years? Who why are you, are you still staying with your dad? I don't consider him to be a narcissistic. He piece is of shit. a narcissistic piece of shit. Okay, well he kicks you and spits on you. Yeah. And my dad is a narcissistic piece of shit. Yeah. What man out. isn't a narcissistic piece of shit to you? Oh, uh, there's you a lot of them. That there's this a lot. Man never committed to you, and then you got angry because he never committed I'm to you. I'm glad. You're a vile human being. Grace, I will be more than happy. No, I love awesome? men. I love men. You know I she have a lot of ben. guy friends. No, she loves Ben and Jerry. <laughs> you love men? You love men. Well, where did she go? I don't know. I think she left because I triggered her. I'm sorry, Grace. No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm, I'm not like your attack attack dog simp or something, but she, I could tell by her voice she's at least 250 pounds, so I, I just had to step in. But I, I will fade off into the background, let you debate. That's okay. She, uh, she's, um, she's actually not fat. I've seen pictures of her. She's actually good looking, which makes it even more sad that She's a divorced Discord e whore. It's even more pathetic. Grace, have you done anything to get your dad out of jail? Yes, uh, I think the bail is a thousand, and uh, have you called a bondsman or got? Don't worry no, about what he told you. Get him the fuck out of the Game over. Shit no, hold on. I'm reading the chat. Get Game over, dude. Like, I'm not a fucking simp. I don't <laughs> give a shit about Grace. I'm sorry. 
Listen, let's talk about something serious. Your dad's in a fucking shithole. He shouldn't be there. It's a corporate fucking United States government that's overrun all of us. You talking about marriage with this lady is absolutely something you shouldn't be talking about because you don't know anything about it. When you marriage, marry someone, you get a license, which means you're marrying the state. It's probably not a good idea to marry the state when you don't even know what it fucking means. My honest opinion is you should call a bondsman and get your dad out of the tyrantville that he's in right away without wasting any time sign over the goddamn mercedes fucking camper if you have to to get him the fuck out of there because it's worse to be in county than it is to be in prison in most situations almost everyone Sense. i'd rather be in prison every fucking time but where is he? I believe you. Nope. I believe you. Why haven't you gotten a bondsman then? Simp. Call him. They're I believe you. at the I just, fucking I prison. They surround the, but the he jail. Told, okay, but he told me that he, he doesn't he, want me. He told me that he doesn't want me giving money to these people. That if he gets locked up for something that isn't fair, that he doesn't want me to give money to them. And his court date is in five days. So I'm going to respect his wishes and not waste our money. I don't think your dad has I'm, the knowledge of what's wait, going so on have to you play had it the a, right way. I, I think he's going to get in more Ed trouble Ed. than it's worth. Your dad is going to kick the shit out of you if you sell that. By God, the fatty's back. Price. No. Have you had a conversation with your dad? No. Since he's been. We just had five hundred. <laughs> we just had five hundred fucking viewers. Five hundred twelve. Holy fucking <gasps> That's shit! Because of me. Holy fuck! I've never had this many people watching me before. Holy you're being, shit! You're being shared. Five fifty six. You see Holy what happened? Shit. Thank you. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I saw what happened. Grace, the fat lady Grace. came on, and then the views boosted. Is your dad Amazing. able to call you? Has he called you? Yeah, no. that's what I want to know. Okay, he could. There mm. should be a way to put money on. A commissary or something. Did he go with his wallet or anything? We just got to six hundred. That's ah! good. Go to a thousand. Somebody's sharing you. Six hundred. Oh my fucking god! Everybody, get I'm those here. donos in. Hit that like button and share this the fuck out. Obvious view botting. I don't know how to view bot. It's not view botting. Holy fuck! You know what this is? God is rewarding me for being honest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Now wipe off your forehead and your chest and thank God that way. Clean up. Why? A little All bit, I, say, I said, act. I want to be a good girl. I said, I heart the cross. And I said, I'm a liar, which is true. But 764. What the fuck? Now clean up your what? act. Now, uh? The Lord the provides! Thank you, Lord, for this keynote. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really worried about doing this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. <sighs> hey, so I have a question. If Ben comes back and the viewers go back down to, what, 100, 200, would you see, like, there's a correlation there? 882? Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I think the difference is that I'm being honest and the Lord is rewarding me for this. There's literally no other reason that this should be getting so many views right now. I'm being honest. Okay. Oh my god, it's 999. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Somebody it's, just gonna posted this it's gonna hit a thousand. It's gonna hit a thousand. It's gonna hit a thousand. Somebody hit Dr. Phil. You hit oh the algorithm god. is it's what you did. Grace, Holy you just fuck. hit the algorithm. It's Sweetheart, you just hit the algorithm is what you did. Oh, the this Lord is what you did. It's Congratulations. Bots? No, it's what not it's the mean? algorithm. The algorithm means now you're being promoted in everybody's fucking inbox everywhere. It's at eleven fifty four. It's going it's going skyrocketing. You're viral right now. Congratulations. What the fuck? This is what happens. It's going to trip over itself. You've hit a viral moment right now. Keep doing whatever the fuck you're doing, because if you change it up, you won't be Mr. Fucking, what is Beast? Mr. Beast? This is what happens. You hit the algorithm. It's at 1346. Like. Are you fucking kidding me? Now you have to what? draw on yourself more. Draw more. 
Draw <laughs> more. Draw more. There are Fill no new people heart. in chat? Yes, they will be. They will be. I don't even Every, care. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tell them your story. Start start again. Tell them what's going on. This is the story. Here we Let's are. Let's rewatch the video. From Go last ahead night. and show what's going on because there's a lot of <laughs> new people that have come in. Here is the beginning. Here's a story. I have been abusing my dad because my mom showed me how to do that because I have generational trauma <laughs> in our family. I have been super confused about this and I've also been lying and today is the day because my dad went to jail because I was acting like a victim of him on stream. My dad went to jail for it and I've been trying my genuine hardest to be honest and to just say the things that have embarrassed me which is that I really rely on him. I'm a person who has a lot of problems. I've given into the evil from Satan and I pray to God that I will never ever go back to that. Are you just blaming Satan or do, can you look in the mirror? Shoot, you, you've been doing it. You've been doing it. Don't blame it. Don't pass it off on Satan. God damn it, I, it was you that no, did this. No, 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 no. I, I give it I give it to you the don't Lord. Need a priest. I you apologize. Don't need an there you go. You I can apologize do that. to the Lord for giving into it, but I Call him your father. He's not the Lord. He's not God. It's your father in heaven. Call him your father like he is. I apologize to my father in heaven for being a liar. And I love him. And I'm sorry. And I won't listen to the devil anymore. And every time I've trusted him, there even the go. smallest bit, he's helped me. And I don't even understand what is even going on. Go. But thank Just, you. You're telling the truth. You're being honest now. Has your dad hurt you? He's hurt you just the same as you've hurt him. So you guys both have some coming to Jesus. Yeah, he's hurt your family. He's hurt your no, mom. He hasn't. It's come no. to Jesus now, Grace. No, he Be hasn't. Honest. No, he Never. Hasn't. He's helped you. He he's been, helped you. He has been a wonderful father to me, and I have not. I've taken it for he granted. He has provided, and I want correct? To make him proud. He's provided, I want to make correct? him proud. Yes. He's provided. Would you say that he's been a wonderful father to your siblings, too? Yes, he's been a wonderful father. He's given himself. He has been humiliated. So? And he has been humiliated in every way by my mother and me and my brother in ways that I couldn't even tell you. His sexual reputation, his financial, everything has been taken from him. He can never get a job again. He has absolutely humiliated himself to try to make us feel better. Everything he's ever done for us is to try to help us. He's a good man, and I'm sorry for betraying him and making him seem like he's a bad man. He's a good man, and I have problems. The you're devil- You're not Judas. You're not Judas. He is a good man, wow, but he really also crying. is a man. He has bad qualities, just like the rest of us. We're all fucking flawed. Don't think he's God. You already said he's not God. You have to he's stop He's not God, like but God. he's a good man. He's not God, but he's a good man. But he's flawed he's a, like the rest of us. He's a very us. good man. He's a very, he's very good flawed. man. Can Grace admit dad is flawed? But he's in jail. Can of course Grace he's flawed. Admit he's a human being. Flawed. Of course he's Say flawed. He's ben a human being. Ben is a flawed individual. Be My father, Ben, is a flawed individual. And yes. it has bled down to me. I'm flawed just the same. I have Say similar it. I I don't I don't think that his flaws have bled down to me. I don't think have so. Have they bled to your mom? Have they bled to her? Has her flaws bled to him? Of course, gross proximal value proves it does. You've all I don't think so. I don't have other. any I don't have any flaws. I don't have any flaws from Holy him that I can name. Grace, you have a piss poor attitude when you don't like it going you your go against the grain. If it's not going your way, you don't want it to go further. Is that You're my mother like in the chat? No, I will hey, repeat what this guy says. I will repeat what he says. He's not an idiot. He told me to call the Lord my father in heaven. That's not an idiot. And mom, look at what God has given me. Look at what God has given me. 3,486 people are watching right now. 3,486 people are the, watching me right now. Look at what he's given me because I did the same thing as you. And I get it. It's difficult. But you're an evil person. You have done evil no, just like no, no, I did. No, 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 no. no, yes, no, no, no. Just go. listen, listen. Go. You've done, done evil just like yeah. I have. The devil has convinced you that turning on dad, no you know, is a good man, here. is the right idea. And you know it's not right. So... You don't have to do anything but look at what God has given me because I decided to try to tell the truth. I just barely, barely, I'm such a loser. I barely, barely do anything different. And he gives me 3,618 viewers. Look at what God has done for me. I'm not even trying to be pretentious right now. I'm just saying, consider that what you've done, Man. that I'm not better than you, 
but that the devil has convinced you and your life is brutal because he has control of you. That's why. You don't Grace, have to condemn yourself. Question? Can I ask a question? Would your family be better off if everybody stopped fucking pointing fingers? I'm trying to, I'm saying it lovingly. I'm saying, if I could say one thing to her, I would say that you have been convinced by the devil to do wrong, and I'm sorry. I, I feel sympathy for you because I have also done the same thing. But I do there not stand go. by your actions, and I think that you are doing evil, and you should stop. But we can make peace. We can make peace somehow if we stop pointing fingers and we stop doing each other fucking dirty, right? Is I that true? I we can get her to come on stream. She's welcome to hit the link. She can come on. Jump up, Courtney. Jump up. Your dad is an abusive grooming chomo. This stream without him has been your best stream yet. Think about that. Thank you for the five dollars. My up. dad is a wonderful person. This stream without him is because of the Lord. I don't know. People are saying view bots. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are watching. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know view bot. I don't know how to view bot. It's not a view bot, Grace. It's I don't an think algorithm. it's a view bot. YouTube has algorithms. You know that, right? How do you think anybody she gets said, there? She said she'll come up if the guy leaves. I'm muted. No, I, I don't know why you have to do it like that, Mom. Because I, I, I just like, why do you have to like get rid of the men? It, you Let her have her way. No, no, no. I'm not against her. I'm not with her. I'm for the fucking truth and honesty. I'm not in this. This is between you and her. If you want me, if you guys can't handle it yourselves, I can come back. I'll just sit here in the background. Put me in the back. Set me in the fucking corner. If you need me, I'll come back. Okay. All right. He's muted, Mom. Oh, by the way, Yuma Dog sent $20. Uh, I missed it. It's way up here. I'm sorry, but uh, thank you for the $20. You said, uh, what'd you say? Congrats on the new high. Thank you very much. Kick Scott for court. He'll stay muted. He'll stay muted. I want him here. I want him here. Okay, I am afraid of her coming on. I'm somewhat afraid of her coming on. Is this her? Hello? Yeah, so... That guy's a. That's not her. <laughs> Grace, drop two people. Add Courtney and Lav. Lav is a huge viewer draw and might boost your view count. Lav can join if she wants. I don't see her backstage. She's welcome to join. Thank you for the five dollars. Lav can join. My mom said she would join me. I might have to kick some people. Hang on. Whoops. Sorry. I might have to kick some people just to. Open up the backstage. But if Lav wants to come on, she's more than welcome. Try again. I opened it up. Is this her? Hello? Let Kanye in. Tell him to bring out the lobster! And perhaps, what is this? <laughs> OMG, Elon tweeted about it. OMG. Hi, Lav. Hi, girl. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? I'm thanking the Lord and stopping being a liar. Welcome to the show. I... You are you are a beautiful, smart young woman. Why why are you doing this? This is like the equivalent of sex work on your on your internet record. Drawing so this, myself is sex work. This might be more embarrassing. Yeah, you're you're like a Jerry Springer show streamer. <laughs> I know. I'm a performative person. I don't think this I, is quite sex work. I but. know that about. Well, I'm, it's not it's not sex work. I mean, necessarily, you do you did have slut written on you, didn't you? I did. I am a slut. I, I mean that in a good sense, in the sense that, like, I would rather be sucking a guy's dick than be on my own. I don't care who it is, but I would rather do that and at least, like, have a connection to a man in some way. I would be a slut if it's, like, Okay, oh, well, oh. that makes sense. Grace, how do you think you're going to find a husband with this digital footprint? 
I'm not worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is being a good girl and being honest, and I think the Lord will provide if that's what he wants What does good girl mean? A woman who is not a liar and does not use men for sympathy when she has problems of her own. Grace, you sound brainwashed. I Like, I don't... <laughs> so, brainwashed by the Lord! No, like, this... I, I don't know if... I don't know how real this is. I don't know how real this is. Is Ben, like, actually in jail? Actually, this whole scene here with the writing and everything and her on her knees, that might have triggered the algorithm. Like, that might be it. Maybe. I just, uh, this is, that I mean, you are, Grace, and I really mean this, you are so beautiful, you are very Thank you. smart, I, Thank you. it's sad I to see true. you squander yeah. your opportunities like this, it's like, it's actually, like, brutal to watch, and you have a bunch of people who are, like, who want you to do this because it's fun to watch, but it's not good for you, this is, like, this is self-harm. This is the best thing I've ever done, I'm being honest, and it's not even okay, that big of a deal. You should, yeah. that should change, probably. What do you mean? What should change? If this is the best thing you've ever done, what, what do you mean? What are you do doing better here? things. Like, what, do you, what are you doing here that is good? I'm being honest that I am a liar and that I need to be more, like, I, I need to okay, stop but you're, lying. You're, I need stream, to stop. you're streaming it. Yes. She thinks it's what her dad wants. I think it's what my father in heaven wants. Yes, I also think my dad would be proud of me. I think he would. I, I think God. Do you find this humiliating? I think at all I think God wants you to stop humiliating yourself, self harming. I don't in front of a live audience. I don't find it humiliating. Okay, your inability to feel shame does not mean that it's not shameful. Oh, oh! I have an inability to feel shame. <laughs> I feel shame all the fucking time. God damn it! I'm so sick of feeling shame. I'm. That's true. I have an inability to feel nothing. shame. What's there to be ashamed of? I love the cross. I would like to be a good girl, and I lie sometimes. What is there to be ashamed of? I cannot tell if this is real. I cannot tell if this is real. I'm... I'm Grace, what the fuck? <laughs> what, is, what is the biggest oh lie God. that you're ashamed of? The biggest Why lie do you, that I'm ashamed Have you ever seen a therapist? What do you think? I, I will personally, <laughs> I will personally pay for you to see a therapist. Uh, if you want to give me money, that's fine. I would use it to try to, I don't know. To I, I would get in, well, I would get in contact with someone for you where you live and I would give the money directly to them. I don't need to I pay somebody would do it to if be it my friend. Stream. I don't need to pay somebody to be my friend. I have the Lord, it's, I have my not, father, you're, it's, and you're I paying have my that, you're, pay, you're paying a mental health professional. You're not paying someone to be your friend. You're, you're paying a mental health professional to oversee you, get over your problems yourself. That's what a good therapist does, is they listen to you talk, they add uh, their expertise and their professionalism to let you know if what you're thinking is true or not, because a lot of us get caught up in patterns that, we, that are false, right? That's like most of mental illness. Uh, no, I would say mental illness. I, I think a well, positive yeah, female okay. influence in your life with a therapist could be very good for you. I would say mental illness comes from the fact that you are lying because you're doing wrong and you know it. And the, the solution is to say that the devil convinced you to do that wrong and you're not going to do it anymore. And you're going to ask for God's help and you're going to say the devil convinced me to do that. Externalize it. It's okay. You don't have to condemn yourself. Externalize it to the devil and just say, he is evil. I'm not fighting him on his terms. I'm not going to try to come at this. I'm just going to say, no, you made me do that. It was not me. It was you. You are evil. You're trying to convince me. You don't even want anything. You just want me to hurt. Go away. I'm just going to pray for help. Uh, which one of God's commandments tells you to write on yourself for a live audience? <laughs> Like, I, I think that uh, privacy is a virtue, especially in Christian doctrine. I, I, I don't know why I you're have doing used, this. I have used privacy to hide my abusiveness. And although, of Great. course, you, you don't, don't know who to, I am. You nobody don't need knows to tell people I about am, how abusive obviously. you are. 
this is going to ruin your life, Grace. You are, you are ruining your life right now. You're ruining your marriage prospects. This if is going to be your truth, digital pro- if, if telling the truth means I'm ruining my life as far as yes, other people sometimes go, it, I don't care. Sometimes telling the care. proof means I don't ruining care. your life. No, you, that is that is literally what like a serial killer would say. If I tell the truth, I'm going to ruin my life. I think no, you should tell the truth Grace, and whatever the Grace, consequences are, you should accept Grace, them. Uh, my, uh, my full opinion is that I don't think that your your truth, what you believe is true, doesn't mean it's the truth. There is only one truth. Sure, and you probably don't have it. You're only human. You only have so you only have so much brain power to understand the world around you with the world that you grew up in. Your brain but the same is... would be true of you, so that is really an ineffective thing true. to say. And I, and I you only have so much access then. I yeah, I don't think that I know your truth. I, I, don't, I don't I don't think there's my truth or your truth. I think just think there's the truth. And the truth is that I have lied and it's somewhat my fault, but I also got convinced by the devil and I'm not gonna do it anymore. Convinced by the devil. Well, everyone can probably say that. Everybody's what do you mean convinced by things. the devil? Also, isn't that obfuscating account- accountability by saying you were can? No, what, it's what not. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually freeing. Well, it, it, the devil of is- course, it's freeing. It's it keeps you from taking accountability. <laughs> Well, yeah, because it would be too much for us if we have to take all the accountability on ourselves. If we have to say, like, I single-handedly, like, no, there's generational you don't, you trauma. Don't the devil to do has that. to do. The devil is part of that. If you want to say mental illness is the same thing as like what the devil does to you, then that's fine. I believe in mental illness. The devil is part of mental illness. That's what gives people OCD and stuff. It's bad patterns, generational trauma. That's all satanic. Well, it's from Satan. It's all evil. If you want to say, if you just want to use different words for it, that's fine. I believe in the different words. Okay, are you, your dad is in jail right now? Yes. For how long? Do you know? Uh, his arraignment date is the 15th. Okay, so for a while. Like and you're not days. pressing charges? No, no. Is the state? Uh, well, uh, he has some ca- he has some counts like uh, I think it's a domestic assault and battery, and then disorderly conduct, which is basically associated with any count, any charge you get. Sure. But um, I think I'll be- basically be able to drop it because I'm not interested in pressing charges. Well, the and- state well the state prosecutes domestic violence even if the victim I understand doesn't. that I understand that but I called the police on my brother for hitting me and he was arrested uh, as an 18 year old for domestic violence when I went into the courtroom. So I called the police. It wasn't just an anonymous tip. I called them. I was the witness. And then I asked the prosecutor to drop the charges, and they did. So I think it'll be fine. That's a little different, I think, than this situation. I think also people know where you live. And I think oh, people I had, could I had potentially video evidence. contact. I had, I, had, I had video evidence of my brother uh, choking me and punching me. So it's the same thing. It's video yeah, An 18-year-old is different than like a 40-something-year-old man. Not really in the eyes of the law. They're both adults. It's not really different. Uh, I think, well, a dispute between siblings is absolutely different than a father and a daughter dispute. Two adult siblings? No. Minors? Yes. Adults? There's siblings, a way no. different power dynamic uh, there. Maybe psychologically, yeah. but as far as the law is concerned, it's two adults. No, well, the law, so I bet regardless of, in the law. yeah, so actually, I don't think that you understand, the law is not like cut and dry, right? That's why judges exist. So a judge and can, lawyers. a judge can decide based on the situation on the harshest punishment or to let him go. Um. So it's a little subjective. That's true, but I'm also saying that, uh, the last time when I literally called the police. I mean, I don't know how it'll go. I don't know. I'm just, I just think it will be able to be dropped because I talked to Zena and she knows about these things and she said it, you know, it'll be able to be dropped. It was an anonymous tip. She thinks it'll be able to be dropped. So. I think Zena was trying to get on. I don't know if she is anymore. I saw that, but then she wasn't backstage. So I don't know. Do you have, do you have any friends or anything? Like, do you have... Where are, you, where are you right now? Are you friends. home? Yeah, I'm in my apartment. You live here with your dad? He's downstairs. Like, he lives uh, downstairs, but he's not there now, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, is he downstairs? No. I just mean I don't live with him up here. Okay. Um. Oh, you got me Freudian slip. No, I just mean he <laughs> lives downstairs. <laughs> Okay, okay. You people are so manipulative. Just say it. Just say it. Say what you want to say. Go ahead. Uh, do you have like a support system outside of your dad? 
No, I don't. Well, no, that's not true. I have the Lord and I have my streaming viewers at my chat. This is my support system. So what do you see happening once he gets out? Like, say everything goes fine and he gets out and he's back home. Where do you think he's going to want to go with this streaming thing? Like, y'all just get back on and y'all talk about it and brush it off and move on to more things? I will apologize Different to him. Things. I'll explain what I've been doing and I will, I will, I'll tell him, like, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. I explained to, to people how I've been doing this. I was confused. It was the devil. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm not going to. I will ask the Lord for forgiveness. And I really want to live with you and be functional and normal. And I'll just ask for his forgiveness. And he'll accept that? They will convince you to scissoring. Run, Grace. <laughs> I, I, I believe he will accept that, yes. And what about, um, like, once he gets on and then he sees the chat and they're all, I hate Ben, Ben's abusive, and it just gets worse of what he was already upset about? If that happens again, I think I should leave permanently. I don't, it won't happen again. I believe that the Lord will help me to not do that again. Like leave streaming? Or I leave the leave. house? I would have to leave, like, working with him, living near him, any of that. Mm. If I just want to keep doing this, then I, I would just have to leave. Grace, how old are you? 21. 21. Um, have you worked, like, a... This isn't... I'm not being condescending. Have you worked outside of streaming, like, a job? I uh, helped my parents uh, run their restaurant. Oh, their restaurant. I was just in a waitress for... And, like, a prep cook, kind of, from when I was, like... Did you like waitressing? Say, 12 to... 15, 14, or 11 to 14. Oh my god, you were child labor. <laughs> it was child labor, yes. Jesus. I enjoyed it, though. I did enjoy waitressing, yeah. I was a good waitress. Um, I well, used to I've... stuff my bra so that they would think I was older. Oh, jeez. Did Ben tell what? you to do that? Both my parents did, yeah. They needed a, a server. They couldn't pay them. I, I, was hel I enjoyed helping out, though. Wow, they both told you to do that. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I wanted to help. I was like, you know, I just, my, my boobs aren't, like, big enough. You know what I mean? Like, 14, you said? I don't know. I, I forget exactly. It was, it was, like, from 2011 to 2016. Something like that. I, I never, I, I don't know. I'm not sure of the exact dates. Hmm. Um. Man, do you have something <laughs> against Coop here? He's backstage. Oh, Coop is insufferable. <laughs> Your tits um, weren't big enough to hand food to people and smile, bro, what? Well, I mean, I, I, I have a young face, so, like, I didn't want people to think that I was, like, super, super young, because I've always looked way long, younger than I am, so I wanted people to be able to just, like, not, you know, whatever. I just wanted to come across as older so I could help out. Uh, I know that you don't know me very well. You remind me a lot of myself when I was young. I don't know how much of this is real. Um, I have a guest room. If you need to stay somewhere for like a temporary small time. There's like, I, I live in a very safe, clean city in a very good part of town. There's lots of jobs here. There's like a chocolate shop that you could work at. I used to work at. There's a bunch of cute restaurants. There's good men here. Um, Are you hitting on me? No, I'm. I am not interested. <laughs> I am not interested. Uh, I just. I want you. I sure believe. Seems like I, a baby mama. No, I. Ayo I believe. Ayo no, Ayo stop, Ayo. stop. 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 Wow. I, be, I, be, I believe in you. She's been practicing this in the mirror. <laughs> I, no, no, no. Honestly, I believe in you. I believe that you could do a lot with your life. And uh, I, I want to help if I can. 
I understand what you're saying, but I am going to call you out on something, which is that this is a very controlling thing to do because I have not asked anybody for help or to get me out of the situation. And so for me to take you up on your offer, you would be in complete control of me. And essentially I would be reliant on you for everything. And for a stranger to do that randomly, if a man did this, everybody would say Wait, it's creepy, what do you but mean? because you're a woman, you get away with it. Wait, I think you have a problem with wanting mean? to control me and not seeing me as an equal adult. You want to control me. You want to mommy me. And I'm not interested I in that. Well, I, I definitely, don't, definitely don't see you as an equal adult i think that you're younger than me and you are very naive but i wouldn't have i wouldn't pay for you to eat i wouldn't get you a job i wouldn't like i wouldn't do i would give you a place to stay you could pay rent eventually if you made money like i wouldn't i i think that you just need to get out of your house and your situation i wouldn't have i wouldn't give you any rules or anything and i guess it is controlling i would like to help you that's the sort of control it is controlling if somebody hasn't asked for help in that way to offer it because it's a very extreme offer and you get away with it because you're a woman. But if a man offered me the same thing, people would call him creepy and manipulative and controlling. So it is different. Great, you but because men and women woman. are different. I it am is a different, woman. But you, it is different, but it is it's 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 in a way even worse because you're a woman because you're not you don't even have a sexual interest so you simply want Why to control somebody no i don't want to control you at all if you I actually wanted to help me who's a year younger than you if you if you actually wanted to help me you would take me seriously instead of saying that you don't see me as an equal to you and then offering i do take you seriously you're just you young everything. i don't i'm not you are not going to rely on me at all for anything what do you mean? If you at any at, if you at any moment if I accepted your offer and you at any moment decided that you didn't like me and you didn't want me in your house, I would be homeless. That is an extremely controlling place to be. You would be in full power. I do not wish for you to be in power of me. And the fact that you would make that offer indicates to me that you don't really respect me because no adult would really want to put I another adult like in you? that place. Unless I'm literally homeless and on the streets, but since I didn't ask you for that, it's just a sign that you are manipulative. I didn't ask for that. Mm -hmm. I would ask to have a conversation with you. The fact that you offered out of nowhere, it's manipulative and controlling. I appreciate it. I think maybe you have some good intentions, but it is manipulative. Hey, I agree with you. I mean, not that she's manipulative or that she's trying to control you, but I agree with that. You, I mean, everyone should think about that before accepting help. But where did you learn that? Did you like learn a hard lesson? I have had many men else? say that they want to save me. And um, it's different for men because obviously there's the sexual element, but generally it is a manipulative thing for people to offer you something that you're not asking for, as if you're in some kind of dire need for it when you're not, instead of just treating you as a human being and saying, I'm, I'm happy you're happy and I'm here to help if you wanna talk about things or maybe we can work together, to make the assumption that I need to move across the country to stay completely under your control in your house with what your is rules. A, what does your control mean? I, d I don't know what this means. What it means is if you decided at any, I would be completely powerless I would be completely reliant on you keeping me in your house and therefore I would have to conform to what you wanted me to do in some way or another because if you didn't like me, you wouldn't want me in your house. Isn't and that everywhere? Reasonable. Isn't that's that everywhere that you why, ever live? That's why people generally don't offer to people that's, that's all everywhere of a sudden that you live ever live. House. That's with your parents, that's with a that's with any roommate, that's with any landlord. No, it's not the same. It's if you don't follow, yes, you're it offering is. If you don't it, you're follow offering, the rules. You're offering it in what seems like a charitable way, but really you're offering me a way that you can control me. I because would, a landlord can't control his tenant. If the tenant doesn't want to be there anymore, they leave. It's a legal contract. It's neutral. Also with roommates, there's a legal contract. Why, yeah, so why do you not think that it's, why do you not think it's neutral here? Because it's your house and I didn't ask for this and you offered it sure you can say no i'm i know I'm, but the fact I'm, that you the fact that you offer it indicates that you don't see me as an equal you don't actually want to help me or maybe you're I, very I, confused cool. maybe you're yeah, very man. confused but you're offering me help in a way that actually would make would actually be like a case that you are grooming me that i would be relinquishing complete control <laughs> to a stranger <laughs> halfway across the country Wait, is this real is this real it is real it is real. you're I being mean full it. you're being dead ass right now I am being dead ass. I think you're confused, but I think that that is not helpful. It's actually extremely manipulative to do to somebody. Okay, well, you're a year older than my sister. Uh, when I was your age, I would, I would have wanted an older female influence to do this to me because there are a lot of people probably who want to help you who are men. Very few are probably women. 
I don't want to convince you, obviously. Just know it's there if you ever want it. Um, I think it's a manipulative thing to offer. I, I don't think it's a healthy thing to offer another person. I don't think it is. I because I would, be, I would be relinquishing complete control to you. If you said, hey. You, you know, do that with you... your dad? Is that what you do with your dad in your house? I'm confused on what this is like the craziest no, I have thing. All the, I have all the money. I, I He has virtually no control. I wouldn't the have any. The property well, our in money. Name. Okay, you're, uh, the properties we rent. We rent a house. It's not even in our name. Yes, I would give you no money. Offering, what I'm saying is offering that to somebody out of charity when they're not asking for charity is an extreme, is, first of all, extremely it's, presumptuous. It's not, it's not charity as much as it's, yes, it is. Um, it's a free friendly. room in your house would be charity. A free room in your house would be charity. Yes, well, I said be. it wouldn't necessarily be free once you got a job if you wanted to stay here. Okay, but uh, until I got a job, it would be charity, correct? I think it would be friendly. It's it's what you would do if you if you see your your little sister struggling laugh, or a friend laugh, or laugh, an laugh, acquaintance. Laugh. But it's different because I'm not your little sister. I'm a stranger. We virtually don't know each other. Sure, so you sure, offer that out but of it's nowhere. The same, it's the same it's assuming feeling. a level of intimacy that we don't have. And if a man did that, it would be considered extremely creepy, controlling, and aggressive. It would. Be. Yeah, of of course. And I'm again. You don't have to do it. I'm just saying if that's something that you'd want, or even if you just need someone to talk to. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate that. You I, could, I would like we to could, to you. we could build a relationship outside of you staying with me or outside of a streaming capacity. I, I just would like to I, see. That's that's a more reasonable offer. I'm, I'm just look. I'm, 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 I'm sure. I, I, I'm not sure you mean it completely. I think you're being a little bit condescending, but I'm sure that you would actually have me in your house. I just think it's a, it's a sort of manipulative offer to make somebody who's. It's like saying it's. It's like if a guy said to a girl who's not in need of money, like, here, I'll give you ten thousand dollars, and just get away from your dad. Right? Anybody would say that's coercive. It's, it's a manipulative thing if he's not friends with her, if, you know, if it's his sister or whatever, that's different. But like, if you basically well, I heard don't you on stream other, earlier, I, I heard you on stream earlier say that you would like to get away from your dad, not necessarily like relationship wise, like casting him out of your life, but that you'd like to maybe branch out and be independent. And I figured since I I'm a like woman to, like and to, you'd be like safe here. It wouldn't be I don't think that I would bad necessarily of an idea. Be safe. I don't think I would necessarily be safe. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's fine. That's you, fine. No, that's you, fine. You don't you know me very well. That's fine. I don't know you very well. And from what I do know that, you, you know, you did porn. Like, that's not that's a sign of a very <laughs> stable person. <laughs> Whatever. It's your past. It's your past. But I'm just saying I wouldn't be inclined. You wouldn't well, be I never did. I never trust. did porn. I never did porn. Uh, but sure, I did. I did. Okay, uh, I have a question. Do I you did, trust uh, somebody like... Wait, would you trust somebody like Hormaxer? Hey, Lav. A place Hello. to stay. Would I trust somebody like Hormaxer? Um, I don't think I would really. I, I don't think I would yeah. ask anybody. Yeah, you seem to have a lot of respect for, for him, and he does porn stuff. I, I think I think he's a genuinely nice person. I think he's also unstable, but I think he's a genuinely but nice person. But if he person. offered, would I ask to stay with somebody who I barely know on the internet? I think that would be a dangerous idea in general. I don't think that would be a good idea. No, if they I don't really trust anyone on the internet like that. So I, if, if people wanted to give me money for me to get a hotel room, yeah. I think that would be a much more neutral thing best. that I would appreciate. But I don't think I would stay with anybody because that puts them in power. And it's an unhealthy thing on both sides. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. So you're trying to move out? Is that the deal? No, I am not trying to move out. <laughs> I am being honest about the fact she, that I've been she, like... I'm she had said earlier that I've been an like to person. create space between her and Ben. I don't I want think to create is... space between. I don't. Okay, let me explain it. I want to respect him as a person and stop doing yes. the same kind of thing that my mother did to him and her mother did to her husband before. You guys her, are too. Which is you guys are too in close proximity to each other, regardless if it's good or bad. Your relationship. It just seems like you guys are a little too intertwined. Physically, I don't think the physical physical proximity is a problem. Mm. I think I can respect him as a person, and we can work together and be together almost twenty four seven. It's not going to be a problem. I know him very well. He knows me very well. I rely on him. He relies on me. It can be basically functional as long as I stop. That's not good. Just He's your. Him. You guys should. He sh first of all, he should not rely on you. He's your father. That's retarded. He's <laughs> a grown adult. I'm a grown adult. We have a team. We have a like a. We're. We sh I would aspire to be in a 
like consensual, like be team, like be, be partners, partners with him. And I want, would want him to rely on me just like I would want, I think he would want me to rely on him. I mean, he's already said he wants his payback for raising you, right? This is like he has said his, the way you're he has paying said him like back. His, his, no, I, I don't see it like that. But he has said like he wants his but he investment said that. to pay off. And I, I want his investment to pay off because he has invested in helping me for like five years now. And I want to make that work for him. I do. Hey, Grace, just so you know, like all parents are supposed to invest in their children. And just because your dad has invested in you, whether that means putting a roof over your head or financially or whatever, that doesn't mean you owe him anything. You are your own unique person. And he doesn't um, think I, he doesn't think I, I owe don't him look, I never, ever agree with Lav. Lav sucks ass. Fuck Lav. But in this case, she's kind of right. Oh my God. She's kind of right. Oh, is this right? Lauren? Hi, honey. How are you? Hi. <laughs> my dad does not think that I owe him anything. He wants to be equal partners with me and move out of and move forward with this and stop doing this. He does not think I owe him anything. He does not. He's and not retributive. Don't. He's not resentful. Retributive, I mean. He's not resentful. He's not. I know that. He'd be fine if I, he'd be fine if I said, look, I just can't do this anymore and I left tomorrow. He'd be fine. Then, well, I don't think that you should stop YouTube because actually you're pretty good at YouTube and like you get, like, look at your viewership tonight. It's decent. So why not just do it on your own and kind of Decent. Decent. People? Bitch, I hit 3,000. Good decent? for you, babe. That's decent? great. That's really amazing. So why don't you just keep it up and get rid of the incest angle? I will keep it up and I will get rid of the incest angle because I've been the one promoting that angle because I've been saying, oh my God, this guy's so abusive. Push him away on stream and act like he's manipulating me. I will get rid of that angle. I will. Yeah. I think that's really I was wrong great. to okay, do it. I was wrong, uh, I was wrong for publicly humiliating him. Yeah, like you're so He's cool. the one that you comes on and says he likes to fondle kids though. He does like I, to fondle okay. kids, as do I. Just, this is this is silly. Like, this is silly. Obviously, you guys know what they mean. It, whatever, uh, Grace, have you heard of emotional yeah. incest? Yes, I have heard of emotional incest. Yeah, she says that all the time. Okay, it's it's when a parent or caregiver relies on a child for emotional needs that an adult relationship would usually provide. Do you yeah, think I that know that? It is. Yeah, you think that that sounds like you and Ben? No, not at all. Okay. I think he relies on me for the things that you would rely on a partner for, like when you're working together. He relies on me for certain things we've agreed to, like I'll I'll take care of the food, which I don't. I'll take care of uh, organizing the tech for the streams, which I don't. Uh, and he will provide like the, he will guide me. He will help me like organize things. He will be like the driver and I will be the person taking care of the superficial things. I don't hold up my end of the bargain. He holds up his and I would like to do better for him and make him proud. But also for myself, because I think I'm short. I'm shortchanging myself. I'm worth more than this. My father in heaven would not be proud to see what I have done with the gifts I've been given, which are, like, a lot. I'm really good looking. I'm really smart. <laughs> I'm really good with people. I have great social skills, and to do this with my life is shameful. I think that you would be. You are a great streamer. I think that, like Lauren said, like you obviously are good at streaming. You don't have to stop streaming. Um, I, I don't intend to yeah, stop streaming. You're a good talker. I, I, I think that there's a level of, uh, and this is funny coming from me, but a level of self-respect that you should probably uphold on a stream. Uh, I agree. I should respect myself more than to say that my only appeal is making myself look like I'm the victim of a father who's been really nice to me. I should respect myself more. I have more to offer. I have more to give in all of these spheres that I've been like, like listening to oh, and we victimize each have other. More to give. I have more We've, to give. Okay, more talents to Grace, share than that. It's, you're, it is ridiculous. You're you're like BPD splitting. You're like <laughs> this is not. We victimize each other all the time in relationships. I don't think that you or your dad are like evil people. I think that you guys hurt each other because you are close, right? That's like normal to do in relationships. Not publicly, but it's normal to do somewhat. I think a lot somewhat. of people do that. I do not think my dad has done that to me. I think I've taken out my anger on him. Okay, I've let the I think that you're splitting. I think that you're BPD splitting. I don't know what that means. Your dad. I don't have BPD. I don't have... Okay, so it's when, it's when someone is either the devil or like, um, like an angel. Like you go oh, between... Oh, yes! 
I do do that a lot. I literally do that to him. That's what yes, I stop so, doing. So yes. you'll get tri you'll get triggered. So this is actually a hallmark of narcissistic abuse. Is this is what children of narcissists do? I don't know. I don't know whether or not your parents are narcissists. I'm not a doctor, but that is a it's a hallmark of it. I used to do the same thing. I still probably do it and don't realize Wait. it. Are you that saying is you actually, don't know that is actually that is actually helpful. I appreciate that. Split somebody said splitting is when you paint someone as the greatest or the absolute worst. Please, yes. Lord above, help me to stop doing that. I do that to him all the time. And I do that to myself too. I hate it. I hate You should it. you should go to a DBT class. <laughs> They're great. Did Courtney do that too? Would you say? In his mom? Uh I would say his mom doesn't do that. I would say uh his mom is a covert my my dad's mom is a covert narcissist meaning like she's like one of these humble people who's like nobody will ever understand me oh like, yeah you know that it's sort of her thing my my mom's mom is a clinical narcissist um just like in the sense like everybody has to be on her side and she has this like wound deep down that she's covering up uh i think my mother has narcissistic victim syndrome i don't think she is a narcissist but it's sort of like Narcissistic victim syndrome is what my mother did, which, in which encouraged her to sp do the splitting thing. I don't know if it's, I don't think she has borderline, but it's this sort of thing where she would, um, it's a counter, it's a, it's a reaction to a narcissistic parent where you, instead of the, the parent is always saying like, I'm great, I'm perfect. And what you do is you take that and you say like, I'm the worst, I'm awful, nobody loves me. And it's sort of like reverse narcissism in a way, but it, it, I think it's called narcissistic victim syndrome. Well, when nobody taught you growing up how to handle your emotional response to stimulus, you, you're, it's going to be extreme. So that's, it's pretty simple. It's, it's people without BPD have it, you know, the normal people have it. It's pretty, it's a pretty normal thing to have. I think a lot of people have it. That's not, it's not abusing Wait, someone to part? do that. It's not, it's, you're not abusing someone by your inner thoughts and your own neuroses that's not abuse uh well you are would you say like doing the splitting thing to somebody is abusive of them i think dependent on how you're treating them yes but doing it like you know having an emotional response saying like like i don't i don't think that you're abusing him by going on a live stream and uh, venting about like having a emotional response i think that's embarrassing and maybe potentially has consequences but I don't think that that's abuse. Well, I think it is abuse because the splitting is actually, it's actually like literally the dynamic of the off stream on stream. So on stream, well, let me start with off stream off stream. I will be like splitting in the sense that like he's an angel. So I'm saying like, Oh my God, like, thank you so much for helping me. Like, I like worship kind of, but it's like, of course, it's, he's you know, your dad. It's well, but it's, it's too much. It's too far. Like it's, it's sure. not respectful of his humanity that he's just a person and that those relations, those feelings belong to God. Like God is perfect. My dad is not, he's just a human. I should give him that space. That's not fair to do to somebody. And then on stream, I will split and I'll turn on him. And since it's public, I make him seem like he's the bad guy because I will start suspecting him and saying like maybe he's the worst person ever and i'll let people well, know it sounds like, like you're that. splitting right now because it, it, he your dad has also been the bad guy you guys are in a relationship where both of you have been the good guy and the bad guy you're right now the way that you're talking about it it makes it sound like you're like oh i've i've been lying every time that i've done this or i've been wrong every time that i thought that he did something bad to me it is possible that ben did something bad to you it doesn't make him a bad guy that's true, and I'm not saying he doesn't have his flaws. Yeah, that's important to not say like, oh, he's perfect, and I like I've done everything wrong. I because that's that's once again doing this idolizing thing. But I think I have to figure out like, I do think it's possible you can have a relationship where one person is abusive, and that doesn't mean the other person is like an angel, a perfect angel. But I do think my dad is like very close to Christ. Like I think all of his actions or most of his oh, actions. Have been I I do think that's true. I do think that's true. He's been incredibly tolerant. Of abuse. That's he's been so scary. Patient. He's been so patient with me, and I really do think that's true. But that doesn't mean he that hasn't he's even been patient person. with me for not wanting to fuck him. He's, he's one of the least patient daughter. people I've ever seen. He <laughs> left your mom, who is kind of he did not exceedingly leave my patient. Mom. He didn't leaving my mom. He talked to my mom eight hours a day because she was having a mental breakdown. Eight hours a day for like four years, and then she got a restraining order against him based on the lie that he beat her up. That is not him leaving her.
That is him being extremely patient and trying to help her. And even after the restraining order, he's even said, um, like, I don't think maybe we could work something. He's even said maybe we could work something out with the kids. Maybe we could work something out with the kids so that it's not so harsh. I, he's tried to say that. He hasn't obviously messaged her directly, but he's tried to work something out. You don't think that talking for eight hours a day about the same thing multiple days in a row could be abuse? Yeah, it was like abuse. that could actually I mean, be I, I hurting. Was, I don't think my mother more than it was helping. It be, but my mother had a mental breakdown, and she was abusive in the sense that, like, she kind of despaired, and she would just talk endlessly about her problems, and she didn't really realize what she was doing. But what is this guy saying? Numbers dropping? That's okay. You don't think I'm happy with 485? I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think you were being botted earlier. It may have been. I don't know. Botted by the Lord. Thank that's you, okay. Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's fine. I think some. It was. It was weird for someone to do that, though. Um, I don't. Think I don't so. think. That, I think this is an interesting show. You got it. I think your content brought those in. viewers. I think you changed the content. It just went, yeah. it just yeah. went a different some, direction. People, people will watch. People will watch someone literally kill themselves on a live stream. So I don't think that numbers are completely indicative of whether or not you're doing good. Yeah. Um, I think that Lauren doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. I, I think that you. What I just agreed agree. with you, Lav. This is why no one likes you, you dumb bitch. Oh my god, you're. BPD moment. Take a breath, girl. Girl, you're the only um, one diagnosed with BPD. I'm, I'm not, not I'm like, autism. what are, what are you BPD talking about? I have OCD never been diagnosed with BPD. And you're a pedophile. We get it. You're okay. the one with the mental illnesses. Oh my goodness. This is... You, you okay. openly admit online to I, Lauren, finding children. do yourself a favor. Do yourself so, a favor. calm down. Do yourself a favor. Stop talking. Thank you. Oh, is that your um, best report? I think that you spitting I don't, facts at you about your own mental illnesses, and then you ask me Lauren, to shut up. You're acting like a you're acting like genius. a child. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to make this about me. It's not going to be about you, regardless of how bad you want it to be about you. And I'm just not going. None of this makes like none of you're this. You're jealously real. telling Grace that you think that her audience is botted instead of just letting her get the W. Talk about making it about you. I've never seen anyone so fucking jealous. It's really bad. Oh, jeez, Louise. Um, people keep making it about them, and that's okay. why the numbers have gone down. Grace, bring it back to you. Bring it back to you. Yeah, brother. Grace, bring this it back is to about what the you. fuck is going this is on. About your dad. What I was, what I was going real. to say, you're, you, I don't think to, that you're, I don't yeah, think I'm that your dad is a bad me. person. Hi. Love you. Lav is crazy. Don't take her advice. She's a don't crazy go bitch. Anywhere, Lauren. Crazy bitch. Where are you going? Where are you going, Lauren? She Stick loves. around. Oh, my gosh. Crazy bitch. <laughs> I the women in this space, whatever. Martin, Martin Shkreli was calling. <laughs> What's wrong with the women in the space? Just kidding, Lauren. I appreciate you coming up. I uh, I I think that the women in this space are very. I don't know. I won't say anything. I I'm I'm a woman in this space, and I have I have my own problems. Whatever. Um, I think I think Lauren is severely mentally ill, though. Um, anyway, as I was going to say, I don't think that Ben, I honestly, I understand what you're saying earnestly. I understand what you say about your dad. I think that, uh, deep down, even though I think that he has some weird behaviors, he is sweet to you. I think he's probably a good dad to you. Um, away from all like, you know, the, the kicking, the, the, whatever, the relationship that you guys have, he strikes me as someone who cares a lot for you and people in his life. He comes off as very empathetic and caring. Um, Still, I think that there's uh, a codependency problem that you guys, I think that you guys are definitely codependent on each other. That's not healthy for either of you. You guys put unrealistic expectations on each other. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I, I lost my head. Really yeah, <laughs> I think that you guys put unrealistic expectations on each other in your relationship because you're always in proximity to each other. Right, the more that, the closer you are to someone, the more that you fight, the more you hurt them. That's just. I don't that's think that's normal. necessarily true, because you, then you'd be saying like all close relationships are dysfunctional. That's not true. A lot of them. They are, are to some degree. No, I don't think that's true. Not every close relationship is dysfunctional. That's what relationship? True. What relationship have you witnessed that isn't dysfunctional? Uh, 
That's a good question. <laughs> but I don't think it means that inherently close relationships are dysfunctional. A lot of them are, but that doesn't mean they all are. There is a, there is a level of dysfunction to every relationship, in my opinion, because you're planting two plants in the same pot. So two people with different journeys and thoughts and brains coming together in one pot is going to be strugglesome, at least at points, right? The whole relationship doesn't have to be yeah, dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, sure, it's fine. There will be problems. Yeah, I agree. To, it's very difficult for people to learn to live together and work together. It's very I, Yeah, I, I think it's impossible to have a very close relationship without being abusive to someone. At least, like, you know, low-level abuse. I'm not talking, like, you know, hitting someone or, you know, uh, worse things. Um, By the way, hang on one sec. I got a super chat. Willie McDuff for $10. Lauren's receding hairline makes her look even crazier than Grace does with Sharpie all over her. Thank you for the oh, $10. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Poor well, Lauren. Okay, can I, let me ask you a question. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question, uh, Lav. Yeah. Okay. Let's say this. If you understand that the slight, you know, physicality that you've seen, the kick, for example. Okay. Leaving the legal stuff aside. Yeah. Can you understand, let's just, just take my word for it, that... I have been sort of, I don't think without, I, I don't think I meant to per se, but my dad has been experiencing this sort of roller coaster where anytime I'm in public with him, I distance myself from him. And then in private, I'm extremely clingy. And it's sort of the splitting thing. Can you understand that after a year, like, well, a, a year and a half of that being online and him being publicly humiliated by me acting like I don't like him online and then being extremely clingy and in another way disrespectful offline of saying like that you're like like idolizing him can you understand how that would that would that could like lead to somebody getting fit like frustrated and physically expressing that frustration. I yeah I'll be honest and I'll I'll do a really hot take I don't think that the kick was that crazy like no no. I, I I think it's inappropriate for the relationship because he's your father. That's something that you would see in like a sibling or like, you know, something like that. Um, like, I, I think it was probably more inappropriate because he's your dad and he should have better like emotional regulation um, and like personal boundaries. But like, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't think that, don't that think... was like an evil thing to do. But I, There's you really can not be upset a victim with it, here. Though. There's not a victim here. That's the biggest problem with the whole fucking arrest. I mean, Grace is not claiming to be a victim. So this no. is just the state of coming in and saying, we're going to create a fucking revenue here off of Ben Thorpe. Well, sure. But when, I mean, I think that um, if they got an anonymous tip, I'm glad that they took it seriously, right? Because a lot of domestic violence cases get thrown away without a second thought. So it's better no, that they I'm took not, it a little I'm more not, seriously. I'm not glad they took it seriously. I think most domestic violence well, obviously. cases are bullshit. That m might be true in your case. I understand. There's a lot of way, real but... violence going on, and that was passe. I had a domestic violence charge when I was 18. I took a plea of abeyance, though, and it's off my record. I've talked about this publicly. Me and my mother got in a physical fight, <laughs> and the state pressed charges when she wouldn't. And uh, I had to do community service, all these things. Um, I, but I'm, I am glad, even though it was my personal experience, I'm glad they took it seriously because of the times that they don't but, take it seriously. But why did you? Like, why did you get in that with your mom? My mom lied. She she used to, like, threaten me all the time to call the police when I was under 18. She's like, you know, you can't do, you can't, uh, do all these behaviors, meaning, like, not doing the laundry. <laughs> when I'm like, whatever. She threatened it all the time. Uh, I went to grab the car keys because I wanted to get out. And um, she went to grab them also. And she had these really sharp nails that she used to always scratch me with. Whatever. Me and my mom have gotten in few physical altercations, but they've been pretty brutal. And uh, she held me down. So and, why did uh, you go? To, why did you go? Why because did I, you get arrested? Because she, when she was holding me down, I didn't. I couldn't move my arms because she's bigger than me. And I spit in her face to get her to like get off of me. In the in the way where you're like, you know, when there's an when you can't fight back. You know, yeah, it's like a cheap shot. It's like a cheap yeah. shot, like a like a nut kick. Or but she like was holding you down. That's assault. Um. Well, so I couldn't say any of those things because my little sister lived with her, and if I accused her of domestic violence, there was a bigger problem in court. 
So then my mom would be tried for domestic violence. CPS would have to get involved. My sister would potentially be put into the foster care system, which but didn't seem worth it. Okay, I, I do under, I understand that, but I just think you shouldn't have taken the fall for her. That's all. If it well, I wouldn't, ha- I wouldn't have if it was anything more than community service and a fine. If I had to spend any time in, in like, the, per, first of all, they put me in, like, a juvenile detention center, even with being 18, because I was, like, two weeks, uh, and they didn't want me with, like, the gen pop, because I was, I was, like, a small 90-pound girl. Yeah. Um, so if it was, and that was only for less than 20 hours I was there. I didn't even sleep there. So, but your mom and then I got started out. a fight with, she started a fight with, I, I, I understand your sister lived with her, but she started a fight with you, held you down, you spat at her, and she called the police yeah. and got you arrested. I don't, I think she was shocked too. I, she was drunk. She was shocked when the police came up and took me away, I think. I didn't, I think that they, she was counting on the fact that they were just going to like scare, like scare me straight. You know what I mean? Cause she even, yeah, she came to, yeah. she came to my hearings and uh, she made sure that everyone knew she wasn't pressing charges and that it was just like a, a big mistake and whatever. Yeah. 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 It was a whole thing. But, um, but still, I bring this up to say that I'm glad that, the courts took it seriously, even though, you know, that wasn't good for me because of how many people are not taken seriously and then end up getting like killed by their spouse or something. Um, you know, I don't think that's a big deal because I think if, well, let me explain it. Domestic homicide is a big deal. Yeah. Well, okay. But like, l- let me say this. If, if, if you're, if you're married to somebody and he kills you out of nowhere, obviously that's a big deal. But here's what I would say. If you're with somebody like, if I was with a guy, and, like, we hadn't, like, I said, like, I, like, do not expect to be hit by you, and he hit me, and he was just taking out his anger at me, I mean, I, I think at that point, it's it's not up to the police, it's up to no me, bueno. I either need to leave the situation, or if I stay with him, then I have to take responsibility well, for that, so, and expect, so, like, expect more of that. You know what I mean? I think it's kind of those two people saying, to like, some degree. you can leave. I don't know what the police really have to do with it, because... Most of the time, when the police well, are most called, victims don't. So most victim. That's why the state prosecutes and victims don't always, is because victims very often, out of fear or out of love for their partners or their fathers, will say, "Oh well, I don't want this person to go to jail. I don't think it was that bad. Maybe but I if they deserved if they, it." If they don't want him to go to jail, then why should the government have any say in it? It's up to them. Because it's it's better to well no it's better to live in a place where the government has a little control over who is in general population. We usually don't want violent people in it. Even if you can withstand, because you are like a tall girl, right? You could probably withstand more like physical pressure than than I can. If someone hurts me, uh, like it's it's probably a bigger problem. I'm gonna have less like it, you can take a lot if you if you say that you're you it's okay that your dad kicks you or whatever. It's like all subjective. I'm saying but if he we usually don't want violent people in general population. I understand that, but if he expresses physical frustration at me, or if I express physical frustration at him, and neither of us have a problem with it, I don't see what the government has to do with that. I don't see what the police have to do well, with Well, because that. violent people, regardless of whether or not you're okay with it, your personal threshold, violent people probably shouldn't be in general population to the state's discretion. Grace. What Quick questions. That? Who is that? It was Star. Quick question. You were on the bed. Your dad kicked his foot out. Did he kick you in the ribs or did he kick you in the butt? Kick you in, in the, the ass like he was in the butt. In like so the hip, for all like here. Right. So for all intents and purposes, Ben was wanting you to get the fuck out, right? Basically, yeah. He did say and that was his like, space, I was in, right? I was in his space, and he was feeling like things were getting crazy, and he had been telling and me like, "You gotta go." So soon. it was either him get up and leave, which he did. Event right as soon as he did that, he got up and left. He was like, "You're not leaving. I have to leave." Is that was kind of his mentality? Yeah. And he kicked you in the butt, which would have been kind of akin to kicking you in the ass on your way out the door, but you just hadn't got up to leave yet. Yeah, he was saying so, to me before, like, "You need to get like, I need some space." If I wasn't really respecting that, that. I was just sitting there. If anybody thinks that fucking bringing in hot lead, guns loaded, fucking cops with badges and guns that think they're above it all was a good idea for that, I would argue with them every day. It's ridiculous, okay? Because there was no crime here. So, unfortunately, what you were talking about earlier and what's going on here now is... He's still there. I think you should get a 
bondsman tomorrow post haste you could call one now maybe make a note of it around the jails in this country because it's all about money they post bondsmen every I think, fucking I where think- I think your dad can make it a few days. He's a tall, big guy. I don't think think you should waste your money. Do you understand that this is a privatized criminal system? They just want to fucking make more money on? Yeah, so don't pay pay the bond. Why why would you pay a bond then? Just wait until they just wait until it's released. I'm not going to make this stream about something else, but okay, it's a little harder to say, let's leave them in there. When it's five hundred dollars to get them out, okay, or a thousand dollars to get them out, and you don't have to give up a thousand dollars till later, you can do a stream with Ben. I think comes you back could, from he's going jail. to get out. He's going to May get I out finish? anyway. He's going to get out yeah. anyway. Don't waste your money. They already have no money. Use that money towards something like rent or food. Well, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think he would ever... want me to use the money to pay people make for sure doing can i ask you this no he'll be fine he's, he's taking a vacation from his problems he's that could be vacation. true that but but grace here's what i want to know do you does your cell phone take an un- unknown or anonymous calls because your dad's gonna it be does I, I turned off the white list okay good because that's what you need to make sure because he's only going to get a few opportunities to get to a pay phone and call collect now does your service allow for collect calls i don't that's know the only I way he can so. call you i get what? police calls I get police calls. Have you ever gotten calls from a jail where they say, caller on the line, will you accept the charges? No. Okay, that's what you need to call your carrier and find out. Because if you don't, he can't call you. And if he can't call you, he can't tell you he wants the fuck out of hell. Yeah, that's true. So the other option you have is to get a message to him with a landline that you're attached to somebody. Maybe somebody in your chat, maybe one of your mods will offer up their landline for him to call, but he's going to have to, and then you can send that to the jail and get it to him. All you have to do is call him, say, this is a number he can call, collect, and they will three-way me with him. Okay. That's the only, that's the best option you have, but I mean, I, you got to give him some way to communicate with you because otherwise you don't know what he's thinking. Okay. All right. Okay. I digress. I just kind of thought like the best, maybe the best take would be to not like, I don't know, to not, like, obsess over it and just say, like, okay, like, I fucked up. He doesn't want me to pay. And Your dad's a big guy. He best. towers over most people. I'm not really worried about him. But there is a tendency for, you know, if, if he gets out of line, for people to put people with people that are just jerks in the first place. So, I mean... I, I don't want to see him. And one day after the next, after the next, it just doesn't get better if you're in a situation that's going about downhill, especially in that situation. You're in a rat cage with a bunch of rats, and some of them are rabid. Well, but even if, even if I do manage to contact him, he can't contact me, right? Because there's going to be that no contact order. That's what happened with my brother. Okay. If there's a no contact order with you because of that's something like I'm saying, if I if I try to get in contact with him, they're gonna tell me that I can't because the no contact order because that's what happened with my brother. It was the same counts, the same charges, and he couldn't contact me. I'll tell you the the whole story. It gets real deep. I I mean I understand a lot more of this than I want to put on your stream because it gets into the legal lawful things, um, and when you start talking about that it's kind of the red pill of the matrix, not the red pill of the simps out there. And shit. Um, and I'm, I'm going to hold on quickly. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. I'm not going to overstay my welcome. Grace. I'm I wanted very... to hear more from you. Shut but up. I mean... <laughs> Grace, I had a very similar relationship with my grandpa that you do with your dad. We're still, we're still friendly and close. I, I, I think I understand a lot of what you're going through and I don't want to catastrophize or make you feel ashamed or bad for your relationship with your dad. Um, again, if you don't want to come stay with me, that's totally fine. If you do want a female friend or just someone to listen to or someone to add to your support system, I'm here always. I'll check up on you later today and maybe tomorrow. Um, feel free to leave me on red or to not respond, but I just want you to know that I'm here if you need anything. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. All right. Bye. Bye. Wait, I forgot to read this to her. No! I wanted to read this to her. Well, she's not a lesbian anyways.
Willie McDuff for $10. Thank you for the $10. If the government really cared about domestic violence against women, they would make being a lesbian illegal. That is true. Lesbians are well known for being the most domestically violent people. So. Also, ask Lab to send some bath water. <sighs> All right. I know we got some people backstage. I've been adopted by some wild lesbians in the past. Hang on, Finally, jeez. What do you want, Chuckles? Oh, I was you? just here to... I'm trying to find a new pen pal, and I was hoping that you could give me some information on where your dad is staying. You know what, Chuckles? Fuck you. You dox grossly. My first sexual partner on Discord. You doxed a good man. I don't know about good, a but one of the funniest people. You dox grossly. Fuck you. R.I.P. Grossly. Yo, shout outs in the chat. One's in the chat for grossly. Fuck you, you betraying whore. Is that all? Yes. Betraying whore. When did yes. I dox him? When did I dox him, though? Didn't you dox him? No, that wasn't actually me. I didn't know his name to dox him. I knew oh, his name was grossly to me. It was not me. I just You're got lying. For it. I swear Chad, to God. is she lying? I, is she lying? You, okay, whatever. I mean, is I'm she not lying? Gonna, you don't is have the lying? fucking proof, but whatever. I mean, it's cool. I'll take the blame. I'm a well, Jew. look, I'm I know maybe it. Ava was part of it. I'm not sure. You know, I didn't know his name, so I couldn't dox him. Okay, never mind. Actually, it wasn't you. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I admit my mistake. I admit my mistake. Yeah, yeah. Was, so let person. me get your dad's information so that way I can. I need a pen pal. Oh, you want to message my dad conjugally or whatever in prison? Yeah, like I, I actually have a whole folder of jail mail and uh, I'd like to add him to the collection. Mm. Please. <laughs> so. I couldn't find it. Like I you went know, to you Google. could have just you could have just talked to him online. Is he hot to you now because he's a, an inmate? Yeah, you you're one of those mm -hmm. girls. I want to be one of those prison wives. <laughs> um. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh. <laughs> the I got a real job. Robots. That's why no one's seen me in months. Cause like I work now because you know being on the internet and asking for money is really painful. Flo State, did you know that Chuckles here is a female comedian? No. I didn't and know I, that. I'm not. I work in a cubicle now, so I'm a professional. Oh, you gave up on uh, comedy? Sucks. Well, I mean, I wasn't really doing it. I was doing YouTube, and then I was like, uh, eh, this isn't really making me enough money, so now I make money. Hmm. Using a pasta filter on your face and streaming for two hours every week wasn't working? It wasn't. I mean, <laughs> yeah. The weird Number female one, pigeon here. You're in jail. Number I'll two, I you don't, get a letter from this tension? broad. Oh, maybe there's not. Um, I mostly heard Scott to be offering terrible legal advice early, and so earlier, and so I kind of came up as, as a counterweight to that. Oh, okay. What's your what's your alternate legal advice? I think that Ben is just fine in jail. He's a massive dude. He won't. He will want more bologna sandwiches than they're gonna give him. But um, I would just wait. He'll probably have court Wednesday. Yeah, you might actually like grow if you just spend a little bit of time away from him. Well, I don't think he would want me to pay the bond. I don't think he would want me to pay. The you haven't who heard he from him. No, I I don't think he can contact me because. But I you know who he can contact? Who? Me. But I can't. I, I don't even know. I don't even know if he has his phone. Like I don't even know how if he has his phone on him. I don't know how it oh, works. Oh, I thought he because... was backstage. Mm. Does it not your dad? No, there's somebody who says he's bad. Most ben booking Thorpe areas Bruce, have, have phones that allow you to call out that are not collect calls. Um, I know, but I don't think he can call me. I'll communicate with him he telepathically. Got the, he got the charge against me, so that's probably why there's nothing, because he it's a no contact order automatically put in place until the arraignment. So I don't actually, I don't think there's anybody he can contact. Yeah, you might not be able to bond him out anyways, even if you wanted well, to. Well, what jail is it? Because I couldn't even find his... I couldn't even find it. 
Uh, it's like the Correctional Institute. I don't know. I think this is a whole scam. Is he even in jail? Scam? Yeah, I think that he's in the other room or something. You don't think he got arrested? I can't find the record. About? Well, I don't know if they booked him yet. I, I, I've oh, been trying so to get that out of him. He? Is he even like... I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. They told I don't me know I had how to wait. I got, the, I got the papers. Where they are. Hmm. I got all these papers. They said... Oh, papers. Did Bail you read them? Bail for all accounts, 10,000. Arraignment date, 315. Um, domestic simple assault and battery. Domestic disorderly conduct. Yeah, just hand over the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, you'd love to know our address, you doxer. You're still accusing me of doxing when we just clarified this. I still think you had something to do with it. Well, yeah, I, Jews always get blamed for everything. Playing that card. I mean, it's very, you know, it's a, it's a great time to be a Jew again. When is it not, though? Um, but if he'll probably be able to get a bond reduction in a week. He'll probably have his, have his first hearing Wednesday. And then um, at the next one, probably the, the next week, either Monday or Wednesday, he'll be able to request a bond reduction. And they'll probably cut it in half if he's still in jail. They might or OR him out. But if there's an arraignment on the 15th, doesn't that mean that he could just, like... That it'll just be a court date, so like they could let him go if I go there. Uh, Let's is go. there is there a protection order? If there's a protection order, you should not go there. Um, because no, no, no that's a, I, I've been to court with my brother, and there he had a protection order. I had a protection order against him. It, they'll protect you. Like they, if they, if there's a protection order in place, and Ben looks at you and like says things to you or mouth words to you, the court's gonna frown on that like a motherfucker. I know, so. but he knows he knows that though. He knows okay. that. He knows that. That's what happened with me and my brother. But, no, I would... If I were you, honestly, I'd call the jail and I'd leave them your number and say, will you give this to Ben? Um, they'll eventually get hit the, the scrap of paper to him, especially if you... I think we should all write a letter him. to him together. Yeah, I was There's thinking that. that, that I, could, I was thinking that I could... I was thinking that I could give them something to give to him. Mm -hmm. Because he can't contact me, but I can contact him. You can also put money on the phones. I mean, that's a real cheap way to, like, 10 bucks. How can we fuck with him minutes. in jail, though? <laughs> like, what can we mail him that's, like, stupid? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's even an inmate. I don't think that's how it works. I see. So maybe he's just, like, like aren't they on holding vacation him? or something. He's not an inmate. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably, he's... if he's not showing up on the inmate roster, he's probably in the booking area still. Sometimes still? it takes him... It took me three days to get booked in. Yeah, what state were you in? Rhode Island has like four people in it. That's true. <laughs> Kansas. It's a very small Bro, state. There's about two people here. <sighs> Bro, she... Bro. Bro. She had sex with the entire fam. Dude, epic. Epic roads, dude. How'd you figure that out? Mail him a positive pregnancy test from Grace. That's a good idea. <laughs> mail That's him a, a flashlight. Let's, let's mail him <laughs> some like crackers send him porn and like Maxers anal beads. Yeah, oh, see, these are good ideas. Now we're thinking. This is this is good collaboration. Those Chat. anal beads will be considered a weapon. <laughs> like, what are you legally? I'm gonna Google this. Like, what are you legally allowed to like mail people in jail? Books, socks. Undershirt. Okay, let's let's. Let's put like a coloring book or something. That'd yeah, be cool. Yeah, you can do coloring books. Okay. I have a job now, so I can fund this project. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm going to pop you guys down for a minute. I'm going to play a little bit more. Thank you for coming on, though. But I'm going to play a little bit more of the, uh, the Nat Town video, and I'm going to go roll a cigarette. So I'll be right back. Don't you dare embarrass me. No, no. What takes time to figure that out? I. The answer is no. The answer no, is no. Absolutely goddamn right. Yes. No, you have no right. No right. Yes. You behave shamefully. Anybody can talk about it. Yes. If there's a reason you behave that way, 
okay, they should mention that too. But you, you don't get to abuse someone and then say you're a victim of them saying, I've been abused. Yeah, right. I don't. Oh. I've been like really. No, 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 no. You've been doing that. I have. I've been acting like a victim of you. That's true. I act like a victim of you. I act like you're too mean to me. I act like you're harsh on okay, me. Okay, whatever. I don't want to hear your big speeches. Okay, now you are clear about this, right? To myself, because I'm not clear to the stream. But you mean like personally? Am I clear about this? All right, so you don't understand basic English sentences. It's all a fucking runaround. It's not a runaround. It's all a runaround. It, so <clears throat> you're saying, I'm, you're saying, you're exhausted on a level that like almost no other human being on earth has ever experienced. And what I'm going to do is, when that person who's that exhausted says, "Are you clear about that?" What you're going to do is cause me to have to clarify. That. I'm sorry. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. I'll stop it. I'll oh, stop now it. You're going to get crazy and make me feel crazy. It never ends. I love you very much. And I'm sorry that I'm acting like this. I'm clear that I have been like crazy. I am clear about that. I was crazy yesterday. I was super crazy. I thought like you totally, like I totally could like never do anything with you ever again. I really did mean that. And I, I'm sorry for being self-indulgent. Okay. So let's try it again. Are you clear about that? Yes. Okay. Is that hard to answer? No. Was it hard to answer when I asked it a couple minutes ago? No. So why did you answer it that way? Because I am running around. Okay. So what you decided to do or whatever, couldn't help but doing is exhaust an exhausted person who's asking you whether you're clear that they're exhausted yes okay this borders on utter insanity don't you think yes in a i minor do way. yep all right yes now what situation does that put you in uh that puts me in a situation where i'm kind of saying like okay i'm i'm like i'm being extremely defensive even though i know that like I, okay, so like I know you're no, coming. No, no, we don't need a big fucking speech. It puts you in a worse situation. Why? Because I like I did something worse to you. Like I, I like I've I been running a, you around. Up. I made an exhausted person, an utterly exhausted person, more exhausted, who was asking for you to clarify that you've exhausted him. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Now you're in a little bit of a deeper hole than you were in before. Yeah. And guess what you can do now? Freak out about that and despair? Yeah. And who did you see do that? Over and over. Over and over. And 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 over and over over and over and over and over again for four years mom okay and how did you feel about some when your mother did that over and over and over and over again i felt like it was crazy like she was crazy and every day i was like maybe no, no, i no, can't no 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 how did you <clears throat> feel about it? i felt like she was crazy no no how did you how did that make you feel to have someone do that i was really angry at her right because you think it is what type of behavior good medium or horrendous horrendous okay and yet you're doing it. yeah i know okay yes okay so you have a problem but so far for the better part of a decade what have you done it, as an alternative when you, what is your response been to her doing that? All right, I'm back. Uh, Got some water. It's, I mean, I, it's well, like it's a combination of, quick. look at me acting like such a fucking retard on the stream. Oh, praise the Lord, I'm not going to do this again to myself. Praise Jesus, yeah. Praise the Lord. Hey, child. Praise Jesus that he has rescued you, eh? 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Stardust. Hello, mon frere. Hello. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Well, I'm doing much uh, better I mean, now that I decided to stop being a liar. Uh, what were you a liar about? I was a liar that I was like an abused little girl. I'm not. Okay. Uh, um, okay. I tricked okay. all y'all. I tricked all y'all. I'm so good at it, bro. I'm so good at it. I'm such a good manipulator. The FBI should fucking hire me. I am so good at it. Okay. Well, I mean, um, you know, I, I can't dispute that. I don't know enough about you. I guess my main thing is that uh, I wanted to talk to you. I watched that interaction with you and your dad where he kicked you. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, what happened prior to that that made him so upset? Uh, I would say that was the culmination of about a year and a half of this online thing where, I mean, Lav was helpful. She was describing it as splitting, where I sort of do this thing where, like, I idolize him in private and then, like, kind of kick him down in public and act like I'm scared of him when I'm not. And it's very unhealthy and it's extremely frustrating to do to somebody. And he has been patient with me about it, but I think he finally reached his limit. And, you know, I, I'm glad that it's over because... I don't want to do that anymore. I want that out of my life. It's like the ultimate, like, it's like, it was like a kick in the ass, like a literal kick in the ass to me to say like, get your shit together, figure out what the fuck you're doing. You're worth more than this. You're worth more than pretending you're the victim of somebody who you love. You're worth more than that. You've got more talent. You've got more gifts to share with everybody. Drop this. Okay, so what I saw, I don't think I saw you. What, okay, I haven't watched a whole lot of you, but from what I've seen, I you've never came come off as um as like you're um portraying yourself to be a victim. When oh, bad... Stardust, Liz, uh, I'll let you look at me on this fucking stream. Look at me, okay, look, acting like such a fucking. Oh, I'm people, so unhappy. A... You fell for it. You fell for the wait, gag. Wait, wait, wait. I, gr Grace. Okay, great. Sorry, um, I'll let you talk. So. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Um, so when I when I have a problem with your father, um, it's not based on your behavior. It's based on his behavior. And his behavior alone. Oh, how, how it's not mean? there's nothing that you can do that would influence me whether I like whether I, I have a problem with your father's behavior. Uh well what do you mean? Like what, what do you have a problem with? Okay, so so for example, when I watched that stream where he kicked you, mm. um, he wanted you to come from upstairs to downstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Why did he want you to come downstairs? Uh, because he wanted his daughter back. He wanted to offer me like, okay, just drop this thing. We can be friends. We can be buddies. Just drop this thing where you're like acting like you're scared of me and we can like work together. And I, I feel like, you know, he said he had separation anxiety. He wanted me downstairs. He wanted me to be with him. And he just wanted to say like, okay, let's just stop the craziness. Let's stop the craziness. And what was and the he craziness wanted prior he to did, that? He did want food and he was also cold. That is also true. He was he wanted cold. wanted to turn the heat up. He was cold. Uh, 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 he, is he unable to turn the heat up himself? No, but I like doing it for him. I would, I, okay. I will in the future like doing it for him. What happened when you tried to ask him about the food situation? Uh, I think I said I had to go get food, and he said, like, just come down here and we'll work it out from there. He got upset with you, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He okay, did. so he got, a, he got upset with you there, okay? Yeah. After that, you went down, uh... Because I was acting uh, like a retard. Okay, you were just asking about food, though. Yeah, but I was asking a question I knew the answer to. And it pissed him off. That seems like... That seem, I don't know about that. It seems like... Um, it seems like a reasonable question to me that, that you were asking. But uh, that's neither that's here nor there. Because I, okay, that is because I do not fault you for it. I'm a great manipulator. And I ask what seems to other people to be normal questions when, in fact, me and him have worked out the food situation. And I know when he says, I'm hungry, can you come downstairs and we'll work something out, that he, he's not saying to me, can you ask me questions about what food we're going to get? He's saying, let's do it together. I know that's how he works, but I present it as if it's just a normal question because I'm an abusive 
I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a manipulator. That's such an over. That's such an overreaction to a simple question. Even if you knew the answer, he could have been like, "Well, you know the answer to that. Just come downstairs." Right? Sure. Instead, he could have. He got upset with you. He got. Yeah, upset he was with frustrated. You. He was right to be frustrated. Do you have any idea how long a year and fourteen months to be publicly humiliated in front of other people is? It's crazy. I think. Uh, sure. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, we'll I'm, I'm not we'll faulting you. I'm literally. I'm not faulting you. I'm not okay. faulting you at all. For falling for it. I'm a good manipulator, but I sure, am a liar. Sure. Look, I just want to, I just kind of want to handle what happened on that stream specifically. Okay. So sure. after you went down there, um, and you said, uh, he, he was cold, right? You went down mm. there, um, and you, where were you sitting? What were you sitting on? A bed. A bed. Okay. And he, he was on the same bed, right? Yeah. Okay. His bed. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then he said, you said that you weren't comfortable being on camera. And then he said, "Well, that I he said, I said in paper. general, I said in general, I'm not comfortable uh -huh. being on camera. Like I wasn't saying what was, literally then." Uh huh. Okay. What was his response to that? I think he said that makes me that that's a sign that I'm abusive. Okay. I think. Uh, and he he said that he feels safer on camera with you. Yeah. And off camera. Yes. Why is that? Because on camera, I'm held accountable to what I do because he can go back and say, like, you did this, like, you did this, this is what you said to me privately, and this, what, this is what you did on stream, like, there's something really off here. And so he feels better when it's on stream because then he can go back to it, whereas when it's off stream, it's, you know, I can gaslight, I can manipulate, and, you know, he is, you know, I, he's good at resisting that, but I am very good at manipulating, so. Okay. Um... So he, then you are turning towards uh, him when you're talking to him, right? And what happens then when you turn towards him to talk to him? He said that we had agreed that we would look at the camera instead and look mm -hmm. at chat. And I looked at him instead. So he got pissed off again, which is fair. No, he got... Okay, so he is, so far he's gotten pissed off at least three times at you, right? If not Absolutely. more. Absolutely. Okay. And it seems to by me... all rights, this man should rip me limb from limb for what I've done to him. Like by all rights, I have absolutely okay. like publicly humiliated him and acted like I'm, like, hit, like his little abuse victim child, I, I and it's Grace, disgusting. Grace, can we have this conversation without you justifying everything? I just, I just want to, I want to go through this. I want you to to see what I'm seeing, and then you can come up, you can say your explanation for him. Is that okay? Yeah, but I'm just saying that in order to understand his reactions and what I'm doing, you have to understand the context. You just have to mm -hmm. understand it because by itself, it looks bad. I'll admit it looks bad. It does look bad. Okay. All right. So three times at least so far during that stream, he gets mad at you. Then after him getting mad at you for looking at him when you're talking to him instead of looking at the screen, mm. you say, you say, yeah, to him. And he gets mm -hmm. mad again, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Why is he mad about you saying, yeah? Because he doesn't want me to be disrespectful to him. So saying yeah instead of yes is disrespectful. It can be when you use it a certain way, and I was using it a certain way, and I was being disrespectful, yeah. Was that disrespectful right now when you said yeah? No, because you're not my father. Okay. All right. Um... But in a normal context, in a normal context, he'd be fine with me saying yeah. But at the time, I was being very disrespectful, so he wanted me to show it just by you know, using language that was respectful and kind of like calming myself down and, you know, showing respect. And I kept not doing that. I was being You rebellious. seem pretty calm to me. You seem pretty calm to me in that. In oh, that I was bit. not. I was absolutely not. I'm telling you from my experience, like if I watch myself, I was like, la, 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 in my head, I was, I was crazy. Mm. Okay. Um, all right. Next thing. Um, then he, he says that you've been perpetuating lies about him on the internet through your behavior, not yes. through your words, right? Um, yes, yeah. I defend okay. him with my words, but through my behavior, which is more important, really. I show that I, I, at least on stream, I show that I'm afraid of him, that I feel like he's like judging me all the time, that he's in a, like a, basically an abusive person and that I, I don't feel free. That's why everybody's been saying like, save grace. Is your father a body language expert? What do you think? No, <laughs> I don't think he is. I, I honestly don't think body language experts are real, but 
I, I guess I want to. I, I can kind of agree part. with you on that. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. s- common sense. Everybody has different body language, uh, and and it like it's not going to be universal, and it makes no sense to me why he is claiming that you're perpetuating lies about him when you haven't said those lies. Um, secondly, I guess I, maybe you can tell me exactly how wait, yeah wait, 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 is wait, wait. disrespectful. Do you, do, do you think that you can't like show something through your actions that you don't express through your words? Um, you can, but it, but with the um, things that you do on, on camera, it doesn't seem, it, there's no reason for me to think that you would be perpetuating lies through your actions. Well, but you would not really know, right? Because you don't, you don't know the, like, you don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, but you're not. But you would, but wouldn't alive. you have to say, wouldn't you have to say there's some kind of a cognitive dissonance if with my words, I say like, oh, he's great. And then with my actions, I kind of like imply that I'm afraid of him, that like he, he shuts me down, that I don't feel equal to him, that he's judgmental, that he's mean. Wouldn't you say that people, there's there's some kind of a lie there? Either I do think he's great and I'm acting like this, so. or I don't think he's great and I'm acting in a way that aligns with that. I don't think that. so. Uh, so when I look at you and I look at your actions, you seem like you're very loving of your father. When I look at him, I see him doing those things. And that's why I form that opinion. Your actions is is not informing my opinion of him. Well, but you're watching my response to him. For example, if he, when he kicked me, I had laughed, that would inform your response, your, your, your attitude, your, your interpretation of what he did. It might inform it a little bit, um, but that's that your reaction to that was involuntary. Oh, I was shocked. It didn't hurt, but I was shocked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go back to the yeah part. Can you explain exactly why to me, uh, it's disrespectful for you to say yeah instead of yes to your father. Um, I would say that generally it's not a big deal, but when we're in this situation where I've been disrespectful, he's trying to say like, okay, just show your respect through saying this, just saying yes, which is more respectful. I mean, you wouldn't say yeah in a courtroom, right? You'd say yes. So like show some respect through your words and we can calm down together and we can go from there. Cause but you're he's just not, like, you guys are not in a courtroom together. No. He's not a judge, right? That wasn't my point. If you were following my point, my point was that yes is more respectful than yeah. And so if he wants me to show respect and I'm saying like, supposedly I want to be respectful, he's saying, here's a way you can show me respect. Just say yes instead of yeah. Don't be so, don't be so like casual with your language with me just to show that you want to respect me and then we can go from there. Okay, but you, he asked you to come downstairs and you went downstairs. He asked you to turn away from him and look at the camera, and you did that. And he has mm-hmm. problem with you saying. But I also yeah, didn't. I also yes. didn't do both of those things. It's. I'll tell you what, Stardust. It's very subtle. It is very subtle. I don't fault you for not being able to see this. It's extremely subtle because I did go downstairs, but he said, "Can you please come down right now?" And I didn't. I st- I, w- I waited like five minutes, and I asked him questions that I knew five the answer is- to. Five minutes is, is 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 fine. Five minutes is not making him wait for a long time what, at all, really. Well, but you don't have a very close relationship. If somebody you were close to said, can you please come here right now? You would go there right now. You wouldn't wait five minutes. You would. Yeah, unless I you had to. Unless you absolutely had to. Unless you absolutely had to. So it's a sign of rebelliousness. And I'm. You can just, you can say like, oh, a woman shouldn't submit to a man or I shouldn't submit to him, but I'm saying I want to listen to you. And so he tells me to do something no. and I wait just long enough to do it that it doesn't look super disrespectful, but to him, it really hurts him because he's asking me something and I'm not doing it right away. I agree with you that you submit to people that you love. I have no problem with that, but I think that five minutes, anything could have been happening in those five minutes. If I, I would be upset if it were 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but five minutes is completely normal to me for somebody to wait. I just don't, I, I but I still don't understand the but whole it was part on, about yeah but it was on, yes. it was on stream. It was on stream. The five minutes were spent asking him questions that I knew the answer to. It, it's just and a he sign. he reacted to that. Well, but you have to understand it's been a year and a half of me acting like this on stream and he was extremely frustrated with it, which is perfectly understandable. Of course he should be frustrated. But what what acting like this? What does acting like this mean? 
being cold to him and not listening to him on stream and acting like I'm afraid of him and then off stream being super clingy and idolizing him and like either way I'm not saying one is right they're both kind of disrespectful of him as a person it's just like not giving him the space that he deserves as like just a fellow human being to say like you're not god and you're also not evil but, but 14 he has months a problem of with that, you saying he has a problem with you saying yeah versus yes but he doesn't want you to idolize him yeah, he wants me if if I'm if I'm acting crazy and rebellious, he wants me to show some basic respect through language. And normally he wouldn't ask that. It would just be like he he doesn't he doesn't enjoy doing that. He wants me to just be able to communicate with him like a normal person. But when I'm super out there, which I know I was mentally, I was like super I don't know what you call it, dissociating or like just spiraling mentally. It's a way to bring me back to say like you can show that you love me. I know you love me. Just show that you love me by doing this and then we can go from there. I think is very, it's actually a generous thing to offer. Here's the thing, Grace. Um, all of yeah. these problems that he has with you are directly in conflict with each, with each other, right? He do, he wants you to be respectful of him, but don't treat him like a god. He wants you to come That's downstairs. That's not in conflict with each other. That's, th those well, things aren't in conflict me, with let, each other. Let, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying, right? He wants you to, he wants you to respect him like a father, right? But he's mm -hmm. upset that you didn't come down immediately and, and that you asked um, a question that he thinks that you should know the answer to. He like he wants you to come down immediately, like like um, you know. But you but he he can't wait for five minutes. He's a grown man, right? Okay. So first of all, you said that these his his requests of me, or what he expects from me, is conflictual. Number one, asking somebody to respect you, like wanting respect from another human being. I wouldn't say, like, I said yes when you said, like, as a father. Of course, he does want respect in the sense that he is my father and you should give a certain amount of respect to a father. But mm -hmm. also, he, he mostly wants me to just, because we're both adults, like, not so much the daddy-daughter thing and more so just, like, two adults who respect each other. But that's not conflictual with saying, like, don't idolize me, don't turn me into God and then be upset when I'm not God. That's not conflictual. Okay, fine. Um, okay, so, so le let me just count this for you. We, we have him being mad that you um, waited five minutes. Um, he, we have him being mad that um, you didn't want to be, you said, you made a comment about not wanting to be on camera. We have him mad about you turning your head towards him instead of turning towards the screen. We have him mad at you because you said yeah instead of yes. And he, we have him mad at you so far for uh, perpetuating lies on the internet through your behavior. That's five things so far in this conversation. Okay, I'm not finished with this. I'm not finished with this list, okay? So. Absolutely. He asks you if it's time to correct the lies, right? Mm -hmm. And what happens when you say, yes, it's time to correct the lies? I don't remember it word for word. I don't know what happened after. He gets mad at you for not saying it loud enough. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's true. I fuck with him in multiple sub like subtle ways. I'm sure I did say it. I do remember I mumbled. Yeah. But this seems like nitpicking to me at this point, but okay. Then after that It can seem like nitpicking, but if somebody's fucking with you in very subtle ways, you have to nitpick, you have to point it out like you're doing this. Okay. He claimed um, that he'd been brutalized Stardust, let me ask by... you a question. Okay, I'll let you keep going, but let me ask you a question. Yeah. Have you ever seen me interact with my dad the way I'm interacting with you right now? Um, occasionally. Maybe. But not, not very much, right? I could not I'm not trying lot. to trap you in anything. Okay, so what I'm saying is I'm treating you with the level of respect that, I mean, it's a little, it's like, obviously we have less intimacy because you're not my mother yeah. or like, we're not related. Yeah. But I'm treating you with a level of respect where I'm saying like, I'll push back on you, but I'll also let you talk. I'm not afraid yeah. of you. And I'm also not yeah. like idolizing you. Okay, so yeah. what he wants is basically the amount of respect that I'm showing you. He would be, he would be glad for that you yourself say you haven't seen me interact with him the way i interact with you which is my point my point is that 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 is what he wants and you personally have not seen me give the same level of respect i give to you to him respect doesn't mean worshiping it just means giving another per person space no, as I know an that. adult i understand that i understand that but uh, uh, the, i i think that's kind of like I think that's kind of getting away from my point here, right? So he says that he's been But I'm just I'm by... just making a I I'm just making a like an overall point. Like sure. you can understand that, right? So like if we were partners yeah. 
and I didn't, and I treated you the way I treat my dad instead of the way I'm treating you now, you might get frustrated over time and say like, why do you keep doing this to me? For, I, I don't think I would nitpick you over saying yeah, instead of yes. I don't think I would nitpick you over um, not saying something loud enough when I could clearly hear you. Um, but uh, but if I did that repeatedly it, over time, you would at a certain point. I, I would maybe ask, you know, to you to speak louder. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know about that because it seemed like such a subtle thing, such a, a minor thing to get upset about. But next part in this conversation is he claims he's been brutalized by a combination of your mother, his mother and you. Right. Mm -hmm. OK. Yes. Um, and then he says that you're acting like a victim and that you sound like you're you're rehear you're reciting a rehearsed speech. Right? He gets yeah. mad at you for that. Mm -hmm. How can you control that you sound like you are speaking a rehearsed speech? <clears throat> In what way can you control that? Um, because if it was natural and I really meant it, I would just say it in a non-rehearsed sounding way. I'm purposefully, like, it's hard to define. I'm not purposefully in the sense that I'm literally consciously choosing to do this, but I have an attitude towards him where I want to make him look bad because I want to distance myself from him. And so what I do is sort of, there is a way where you can, um, you know, sound like you're rehearsing something that he told me to say, and I could also say it in a totally different way that would portray a different emotion. Uh, let me explain something. I just want to explain something to you, though. There mm. are real emotions. Like, I really do get locked up, and I really do, like have a problem communicating but the reason why is not because i'm afraid of him it's because he's calling out the fact that i'm acting totally different on stream than how i act off stream and that's confusing for the viewers because of course they don't know how i act off stream so he's calling me out of that i feel embarrassed and ashamed that's why i lock up but i don't want to admit that i'm embarrassed so i make him look bad instead by acting afraid of him now does this all happen on a sort of subconscious level and it's really difficult to work out yes but it's also like it just was very helpful when lab just said like it's this splitting thing It's just treating somebody differently one way or the other idolizing or like trashing them and it's it's wrong to do okay. to somebody it, it, it very well could be the case. Um, you know, let's say yeah Maybe you do treat him completely different off stream, right? Let it could mm. very well um, uh, Be the case that um, you are manipulative or whatever, right? Um, mm. That doesn't change that what we see on stream and what we are informed by are the ways that Ben talks to you and the way that he treats you. That is what I'm blaming, uh, not blaming, that is what I'm, I'm, I'm um, informing my opinion off of, right? So just to continue this conversation about the conversation you had, um, he, um, he says that after you, he says that he's been brutalized by three women in his life, he says that you're acting like a victim and you mm -hmm. sound like you have a rehearsed speech. Um, mm -hmm. And then he asks you how you feel and you say it embarrasses you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he says you being embarrassed is you wanting to be viewed as a victim. Yeah, I would say that's true. I don't take accountability. I want to, I want people to feel bad for me. I don't take accountability. Okay. I mean, um, it's natural you... to feel embarrassed, but you know, like, you know, when yeah. somebody's calling you out and you know, you're wrong to act like you're a baby, to act like you're a, like a victim of that, instead of like taking accountability and saying like, yeah, you know, I fucked up. I need to fix that. That, that is like not fair to do to somebody. So, um, then he, he says that you should be, he says uh, verbatim, you should be effing ashamed of yourself. Um, uh, and then he gets upset with you for making him have to clarify. What did he need to clarify? I think it was like, I think that he said, do you understand what I'm saying? I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said, so I forget the exact wording. He said something, I knew what he meant, but I went on, like, I went on a tangent about it, and then he said, mm -hmm. did you really need me to clarify that? And I said no, and he got upset about that, too. That's correct. Something okay. like that. That seems, like, again, a really minor thing for him to nitpick on. Um, and then he, uh, towards the end of this conversation, he sees you getting teary, right? 
And what does he do mm. to that? He gets he gets he gets mad at you for getting teary, right? He starts making fun of you. Yes. And then you hold back your tears, and then he makes fun of you for that as well, right? Yes. Well, I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know about making fun, but basically, yeah, basically. Yeah, he mocks you for it. In that situation, yeah. what could you have done that would have made him satisfied? I'll be honest, in that particular situation, well, I think what I could have done is I could have said, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop all this stuff. Um, I don't know. Like, it's hard going back and saying, could I have done something different? But ideally, I think what I would have said was, look, dad, you're right. I treat you way different off stream than I do on stream. And I just feel embarrassed because you're calling me out on it. I'm not a victim of you. We can have a conversation about this. I'll admit that I do treat you way different off stream and that you're just getting frustrated because I've been doing this to you for a year, like, what, 14 months that, been So on the that's a little bit, what, what I'm asking is, you getting teary, that is, that's, that's, um, that's involuntary, right? Um, uh, I could control it if I wanted to. But I'm, in that look, moment, I'm, I'm crying in that, because in that I, moment, I'm... In that moment, was it, was it voluntary or involuntary? It's kind of in between, to be honest. Okay, so then... If I really I wanted thinking... to not cry, if I really wanted to not cry, uh -huh. I, I would have not cried. But the reason I wanted to cry, like, it's okay to say, yeah, I wanted to cry. I felt bad for myself because I felt humiliated, which I was because he was calling out something that I do... Mm -hmm. you know, that I've been lying about to my audience. So it, it's fine. Like I was, well, like, yeah, we'll get I was, there. but okay. I understand that you wanted to cry. Does that make your, does that make it voluntary though? Like you, you felt like you wanted to cry because you were feeling humiliated, right? Mm -hmm. You getting yeah. teary eyed, that seems involuntary. That's an involuntary, like physical response to how you're feeling. Right. I guess most of the time, yeah, you can use tears to manipulate, but yeah, most of but the time. But in that moment, was it? In that moment, was it? I don't know. I would say it's somewhere in between. Okay, and then you hold back your tears, and he gets, he says that's even better for you, that he's mad mm. at you. Yeah. What I see in that moment is that you cannot win in that moment. If you get teary... He gets mad at you. If you hold back your tears, he gets mad at you. He would have been mad at you if you hadn't been teary at all. It's there's nothing no, in that conversation. It, he he got. He mad wanted at me to be. He wanted not, me to be honest. He wanted me to be honest, and I was lying. Getting teary has nothing to do with you being honest. Well, it's an expression of you an can, emotion I was feeling, but I you can I made it look like honest. I was feeling. You can be sorry? honest while still having tears. You can be honest while still having tears, right? Yeah, and I should have been honest that the tears were from embarrassment at him calling me out and not from him being mean to me, which is what I made it look like. That's how 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 can you make that look different? How would you make how would you make that look different? There there's no way to you make it. You wouldn't make look it different. look different. You would just explain what it is, why the reason that I want to cry. I think you're holding yourself to standards that are that no human being could ever fulfill. So let me just go through this one more time with you really quick, okay? He got mad at you for being upstairs and not coming down quick enough. He got mad at you for saying that you didn't want to be on camera. He got mad at you for turning and looking towards well, him when you were talking I, okay, to him. Okay, but that's not quite true. He didn't get mad okay. at me. He said that's that's an example of what like the problem here. It's that's not quite the same as getting mad at somebody. You get what I'm saying? That's not the same thing. He got irritated at you, at the very least. He got irritated, he got mad at you for turning and, and looking at him when he was speaking to you um, versus looking at the screen. He said he wanted you to look at the screen. He got, yep. he got upset with you for saying yeah instead of yes, saying it was disrespectful. He got mm -hmm. mad at you for saying, but he got mad at you for perpetuating lies about him on the internet through your behavior. He got yes. mad at you for um, not saying it's time to correct the lies loud enough. He got mad claiming that he's been brutalized by um, all three women in his life. Um, there's no common denominator there. It couldn't possibly be him. Uh, he gets mad at you for acting like a victim. He gets mad at you for sounding like... I don't know if he got mad about that. That was just something he said, but okay. He, okay. He, he got mad at you for sounding like you had a rehearsed speech. Mm -hmm. um, he gets mad at you um, for making him clarify 
That's 10 so far. 11. He gets mad at mm -hmm. you for getting teary. That's 12. He gets mad at you for holding back your tears. That's 13. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's insane. You That's can... an insane conversation. I don't believe that the number of times you get mad at somebody indicates that you're in the wrong. It depends what you get mad at them about and why. Mm -hmm. You can get mad at somebody 100,000 times in a conversation. If your anger is justified because they're doing something wrong, they may not mean to do it, but if your anger is justified, it doesn't matter how many times you get angry. Okay. Sure, that's fine. It, I, I understand that. But what I saw in that conversation is that he would ask you something or he would say something and you could not have a single reply or a single answer. You could not make a single reply or answer to him without him having a problem with it. That's, that's what not I true. I could have been honest. I could have been honest. I was lying to cover up the fact that I was embarrassed that he was calling me out. And if I had been honest... Okay. Maybe it wasn't possible in that moment for me, to be honest, because of the psychology or whatever. It's hard to say if you go back, what could you have done? But in that moment, I could have been honest. Okay, that's fine if you if you believe that. But I just want to point out to you that that um, that stream, you were embarrassed, rightfully so, because he was trying to humiliate you on that stream. Um, even if he was trying to get you to say the truth, as you say, he was trying to also humiliate you on stream. Now that your father has been put behind bars, what do you do to make yourself feel better? You humiliate yourself on stream. You start writing on yourself. You call yourself a liar. You write that you're a slut. You um, then erase the slut and you replace it with future good girl. He, so you have learned from your I don't father. find that humiliating. You say that. No, I, I don't you, find it humiliating. If I was, like, spreading okay. my legs and showing my pussy to everybody, that would be humiliating. But writing on myself is not humiliating. Calling yourself a slut? Writing slut on your forehead? I mean it in the sense that, like, I'm a slut. Like, I would rather, like, I would rather suck dick and be connected to a man than... I'd rather be a slut than I would than be alone. That's what I mean. So, like, the good kind of slut. Um, why are you pinning comments about curry Well, while, while I'm on the stream with you? I put up some chats. Um, uh, also, what is this fixation on blowjobs that you have? I think I have an oral fixation. Why? I'm just saying, like, okay, you could say fucking a guy, but I'm just saying, like, like, in a way, okay, and I don't mean to get too gross, but, like, I think, like, sucking dick is sort of, like, a way of, like, really affirming masculinity and saying, like, I really love you and your like you know your most mm -hmm. tender parts in a way so it's kind of like a it's a good metaphor okay um i guess what i would ask next is um is what was this this whole conversation you had with your dad it, you were embarrassed to talk about something what were you embarrassed and refusing to talk about with your dad uh i'm i don't think I, I wasn't, like, I think you're referencing something that I said I did two days ago, which was, like, I broke his trust in, like, it's a private way, but, like, it was, like, a really, really, really bad thing to do, and I really fucked up. Okay. Okay. D is it is it so fucked up that you deserve a conversation where you can't have a single answer to him without him um, having a problem with you, getting mad at you, and nitpicking you? I think you're assuming that there was no way for me to, like, make him proud, and I could have made him proud by being honest. And I own that, I, and... I don't think so. Again, again, even towards the end... Do you right think I'm making... Okay, it. let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you think I'm making him proud tonight? You... In his jail cell, if he could get a snapshot of me doing this stream, do you think he'd be proud? He might be. I don't... I don't... I, he might be because you're writing on yourself, and he's you know, kind of sick in the head. It's but called no, content, Stardust! No Writing on yourself is not person. a big fucking deal. What is wrong with you? I know I was real. What? Women call themselves, well, women, first of all, calling yourself a slut is not a big deal. Being a slut is more of a big deal. Literally almost every female online is a slut. I'm not saying I'm literally, like, I'm not literally hoeing myself out. I'm just saying I am, I like to call myself a slut because, you know, there's positive elements to being a slut. 
What are you talking about? This is okay. this fucking What's, like I was re like, I was rewatching the question. let me just say this. I was rewatching the Destiny thing and people were saying like that the whole Hormax are looking panties thing was a big deal. Bro! Half of these people are having like sex outside of marriage. Sex with dudes, sex with girls, homosexual sex. They're like they 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 know girls who do OnlyFans like on the regular, and they're saying like licking a band of panties. This is just moral outrage. It doesn't make any sense, Stardust. Okay. My my question to you then would be, what is the difference between um, between a woman who has an OnlyFans and posts pictures of herself on OnlyFans for other people's pleasure, and a woman who has a stream who writes on her own body and calls herself things slut and liar, um, for other people's <laughs> pleasure? What's the difference? Well, I would say on the one hand, one is like You're degrading art. yourself. You're degrading yourself no. for, the, for their enjoyment. You are. Yeah. No. No, I don't think if you saw a performance artist in a museum writing slut on her face, you'd say she's degrading herself. You're just using this for me because you have some kind of weird category you're not, for me, but... You're not a performance artist. What do you think I'm doing right now, Stardust? I'm giving you a performance. You can't. I'm sorry, Grace. You can... I know this as a streamer. You cannot lie about who you fundamentally are for six hours straight. No, I, I'm not saying I'm lying. I'm saying I'm performing. You're not. <laughs> you don't think what I say to the lab, like, Ayo, hey, sexy mama was good? You don't think I'm performing? I'm giving a, a show. Moment, if I wasn't on camera, moment, I wouldn't be you performing. Are. You can't, anything you can't I do, claim. where I, anything I do where I know I'm on camera, I'm performing and so are you. You're performing. You can't claim. That doesn't mean lying! Yeah, it, can be, it can be performative, but usually, even if it's performative, it's an inflation of the way that you see yourself, or it's an inflation Agreed. of the way that you treat yourself, right? Uh, am, did I freeze or did she freeze? I, I think I froze. I'm sorry, I'm back. Oh, okay. I agree it's an inflation of the way you see yourself. You can't just lie and create a totally... Even even when actors take parts, they're basically themselves in that part. You can't, like, lie about who you are. I agree with you. It's an... It's a... It's leaning into it. It's playing up certain aspects. It's, it's, it's a performative expression of yourself. I agree. Nicholas Cage for four ninety nine says Stardust woke moralizer. Thank you, Nicholas Cage, for the five dollars. But I mean, we agree. Okay. We don't have a problem about the performance art thing. I don't think there's a huge difference between you humiliating yourself on stream for people's um, joy uh, between uh, that and an OnlyFans girl also degrading herself on camera. Well, for then other you're retarded. Joy. Writing something on yourself in Sharpie marker is way different than showing your pussy you're to people on camera. You're calling yourself a whore. You're, you're saying that your dad was just Calling myself a whore it... is not close to spreading my legs on OnlyFans. You're it's saying, not you're, close, you're, wait a minute. Stardust. Wait, pause. Can pause we agree on this? It's pause not for, close. But I will explain to you why it's similar. You you are okay with your father humiliating you on stream, and you say he's justified in humiliating you on stream multiple times. That last stream that I'm talking about, that's not even the first time that that's happened. You have let your father humiliate you on stream for content multiple times. Yes, okay. Performative humiliation to get to a better place is not performative I humiliation. Think that's okay. You were truly humiliation. You were truly humiliated. You were truly yes, humiliated. Yes, but I was you also cheery. on camera. You were on camera. That doesn't make it not real. Look, there's different types of humiliation. Sometimes somebody needs a kick in the ass. You can be humiliated in the army and somebody can say, get your ass together. You're fat. You're out of shape. Get in the fucking barracks or whatever and clean the latrine and you're humiliated. That's not, that's, you can't just say like, oh, that's the same thing as if that person went on OnlyFans and jerked off on camera. That's not the same thing. There's different no, types of no, humiliation. No, if, if anything, if anything, allowing, look, encouraging or justifying your dad humiliating you on stream multiple times over years encouraging or justifying your dad encouraging others to humiliate you on stream over years these are things that i actually view as more degrading than somebody on OnlyFans in control of their own life doing content in the form of pictures well then you're retarded okay that's fine, but if you saw a fine. picture of my, you see a picture of me with this, and you see a picture of my pussy, and you say they're the same thing, you're retarded. I don't know what to no, tell you. It's how, not the same how, thing. How the same? It's not the same thing. When you're when you, it's not even close. Justify, it's not even close. 
It's not even close, just, though! It's not the same thing. When you justify people humiliating you and degrading you on stream, yes, it's worse. It's worse to me. And I, okay. How? Well, being I, corrected I'll, publicly is, and, and being humiliated from that, it, humiliation is not being always wrong. Being corrected is fine. H but being, do, do no, you being, think, you're right, wait, wait, let right, me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. You're, you're right, you're right. Humiliation is not always wrong. Okay, but when yes. your dad, when your dad makes a habit of turning it into content and humiliating multiple people, especially you, for content, yes, it's wrong. But not if it's I agree wrong. to it. Not if I say I need a kick in the ass. I sometimes I need a strong kick in the ass. I need to be humiliated so that I get my shit together. There's nothing wrong with that. There'd be nothing wrong if I went to boot camp and I got my ass fucking kicked by the guy in charge, whatever, the lieutenant or whatever, and I made it into content and I streamed it. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I Look, think what you're I, picking up on is the fact that I've acted like I'm the like I don't want him to do this on stream, which I have acted like. And you, there's how nothing can you wrong with the you. way that you act. How can you change huh? the way that you? How can you change the way that you act? How I can see, like, yeah, goddamn right. I've got evil in me. I've got Satan. Like, he's like whispering things to me. You're right. You're right. I can be assertive and dominant, and like respectful the way I'm being with you. Instead of doing this weird thing where I turn him into this psycho daddy Satan devil angel thing. Okay, it's understandable that I did it. It's understandable people fell for it and they thought he's manipulating her to feel like this about him. He's not. It's a bad pattern I got from my mom. I'm sorry. I look. Dono, I have to read the donos. Five dollars from Nicholas Cage. Lose weight before you criticize anyone again. Stardust. Thanks, person with whatever. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, um, I think there was like one last thing. Let me see. Um, okay. Oh, look, I think that's all I can say. Um, uh, I just want to say. Um, I know it sounds like I'm, I'm like being hard on you. Um, I truly just want, I, I want both of you guys to move on and move on to better, um, uh, and move on to better for yourselves and have like some self dignity, some self respect. And it makes me I believe sad you. To I'm all about it. I believe you. Okay. I believe you. It makes it makes me sad. It makes me sad to see somebody who is so talented at entertaining people doing this to themselves and justifying other people doing this to them. I fucking agree. I agree. No more the that the, this the self-worth that I have to say the best I can do is acting like a little manipulated baby is trash. I have way more to offer people. I'm super good looking. I'm super talented. I'm quick. I'm witty. I'm smart. I love life. I have way more to offer. I'm so sick of like putting my self-worth so low that that's the yeah. only entertainment I can provide okay. is kind of acting like a victim sure. of this fucking guy in Here, my life. Here's the thing. And everybody who, wait, just one thing. Everybody who told me like, well, if you're such a victim, you should leave him. They were fucking right. They were fucking right. If I actually really thought that what, like, if I actually was really doing that and I really felt like I was a victim of him, I should have left. So those people were right. People stay in abusive relationships for decades. They stay in abusive relationships their entire lives. They'll die in those re abusive relationships. So that I don't, I don't really, I don't understand your reasoning there. But that's true. But if that I, happens, then they're also, they're letting themselves do it. Like, I don't really feel bad for them. Okay. I just want to say, um, uh, if you need anything, if you want to have a conversation again, let me know. I appreciate you talking with me. And I do wish you the best. And I would just encourage in the future, um, if you can take away anything from this conversation, just like think about all the, that, that in, those interactions with your dad leading up until that moment. And think about whether there would be any feasible way for you to actually, um, actually make him satisfied in those interactions. Okay, think to yourself, self-reflect, okay? Thank you for having me on. Wait, wait, can I ask you something really quick before you go? Yeah, what's up? Okay, so I, just really quick, I wrote I heart and I, draw, I drew a penis on myself earlier. Do you love penis? Do it depends on the penis. Penises? It depends on the penis. But in general, do you love men and their penises? Honestly, I think penises look really unesthetic. They look really unesthetic. They're not good looking at all. No, but do you love men and like, dicks and what they have to offer i love men 
I don't like their penises. I think they look ugly. So, yeah. Boo! Man hater, get her off the stage! Man hater, bye bye! Go eat some more curry. Maybe that'll make you feel better about the fact that you never get any dick in that fupa, yours, bitch! Yo, shout out Steven499. Thank you for the super chat. Honesty stonks. Bitch, how would you feel? How would you feel if some fucking guy said, I like women, but I don't like their vaginas? Bitch, are you gay? I don't even know what to tell you. Like, that's like asexual. I like women, but I don't like their vaginas. I would call that guy gay, for sure. So I don't know what that makes you, because I don't believe lesbians exist. But like, you got something really wrong there. Dicks are cute and funny. They're hilarious. Have you ever seen one? It's fucking ridiculous. It's cute. Like, it's hilarious. God. I don't like, I don't like men's penises. How would you feel if somebody said that about women? <laughs> Lesbian! <laughs> Lesbian! Lesbian! <clears throat> oh man. Come on, come on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta feel it. You gotta say like, no, nah, I love cock. That's not a big deal to say. <laughs> Amazing. Play JLP clips. Yo, what's up, Scott? What do you want to say? Hey, I got a screenshot of fucking you next to uh, whatever podcast with uh, the Crucible on it. They had 4K and you had 3,800. Oh, really? Yeah. It was up on Dude, YouTube. that's it was awesome. On my, it came up on my TV. I was I took a screenshot of the fucking TV. Hang on. Let me see if I can grab it. Dude, that's had, awesome. We're almost beating the fucking whatever podcast. Check Four this out. Stomps to the moon, bro. I can't believe Look, I you're at 38k and they're at 4k watching. Oh, Hold your on. blur filter is on. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let's fucking see if we can get this fucker. Scuff John Goodman. <laughs> Let's see. 38k, 4k. No, I mean 3.8k and 4k. I see it. I see it. It's fucking oh, straight thank up. You. Dope. Thank you. Yeah. And we're at 453. Do you? Do you know, I've never had 453 in my fucking chat. Ever! It's my good luck. Keep me around. You're going places, Grace. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. There you go. Hey, can you send that to me on Discord, by the way? I'd like to post it on Twitter. Do you have Discord um, or Instagram or anything? Twitter? I'll try and do it. Twitter, I can probably do it, too. Um, yeah, my Twitter do email? is... Put, put, do you have email at all? Yeah, I'll put it in the private chat. Oh, I'm sorry. It's gmail.com. There we go. All right. Rini, you have missed so much. So much. Send Ben to jail every week. Views up. <laughs> Lala replaced right. by <laughs> Lala replaced by a fatter, more disheveled John Goodman. It's tough. It's tough. All right, Scott, I'm gonna pop you down for a second. I'm gonna let Snafu up and then we're gonna I think we're gonna oh, wrap this up is here. Gonna go south. Get me out, <laughs> out of here. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Snafu, give it to me quick and hard, fast, dirty, rough. Wait, put Let's your go. screen back up. Huh? Put your screen back up. I want to talk to you about some zebra optics. Grace, your little pedo daddy, pogo daddy. No, seriously, this is real talk, hon. I know you're going through a, real, ri ri a humiliation ritual right now. I already know what time it is. I want to know why you put zebras up. Is it because of your pedograph daddy? And the because you know y'all fucking hanging networks together, okay? You you're smiling right now. I see you as a victim <laughs> going through a humiliation ritual. I see your daddy and these pedos and pogos we've been calling out, making you put some optics on your screen. Interesting zebra optics. Interesting humiliation ritual going on with you. <laughs> you no no no. You laugh on like your daddy. Knows I'm fucking watching his bitch ass right now. And so what are you talking boy. about zebra optics? What the fuck does that mean? Mm. Pull up your screen. Pull up your... What's your screensaver? Let's take a look at it. Oh, the background, oh, dude. But the oh, shit. 
Oh, 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 but your ritual, eh? Dude, the ritual. what the fuck? Your humiliation ritual. Hmm, what the fuck? We know why. Dude, dude, dude optics we know are exactly so fucking why. high right now. You need to get yourself out of the situation of abuse and the satanic bullshit your family's been involved. You are a victim, Grace. <laughs> You're in a ritual, a humiliation ritual right now. Don't act like you're fucking surprised about the zebras on your screen. Okay? Don't act surprised. We know, okay? Pogo pedos are activated. Privately owned, government operated. Your daddy and pedo graph and flow state and all these pedo pogo fucks are probably fucking creaming off because they're watching you with a humiliation dude, ritual. Dude, play. wait, dude, and does that mean like, do, wait, wait, dude, dude, does that mean we're you like, like, what happened? Okay, wait, dude, what happens? Him, right? Dude, public listen. record to jails. What public happens records, because, right? what, what, what is, what is the, what do the zebras mean? You tell me. We know what they mean. Dude, I'm doing a video fuck? on this right now. I know your daddy and you. The zebras are a message to the crew and the truth, yo. We know exactly what you guys are doing, and I feel bad for you because you're in a you, ritual. But see, when you guys, when these people are involved in these networks, unfortunately, people like Grace become part of that. And I don't think you understand oh, how these. Wait, hang on a second. These yeah, people. Yeah, you already know. These don't play people. With me. These people. Is that who we're talking these, about? Yeah. See, I I'm already know. Nagila, Havana, 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 more than most understand. Mm hmm. It's you not, are, you guys. It's hitting me real quick right now. This woman, you guys, she's deeper than most understand. Her daddy, <laughs> little pedo fucking, her little pedo <laughs> fucking gaff and little incest motherfucker. And remember, Jack Talcott supports this bullshit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Piece of shit, caught. All right. Well, so, thank you, Snafu. I appreciate it. Nasty work, King. I'm going to let you go. All right. Well,. I don't even want to end stream because I got fucking 429 in chat right now. That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. Oh my god. 430. <laughs> Zebrews. <laughs> this is God's will, zebra boy. Somebody in the back chat just said, I agree, brother. I agree. All right, you know what? We're gonna we're maybe we'll end the we'll end the stream on a high note with uh, my main my main nigga Spicoli. Spicoli was popping. Hey Grace, I just I missed you, buddy. I missed you too. What is going on as far as what happened with your dad? Was he arrested? What happened? I I just I I don't know what the story. I mean I mean. What, what ha can you just tell me real briefly what went on down? He was arrested for kicking me on a live stream, and the court date is the fifteenth. Yo, no, Nicholas Cage, thank you for the five dollars. Hang on, Spicoli. Didn't know zebras were a Jewish schizo symbol. Me neither. But if you think about it, what what did I get? Th Wait, hang on. What did I get this background from? Wes Anderson, Royal Tenenbaums, Tenenbaum. Bomb made by Chinese people who works with the Chinese? Think about it. Actually, if you think about it right now. It's been facts. All right, go ahead, Spicoli. Well, Tannenbaum is a Jewish name. Bomb, Jewish. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so he, you, you're, you're back at home now, right? So who called the cops on your dad? I don't know. It was an anonymous tip. I have my suspicions that it was my mother, but... Okay, so uh, do you have the money to bail him out, or what's going to happen to him in there? Uh, I, I kind of, like, I, I have, like, I could, I could scrape up the cash, but I don't think that he would want me to spend that, because he thinks he's, like, un, like unfairly locked up so he doesn't want me giving them money that's what he told me before he was like if i if this ever happens again like don't bail me out so i'm gonna try to i don't know get in contact with him some way and see what's going on with that but apart from that okay but grace what <laughs> about only called the cops for sure yeah right now what about like out here in california we have like this 
no bail arrest shit where you can literally like literally do a violent crime and they'll let you out without any bail you can steal shit get no bail how come your dad doesn't have why why don't they let him out with no bail he didn't really do much i think because he has a restraining order probably that's against him from somebody probably it's like it doesn't it makes it look bad or something okay so you think courtney did that maybe to try to i don't know i just know that i texted her like dad's in jail and she's like i'm glad there were consequences and i was like you know okay so maybe what we should do is guys listen up i know grace i've known her a while obviously (coughs) bless you grace grace is too I don't, Grace is too proud to start a GoFundMe or to ask you folks for super chats. But me, on behalf of Grace and Ben, we don't want to see, we, it'd be nice if you guys super chatted her, get the likes up, the subs up, and really, you know, yes. try to send her at least $5, cash <coughs> for $5, $10. And, yeah, come you know, on, Grace, come on. Yeah, seriously. It, this is this is serious. It's gonna anything would help. She look how much we've got three hundred some almost four hundred people in here. Spicoli, can you believe it? We've got. Uh, do you know how many I had? I had thirty eight hundred at a certain point. Ah! Are you kidding me? I'm Jesus. not kidding. I don't wow. know how. I think the Lord botted the stream or something. But I did have thirty eight hundred. But I've been at I've been at five hundred for a while. Wow. Or remember, California. you know, remember when, like last June, when we were, you were out in California and we were at the Hotel Darius, and I think you got like 300 people back then and we thought it was a lot. Yeah, that was now the most ever. I was literally going to say, I was, I was going to tell them that was the most ever when he slapped me and you were there. You were holding the camera, actually. That was the most we ever had. Yeah, that was, okay. So see, you, all these you know you're doing a great job i had i've always had faith in you what are these what 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 are these are these i know they're not permanent but what are these little markings on you now like why did you do that oh i'd love to okay so i wrote on myself i wrote i heart and i drew a penis because i do love penises and men then i switched it to a cross to say like i love Mm -hmm. jesus or you know Mm -hmm. god you know all that stuff I wrote liar here, just to let everyone know I am a liar. I have been lying. And then I had slut up here, but then I wrote future good girl up here. Hmm. I like it. Okay. Now, let me ask you a couple questions. Were you was around? Like oh, by the oh, way, Spicoli also, um, Andrew even offered to bail my dad out. Andrew Wilson, oh, did- can you believe it? How much is to bail? It says on here... It says on here, bail for all accounts, $10,000, but I, I, and if it says, uh, it is hereby ordered that the above named defendant be released on their own recognizance in the amount of 1,000, it's scratched out and it says 10,000, but people have been telling me that, that, that probably means that I just have to pay a thousand. Yeah. But... You pay, <laughs> what happens is it's only 10%, but they said, you read something where they said it, it, it that he should he was going to be released on what's called his own recognizance that means if you know he's a look they let him out without bail but my problem is we've got people in california and other states where literally these people can rob people they can assault people and they go to jail and they get out with no no bail there and, and these pieces of shit and a lot of them are immigrants too and here's an nice christian guy like your father he's been a hard-working man and he's here's what they're doing i'm going to make a statement and grace knows where i'm going with this Mm -hmm. i'm going to make a statement here the reason they're doing this is because this is a woke society and they're doing it because he's an older white man if ben was black if he was gay if he was in a wheelchair they would not be doing this to him they're purposely doing it to him because he's an older white man, Christian man, and I think her. They're really, uh, Grace. Do you think I really? I, I guarantee, you, if your father was black or he was <laughs> wait, gay, hang on, Spicoli, it, Spicoli. Let me read this. Ricky says the cops are going to be like Grace. Ben won't stop talking, and his head game is too weak for the inmates. Instead, we'll pay you a hundred dollars to take him back. 
so, somebody said i saw somebody in my discord said that um uh, they'd love to see the cam on my dad when he's doing the, like, I'm a pedophile in the Greek sense bit in jail. Hmm. <laughs> there were some you know funny what? Ones. Grace, I have an idea. I'm willing to guess that you have a certain, you got a lot of people out there, a lot of new people, welcome aboard. Um, and you know what? I, I think, you know, I'm just, Grace is too proud to say this, but I think if for for every five dollar super chat, I I could be wrong, but I'm just guessing. For every five dollar super super chat, great mice might show a picture of her feet. If for a ten dollar super chat, she might show some cleavage, and if you get up to like a twenty five dollar super chat, she might um, she might send you she'll mail you a pair of her panties or something. We don't know, but we need to get. No, Let's I have a, I have a system for it. I have to wrap up the stream, but yeah. it's like 1030, but I got I have some ragu chunky tomato garlic and onion sauce and I was doing shots for five dollars. Okay, but so what about you for five dollars? Spicoli is right. PR bail doesn't cost anything, but he'll have to pay the ten thousand dollars if he doesn't follow the conditions of release. So you're telling me that I don't have to pay anything? There's no there's no bail? That's not true, because they told me it was higher than 50. They told me at first I could let them in for, I mean, I could get them out for 50. Here's how it works. By the way, so, OBC, you didn't request a shot, but I'm just hungry, so I'm going to okay. take a shot. So bail is 10. Here's what it is. If, if you have, bail is 10% usually. You have to come up with 10%. Take that shot, baby. Grace, you know what I'm worried about? Grace, you know what? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's say mm. that. Okay, I, I, you know I could say this to you because we've known each other a while. Let me a long time. Let me ask you: this. <laughs> Do you think? Can, do you think it's safe to say that 2024 could be the year that you lose your virginity? Do you think there's a 50 50 percent 50 50 chance that you will lose your virginity in 2024? We have nine months left. What do you think? Because well, I'll it you, I'll okay, tell, I'll answer your question. Depends yeah. on whether you're I'm horny. Because you. you're getting because I've never seen you this horny before. So can you answer my question? Uh, if I lose my whether or not I lose my virginity in 2024 depends on if me and you are meeting up. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Can you hear that, guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you, Grace. Well, at the minimum, if we meet up, I'm going to take your little panties down and eat your little vajayjay out. How about that? At the minimum. All even right. If you want to Thank you so minimum. much for coming right. on. I appreciate it. Have a good one, Spicoli. Love Thanks, you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, no, it's looping. Stop. Nasty work! Nasty work, King! I'm gonna start saying that because of you, and that's not fair because that is such a cringe thing. It's like saying no shot because you watch Destiny. I hate copying things. Thank you, King of Leo. $5. Grace destroyed Star Dork's logic. Also, $25 if you take two shots. I think I was kind of like low key on fire tonight when it came to the debates about uh, whether I'm being abused or not. But I think I kind of killed that shit. I kind of ate that up, period. Quit playing with him, Riot. Maybe my talent is with women. Because they're manipulative. We're a tricky little bunch. How does one take a little bit JJ out? Uh, after the stream, I'm getting so tempted to join the Discord. Join Thorpcord. Join the Thorpcord server, please. Here's the link. Discord. Join the Thorpe Cord server, folks. Oh, thank you, OPC Don. Uh, by the way, King of Leo, I cannot do two shots tonight, but I appreciate it. Um, 
Oh, it's a link. Okay, what is a PR bond? Should you get one? Okay, let me copy that to my notes. I gotta go see it on the chat. Thank you for the five dollars. Appreciate it. This is so nice of you to send the five dollars when really you could just um, DM it to me. So it's nice of you. All right, here we go. Notes. There we go. All right, so I should look into that. Mm. Uncooked ragu sauce will cause diarrhea. Really? Tomato puree, which is water and tomato paste, diced tomatoes in puree, sugar, onions, salt, olive oil, dehydrated onions, spices, garlic, powder, ci citric acid, natural flavors. <clears throat> I don't see how any of that would cause diarrhea. It's like eating a lot of tomatoes. I, I mean, if you have a sensitive stomach and you eat a lot of tomatoes. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you very, very much for watching. We'll be back. No more lies. Thank you, Lord, for the Kino. I renounce Satan and all of his nastiness. Please keep him away from me. Thank you for helping me to get real. That wasn't that hard. I barely tried, but you gave me fucking 4,000 like, viewers at a time to let me know, because I'm a fucking retard, that I was doing a good job. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Appreciate it. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Bye. I must confess, I got regrets. I could have more, but I could have less. And the more that I know, the less I think I know. I get stressed out, yeah, I get overwhelmed. I'm always worrying about my health, but the answer to all the big shit is hidden in all the small print. Let's go for a walk, take a deep breath. All of the flowers are out for you and me, babe. It doesn't have to be painful.